Dun, 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 dun. Is that is that is that music copyrighted? Am I in trouble now? Probably. Well, I guess yeah. If you hum copyrighted music, then they can, uh, they can get copyright you copyright strike your channel. Yeah. Or if you cover Captain Marvel's scene where she's a bitch, <laughs> you can get oh, fucking booted. In the in the view I just uploaded, I had like a seven second clip from Game of Thrones, and they didn't care about the visuals, but the background music got flagged for copyright. Oh, was it um the one of the songs? It was I don't know. It was like the scene when Sansa gets uh, crowned queen, and there's some music in the background. <laughs> Sansa gets crowned, and that's like <laughs> that's what they care about. Yeah, it, I, I'm surprised my uh, my video where I warped the visuals actually got away with it. I, was, I don't think they care at all about visuals for HBO. Well, that's what I mean. I warped the visuals, and the audio was the exact same, and yet it got through. I was like, huh, okay. Well, yeah, they, HBO clearly puts a great deal of value into the dialogue of their characters. <laughs> that's why the audio gets claimed. Pretty sure they're hubbo, is how you're supposed to pronounce it. Hubbo. Good old hubbo. Hello, chat. How do you do? It's another. This is this is another bizarre random time for EFAB. You never know with this show. I don't even think we've actually done one at five p.m. BST before. Well, I say that it's five forty, but hey, close enough. No yeah, complaints, please. <laughs> um, to 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 may as well to start. Oh yeah, there was one super chat that came through after the stream had stopped last night from a tunes tunes. Hopefully he's listening slash he's listening. I wouldn't want to. We were just talking about transphobia uh, uh, allegations and uh, <laughs> neck penises, so we want to make sure that we're uh, we're, we're clear on These that. These are only allegations. <laughs> and there's nothing. There's only there. allegations. Nothing more neck penises. Uh, they said, "You had me laughing hard enough with the Don thing. I'm going to give you three and a half backbreaking days in filth-filled factory of my life. Hail the Don! Yeah, the Don, the Don makes everyone's lives better. So thank you very much. Uh, Can't find your stream." Person. That's okay. Stream is oh, there it within is. us there it is. I can find it. In, the stream shows up in my recommendeds, but when I go to your channel specifically to look for it, it isn't there. That makes a lot YouTube of sense. And then YouTube's like, allow us to offer this recommendation. It was what you were looking for all along. <laughs> like, actually, no, but okay. <laughs> It's like imagine you need imagine you want a glass of milk and you go to your fridge and you're looking for it and you can't find it and then you get a knock on your door and there's a man and he's like I heard you wanted some milk and he presents you with a glass of milk that's kind of what it feels like to sounds me. like a good scenario um, no my milk's gone <laughs> <laughs> where's my milk uh so I guess I'll I'll talk quickly while everyone's pouring in about about Godzilla non spoilers um. Oh. It was pretty. It was pretty bad, and I said it was pretty, like, like I said it was pretty bad on Twitter, and everyone was very upset at me because they were like, "Hey, <laughs> Godzilla is supposed to be bad." And I was like, I don't, "Okay, <laughs> I guess we agree." Uh, Checkmate. And for some reason, a lot of people thought I was saying like a lot of people had responses to do with the human drama. I didn't even mention human drama like once, and they were like, "I don't care human if there's no human is drama what in it." Is for. And yeah, I wouldn't say that the problem is that the human drama is in the film. It's just the human drama is shit. That's all. Um, and I'm I'm all on board with a Godzilla movie having uh, human drama. Why not? You know. How is the monster drama? Uh, <laughs> it's as it's as well, good as you can imagine. This, this, this is gonna start getting as good as I can, I can imagine some pretty well. You've seen the excellent monster drama. You saw the 2014 one, right? At some point. No. Oh. <laughs> well, the, <laughs> the premise of that film is the man accidentally wake up, evil monster thing, and then Godzilla rises out of his infinite slumber to go kill it. That's pretty much the entire film. All right. And then they're like, Godzilla, I guess, is on our team. And it's like, yep, yep. yep. Wait, why is Godzilla helping the people? Uh, even with both films having no, been well, watched now, I don't know. He's, oh, he's okay. just sort of, they describe him as benevolent at one point, I think. His name, his name is Godzilla, not Satanzilla. Yeah, there you go. he's a nice man. Um, <clears throat> yeah, and the premise for this film is that there's like fourteen evil monsters in total, I think. And, Jeez. And Godzilla, they're like yeah, only four get screen time though. It's yeah, not, and uh, 
And the, literally, this is the beginning of the movie. The government are like, we need to kill all of them before they kill us. And then the scientists are like, but some of them are nice. And that's the movie. <laughs> so, without, without spoilers. Yeah. Uh, Charles Dance plays a cardboard cutout of himself uh, in the movie. They shift him around the scenes, and he's just there. Yeah, useless and worthless. And it's just... It's really unfair, because he's, like, awesome, but okay. You shit. Yeah, because they could have had any any other old man actor could have filled his shoes and just done the same performance, and it would have made a lick of bet difference. Oh, someone said it was 17 and counting for the monsters, not 14. Well, if you went okay. by the movie strictly, uh, you'd probably say uh, 7, right? There we go, the plot's fixed, well, fixed out. <laughs> maybe they were little bitty. Yeah, they were they just were, like, small ones. Sized. Yeah, and they were completely, to totally ambivalent, and they, like, got jobs and um there's restore. a lot of talk about how man has fucked the planet in that film and a lot of people were unhappy about that i didn't really care because i thought it was so poorly written that whatever message they had to pull i was just <laughs> lolling at it you know yeah they, they, they have their little pedestal moment and it's just like oh my god we're the monsters and <laughs> global warming made the monsters yeah the mon they, they say they, that they, the they, monsters they, they, they reference or a response from like Mother Earth to get rid of us, the infection. Yeah. It's like okay, oh like I'm yeah. I'm pretty sure that's what like natural disasters and diseases have been doing for the last always. <laughs> so I guess they had to step it up a bit. Like, damn it, they're curing diseases. We have to send monsters at them. They they mm. stole that. That's from Final Fantasy Seven. <gasps> oh no! Wow. Mm -hmm. We're not gonna talk about that. Today. I knew it. <laughs> I uh, heard that was the shittiest game ever made. How dare you? How, <laughs> dare. I, I, how dare I listen to what people tell me? I just, yes. I'm just repeating what how I've heard I? from everyone else. How I've just I? heard from people. Okay. I've heard from people that it's terrible and it's horrible and no one should ever play it. Oh my god. So triggered. Well, either way, I said it wasn't particularly <laughs> anyway. well written. And people were like, hey, Godzilla movies aren't supposed to be well written. And I was like, oh no. Oh no! And I even oh, got the classic no, like. Not supposed to be well written. I, I got the classic like it's a movie about a fucking giant lizard with space breath. Like why would you even assume that they you? And I'm just like you realize like people make this argument of fucking Star Wars and like if you're a fan of my channel that, that argument just doesn't fucking fly around here. Hey hey, it's meant to entertain retards. Why criticize it? <laughs> <laughs> And yeah, people were like, uh, has bad writing? Sounds like it's, uh, the kind of Godzilla movie I want. And I'm like, why would you want bad, why, why would you, if, if it had good writing, would it be a bad Godzilla film? <laughs> I, I'm confused how that works. And yeah, that's all I'm saying. I would have liked to have a movie where I see big CGI fights, but you have a nice little story in the background that binds it all together. How about that? That'd be yeah. cool. Apparently Mother's Basements made a video explaining that people, like critics, don't understand the value of spectacle in defense of this movie. Uh, oh wow, uh, do they? Is that, is that what the critics' problem is? They well, this is funny because like, spectacle. I love that I, I would technically fall into that group now. You'd be like, you don't understand the value of spectacle. I'd be like, okay. <laughs> Look at the pretty lights. <laughs> no, the, 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 thing, the thing is, all right. I, I don't know for for definite, but let's just assume, right, or let's just say, for argument's sake, right, that the every scene of the monsters fighting in the film accounts to about like twenty five percent of the actual film's runtime. And that's at most. The other seventy five, yeah, that's at most. The other seventy five percent, where it's the humans interacting with each other, is fucking dire. So more than half the film is just complete shit. I, I can't. I, I don't care how good the other half is. If if one half of it is, and it's two hours long, so if like you know at least an hour of it is terrible, it, it, it's hard to enjoy the rest of it, no matter how good it can be or gets. But it's not, but and it doesn't even get that great, you know. Why do you hate art? <laughs> oh fuck off! <laughs> Basically, it's intended for children. Why are you criticizing it? Patrick Willems might yeah. love this movie. I don't know. But yeah, uh, that's that's a video we could event maybe cover. I, I'm curious what his arguments would be. We 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 could check that out sometime, but. Um, yeah, that's, that's it. I don't, like, people are like, oh, I can't wait to see you rip it apart in a rage video. It's like, I'm not gonna make a video on Godzilla King of Monsters. I don't really care about it. <laughs> like, it's, uh, I, I'm not invested in Godzilla like a lot of people are, and they're like, that explains why I didn't like it. And I'm like, no, yeah, I, yeah, I, I didn't, I didn't, didn't like it. Like, I enjoyed a lot of the fucking, the dangly keys spectacle? bit. Spectacle? Did yeah. you appreciate the spectacle? I did appreciate the spectacle, but whatever they That's cut good. back to the fucking people in a stupid station looking at screens going, this is mm. bad. I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but honestly, honestly, though, if, if everyone's defense for it, it's just going to be, you don't understand it. Like, oh, 
sense, really. Like, and the, please tell me what I don't understand about Godzilla, King of the Monsters. <laughs> <laughs> I you don't get know. it. It's supposed to be bad. Come There's on. some complex symbolism between giant monsters punching each other in the face. Don't you get it? Where are the monsters? Godzilla represents the internal struggle of late stage capitalism. <laughs> no. it represents the human condition. <laughs> it's so well, all, 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 honestly, you take the piss, but that's like you, you need like one step away from the fucking message the film was trying to say anyway. It's, a, it's just like mass globalism and or, or consumption of resources caused Godzilla and his friends to come out to play. I that's, want to talk about the ending that you went to the toilet for, Al, just to give you the but it's too it's too potentially spoilery, so I have to leave it. But there's so much stupid shit. Yeah. Well, well, based on what I missed in, and bear in mind this is the credits now, not like I didn't miss like an actual scene, did I? No. It, um, it, well, it was it was it was loads of newspaper clippings in a row, but it was loads yeah, yeah, of wheel yeah. buildings so, shoved onto the screen. Yeah, so it's basically like the, most of the exposition came right at the end of the film, or literally when at the, the film end of the movie. Now. Godzilla yeah. is selected. To sit on the Iron Throne as king <laughs> of the monsters. I really want to bang my head. It feels it feels bad that you said it that way because me and Alex are laughing at the idea that you just made a very accurate joke about the film that it's like, oh, you haven't even seen it right. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, whoops. <laughs> it get fucking worse than that. Uh, but yeah, I don't want to say any more than that. Um, I could see myself watching it again. I probably will with with Rags and fucking Wolf for uh for EFAP movies because there's so much to work with. Um, huh. and it has amazing cinematography at certain points. I actually do want the Ghidorah G Godzilla face off as a background one day. Uh, after I get the 4K version or something, it'll be great. But Ooh. um, yeah. Other than that, it was terrible. And I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I wish it were better. The 2014 one was better. The, the, the I've spoken to Wolf about it. He said the 98 one is more than likely better. And I was like, oh god, say that to a Godzilla fan. They'll fucking kill you. If you're a Godzilla I fan, just, you're not allowed to like the Matthew Broderick film. Yeah, I just uh, say there's a few people posting like spam bots or whatever in the chat. I'm trying to hide them, but I don't know if there's any mods on the chat right now. Well, I'm actually not a ma I'm not. I'm actually not a mod. If you just say something, I'll mod you. If I say hide user on this channel, does that hide it for everyone? I don't know if that's a mod. Thing yes, or it me. does. Okay, I just we will fix I'll, this. Oh. Yeah, I'll just start hiding people now. There you go, Rack said something. Bum, 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 bum. Like literally something. Uh, add moderator. Ah oh, yes. Rags yeah, has the I power. People are saying I wasn't a mod because I'm just a guest, which is fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, yeah, uh, actually, Geeks and Gamers were complaining they got a whole swarm of mods on their stream the other day, so... Uh, sorry, swarm of bots, not mods. <laughs> that would be weird. Um, but yeah, uh, the other thing I wanted to mention was... Uh, I, spent, I sent the conversation to Rags. CJ was posting on Twitter about how double ads are turning up on YouTube, apparently. I, I don't know, I haven't looked into that, whether or not it's true. Yeah, double ads. Hmm. yeah um, I've noticed it on my phone for a while now. And he asked uh, if anyone else is seeing that, and then some guy was like, well, I don't see it because I have ad block, and then CJ was like, oh, well, it would be cool if you whitelist, like, you know, channels that you want to support or whatever. And the guy's little response was, uh, uh, how about you get a get real a, job? Get a real job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And like... <laughs> He was, uh, I kind of want to pull it up just so I'm not misrepresenting the poor man. Uh, nah, got no, 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 that's, that's, that's what he said. <laughs> He's like, um, basically, get a real job. And then he refuted, get, like I said, get a real job. He, yeah, he, so he, C he, CJ said, that's incredibly narrow-minded of you. And he said, why would I waste money and data on ads? And CJ said, I don't know, maybe so that you can, uh, so that people who put dozens of hours of work into producing something you can enjoy without paying for it, by the way, uh, can get something back from it and potentially earn a living from it. And then the response to that is, the day you get a real job, feel free to reply. <laughs> and, you know ratioed? <laughs> you know the concept of being ratioed? This has three likes and 96 replies. <laughs> oh, boy. I would imagine people have something to say about that. The response is fucking priceless for a lot of these. There's a picture of Goofy. What you All the hours spent editing was imaginary hours that didn't really exist. That's yeah, it's not, not work. It's not. Well, this is the thing. Uh, some people have replied to me saying, "You do realize semantically that what you do doesn't count as a job." And I was like, "Have you looked at the definition of job?" 
It's, like, it's work that I do that gives me money people that I used to support if you, myself. I don't know what you would. I don't see how you can't consider it a job when you have a Patreon open. Like, at least with AdSense, you can make an argument about how you've got no boss and it's based on something that could be taken away in a second, blah, blah, blah. Even then, I think it's a job. But well, when your you real have... job can be taken away in a second. Exactly, this Godzilla, is what I mean. the king Eddie... of the monsters, <laughs> and destroys the office. I was going to say, like, people work on zero-hour contracts already. It doesn't... Uh... Oh, it's fucking, the whole thing is bullshit, and I'm just like, whatever, oh, yeah, whatever yeah. thing you draw as like a, this is why your thing doesn't count as a job, then there's gonna be an example where you go, but this is a job, isn't it? And how, how does this count? And then they'll be like, oh, there's loads of conversations on my Twitter of like that right now. Like, independent journalists, apparently that's not a job now. Independent oh, anything isn't a job. Contractors, commissions, work. none of that's is a, a job. Is a male porn star a job? <laughs> that's a privilege. <laughs> <laughs> um, and yeah, this is one of the replies, I thought it was really funny. Good old memes. Go ahead and put the. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking goofy. <laughs> um, Valiant soldier in the meme war. Yeah, I felt like, you know, maybe it's worth saying something about it, but I was like, is this something that needs to be said? Like, the idea of referring to making money online, it's like, it's not a real job. It's like, what the fuck do you mean real? Do you think it's an imaginary job? Like, what? You work. If you're not working in a factory producing iron ingots <laughs> then it's not a real if you if at the end of the day you don't have a big hole a, a ditch where dirt used to be that's not a real job well then they're fakey jobs yeah and so to me i'm just like if they're gonna pull the card of it's a semantic thing and you need to realize that it doesn't count i'd be like no it's a semantic thing and you really need to realize it does count especially well, in this day and age christ Anyone yeah, like all of the all of the graphic artists who made Godzilla King of the Monsters. <laughs> That's not actually a job. No, no, it's not. I just love the idea that people who take commissions regularly uh, say that they have a job, but you'd be like, not really. That's you, not really it's, it's not, not really a job. You, you're you're not, like, yeah. And if they said like you're not paid regularly by a corporation that has a boss that's on a, a regular time contract that gets like health benefits or something like, that, I'd just be like, what the fuck is all that? Why does that define that you have a job? Blow it out your ass. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. He's just mad because he probably has a shitty job. That's what's going on. Why don't you just go down <laughs> the alleyway and blow dudes for a nickel each? That's yeah. a real job. And then you, you know, once that conversation is over as well, you start to think like, what? If that was his reply to CJ saying, hey, these people work really hard. His response is, tell me when you get a real job. <laughs> <laughs> you, you sound friendly. Yeah. You must be great at parties. Um, but anyway, I think I think uh, the, we've been here long enough to now say like welcome to EFAB thirty seven. We're almost to that beautiful four zero. Is everyone excited? What are we gonna do when we get to five zero, Rags? We have to do something special. We will have a, a special guest, Godzilla, King of the Monsters. <laughs> hell, man. I mean, I'm not against it. He could be Goodbye. quite entertaining. Stitch left. He was. Upset at Godzilla, he's just, returned. Did you just call now him that Stitch? I mentioned Godzilla, King. Yep. No, did I say <laughs> by Fucking accident? Racist. This is that's his brother. I get him confused because mm -hmm. he's the one with the smiley face. Stitch oh. or Stitch. <laughs> um, yeah, we we have lots to to talk about, lots to cover. Everything is going to be so great, and uh, I believe this is the last episode that will not feature the Wolf Man. So, you know, enjoy it while you can, folks, because he's. <sighs> He's coming back probably. Yeah, no, we're maybe, gonna have to know. string this one out, make yeah. those hours count. Mm -hmm. Um, since you did just leave and come back, are you there, Mister Sitch? I am back. My Discord temporarily stopped working. Um, oh no! How do you do? This is your introduction. Welcome to the show. I've been watching your content for a decent amount of time now. Um, as has Rag is. Uh, yeah. You, you. You've been watching my horrible Nazi content. I think I have. Every day, I stray <laughs> further and further into the alt-right quagmire. <laughs> you know, you know, Mahler leads you to rags, leads you to PSA Stitch, leads you to fucking PewDiePie, leads you to Ben Shapiro, leads you <laughs> just like, oh god. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, I actually, I think the first video of yours I watched was the, um, sort of clarifying the whole Cub Scouts thing, or, mm. uh, I remember. The Girls and Boy Scouts. That's the one. Um. Yeah, and I, I believe you found some success recently with shitting on um, a TV show that everyone's really enjoying right now. 
Godzilla, right. King of the <laughs> Monsters. That's, that's right. Why am I wasting my time with why with politics? Obviously, you just gotta shit on movies and TV shows. That's where that's where the YouTube bucks are. Ah, oh, that's hot. That's hot. I mean, yeah. does this mean uh, you're gonna switch over now to criticizing stuff like Aladdin? Like uh, the implication of that meme there? Was. Well, look, if if I'm if H bomber guy who's a total ponce can go back and forth between politics and and media, then someone like me who's not a ponce can do that too. Oh. Oh, I so, so I mean, it'll be interesting to see if we get anything like as disastrous as Game of Thrones again. It's like we're gonna need to get a new TV show that's built up over eight years. Um, yeah, only <laughs> ruin one. it. Uh, it was pretty bad though, huh? I, I assume you'd be watching it. Like, where did you get started watching it? I I watched Game of Thrones from the beginning. 2011, was it? all the way back in the day. Did you read the old Bookerinos? And I read. I think I got to season two and I was like, oh, I need to find out what happens next. Mm. So I read uh, three, four, and five, which were out at the time. And I guess are still the only things that are out. I was just saying, yeah, nothing has happened since <laughs> 2011. Exactly. So. so, and I don't know, because like, it's, it's kind of that problem where after you read the source material, like everything starts to seem kind of worse. Yes. Uh, no, that, 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 no, that's just realizing how shit the show is in comparison. Uh, I mean, it's just yeah, true. It, it could have just been, it could have gone downhill at, after season two anyway, so. Yeah, you're not being tricked. You just know better now. The Weird right, Wolf right. was timed out by rags for 300 seconds. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we're going to talk about power. <laughs> and, and how I've just made him a moderator, so. <laughs> and how I, I've been a guest for 37 um, times, 30, 30, 37 times, give or take. <laughs> Which means that I have the power now. He man. Might makes right. I am like Captain Marvel. I have oh, the power, which means that I can bully whatever man I wish for whatever reason that I deem necessary. That was All funny, will love me in despair. King of the moderators. Uh Rags, King of the Moderators. <laughs> <laughs> no. did a video on the Captain Marvel scene. It was kind of funny watching his takes. He was trying to be neutral and uh but he, he's like describing the events like um, this man is clearly offering help. He's doing it in a potentially suggestive way. But if you uh, look at it objectively, he's uh, being friendly um, with a possibility of a flirtatious attitude. He's like doing very robotically. And then when he shows the scene of her electrocuted him, he falls to the ground. He goes, this is assault. <laughs> 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 so like dry, like, yes, yes, it is. But um, yeah, what, what what was with the fucking the mass like flagging or, or copyright claiming of those videos? Like um, they seem to be released now. But like, was this was this some kind of knee jerk reaction from Disney or something, or was it just an accident? Because a lot of people like, I heard that it was they were manual. I don't know if my one. Well, so the interesting thing is that the the Moolah one got taken down, but the Moolah one didn't, and obviously the Moolah one's harder to find, so because it's unlisted. So maybe it was a bunch of it manual. manual. Uh oh, we're getting too popular for our own good. Got to shut it down. But yeah, I, uh, it was interesting because like you know everyone's getting released slowly, so I just don't know what the fuck their plan was in the first place. If it was something they weren't gonna like see through to the end, if you know what I mean, just give well, up immediately. I'm just wondering if maybe they decided it looked too bad and they just weren't gonna release it at all publicly, so they're just gonna try to take everything down, hide the evidence. Mm. Oh. Um, it really works because it just got even more fucking coverage for uh, <laughs> like people were like, wow, this Captain Marvel person is a piece of shit. And you know what? There was gonna be a different first video, but I now feel like this is too perfect to lead into. Um, we have covered Brown Table before. I can't remember why, because he's one of the most like he slips in with the rest of the video essay crowd. Um, all the standard mm -hmm. things that he does. But he released a video recently called "We're Still Arguing About Captain Marvel," and. Uh, it's like, I don't, you know, immediately I was like, okay, is that a problem? And I watched the first few minutes of it and I was like, oh, this is bad. Um, and Hooray. sometimes you get, in, you look at people and you're like, why did you get inspired to make such a like stupid, irrelevant video? I don't know. Like, just, yes, we're talking about Captain Marvel. Did you see the fucking thing that got released? And people are like, it's a deleted scene. Why does it matter? <laughs> it's like, well, if we were talking it about the deleted like scene. It looks like they were going to put it in. I mean, fuck, have you seen some of the, like, there's some deleted scenes out there that are fucking amazing in, in, when it comes to movies. Well, see, what does it say to their, you know, when they were filming it, someone was smart enough in post-production to cut the scene out, because they said, okay, this is, this is too far. But then someone in the marketing department was like, 
hey, if we put this scene out there, this will piss everyone off and get us like good publicity. So we're going to do it for the outrage. I feel like that's why, yeah, because I could tell any editor worth his salt would be like, we can't have this scene in the movie. <laughs> this is really bad. <laughs> it's like this legit makes her a villain. She's supposed to be not the, she's supposed to be the protagonist hero. <laughs> I mean, I, I told makes her you. seem like a robot trying to just chase people down and kill them mercilessly. <laughs> I uh I told you Rags, but I showed my sister and her boyfriend this scene because they hadn't seen Captain Marvel at this point. And they were, yeah. they were both just like, "What the fuck? Like <laughs> this is she's the hero person." You're like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. "Yeah, this is our protagonist hero." And then I just like the idea that someone's like, "Yeah, she's not you know she's not gonna fit in with the fucking framework for male heroes. She's gonna break break the glass <laughs> uh model. She's gonna do gonna stuff that's not break that dude's arm." Yeah, it's just like, okay, so Hero 101, it's like you need to take these writers back to school, you're like, <laughs> heroes don't typically abuse people and steal their things, I'm like, why? I can see, I can see a chalkboard, <laughs> they just write out, hero equals good, <laughs> rule one. And like, why hero is it not, but the, but the man was harassing her, and you're like, ugh. <sighs> she was fighting the patriarchy, guys, <laughs> anything's acceptable. Embarrassing, but yeah, uh, is everybody in the watch together? This is going to be exciting. I, I am, but I just got spinny wheel of death at the moment. Hmm. What about now? Huh. You. Oh, hmm. there you go. It's nice wicked. Go on. Who's this guy? This is Brown Table, apparently. Um, um, it's only a six minute video, so this should be nice and easy for us. And yeah, it's. Yeah, two hours. Just do it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what he has to say. On March 8th of 2019, Captain Marvel hit theaters. I've never seen so much hate and vitriol for a movie in such a long yeah, time. Really People shit. are still. I mean, it was really bad. <laughs> it was terrible. <laughs> it was awful. And it hasn't been that long. I mean, March, April, May, basically almost three almost three months. That's nothing. And you cannot undermine like the, the importance of this deleted scene getting revealed because everybody was fucking talking about it on Twitter. So it's just gonna reignite all the conversations about Captain Marvel. But um mm -hmm. what's what's it the what's the last movie you guys remember getting hated to shit? Ghostbusters 2016? Um, no, Ghostbusters hmm. was 2016. I mean, The Last Jedi was after Oh, that's that. true. Yeah, Last yeah, Jedi yeah. is much more recent. Um, movies that people really hated. Um, I gotta, don't say games, but movies. The Predator? Nah. I no. would agree with you if only more people were fucking aware of the film, because it seems to have been forgotten already. Like, I would just say on a smaller scale. Yeah, it was Jurassic basically a TLJ on a small scale. Kingdom? Nah. People mostly liked that film, I think. Yeah, people are retarded. That is true, but TLJ didn't manage to, you know, get past that. The, it didn't survive on the I mean, raft of yeah, retarded I guess people. TLJ was the big one, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Ghostbusters. Uh... People suggested AVP in chat. It's <laughs> going really far back. Star Wars, episode one, The Phantom. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it would be TLJ. But yeah, yeah, this happens. This totally happens. It's always interesting to figure out why. Why did people get so angry at the thing? Good to know that Captain Marvel was the one to knock TLJ off the throne. <laughs> <laughs> All for a movie that. in such a long time. People are still hating on I this movie for the dumbest reasons now. No. And it came... What? <laughs> okay, it's not out yet, so... They, they, they so have dumb reasons, about. and it's months ago. What? I, I what? don't understand the... Well, he said dumbest reasons now. I'm assuming he's going to talk about the deleted scene. Like, people are hating on Captain Marvel for a deleted scene. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. It's going to be exciting. And it came out months ago. Yeah. Spider-Man's about to come out. Spider-Man. So? <laughs> yeah, what's the problem? What? <laughs> yeah, 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 okay. <laughs> Do you guys remember how Solo came out and no one gave a shit and kept talking about TLJ? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like, it, was, hello. it was like, oh yeah, yeah. It, <laughs> I forgot Solo exists. And then someone, someone made a video saying, "Why are we still talking about TLJ? Solo's coming out. Solo." <laughs> like, <laughs> nobody gives a shit. Well, obviously, if a movie isn't out yet, there's less to talk about compared to the movie that's out. I don't think Spider-Man no, no. makes it so that we no longer talk about Captain Marvel. That's a strange no, thing. But we, know, we know what's going on. He's, he's trying to fucking disvalue it while everyone's criticisms by going, God, that film was three months ago. Get over it. It's just like, come on. No. But it, the whole point is absurd on top of that because no one's talking about the movie. They're talking about this specific clip that just came out. Yeah, and then when people from that clip say something like, 
this is a, this isn't in the movie. In the movie, she's a much better person than people be like, is she though? And then they talk yeah, about the yeah, movie, you, and it's like, oh no, yeah, they talked yeah, about the movie you, as a result of the deleted scene. Oh no. Oh no, they released content for something and people are talking about it. Uh, <laughs> How dare you meander back? Don't you guys know that Spider Man's coming. coming out? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not even out. Time, <laughs> it's not out yet. Every time, every time we have a discussion, you just go, wait, wait, yeah, this is all cool. But did you know someone else is coming out in a few weeks' time? <laughs> Didn't you know Godzilla King of the Monsters came out? <laughs> oh, Godzilla! <laughs> King of the fucking Kill Me! King of the Kill Me. <laughs> <laughs> There were these new deleted scenes that started coming out, and I really enjoyed them. I thought they were good. I wish they were in- What? No. I need to- what? You didn't just say that the deleted scene was I, I, good, Just to clarify as well, were there other deleted scenes? I didn't see any other ones. They might have been, but I didn't see them. ...come out. Spider-Man. We're still talking about Captain Marvel. There were these new deleted scenes that started coming out, and I really enjoyed them. I thought they were good. I wish they were in the movie because they gave uh, Carol Danvers, I feel, a bit more character. <laughs> That's uh, my uh, opinion. What the oh, fuck? Sorry. <laughs> Somebody, somebody in chat did say there was apparently two more. I guess that like, they were meh, and that nobody made a fuss about them. I guess. How do they give him more character? <laughs> well, they they make her evil as opposed <laughs> they to. They literally turn her character. Like, she wasn't that evil in the well. <sighs> she does blow everyone up. I don't know. Like, I, that's an interesting take. I, I'd like to hear why. Uh, the I'm deleted scene where she abuses a fucking steal shit from a guy is. Uh, my goodness, okay. But there was one deleted scene. Yeah. Twitter. Oh, yeah. Sometimes people just disagree, yeah, you know? Terrible. Sometimes they just don't like a movie, and, you know, sometimes they just don't like women. Let's actually. Oh, oh. there we go, there we go. Sometimes they just disagree. Sometimes yes. Ding, 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 boys, 41 seconds. There we go. We I was going to say, that was pretty quick. <laughs> Nailed it. Oh, I'm at 39 seconds. I mean, oh, did you not? Did you, did, you did hear what he said, though, right? I'm at 39. Well. Oh. I will. I, I will they replay. Said Twitter it. disagree. Oh, we 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 we'll let you hear that again, Rags. You'll love it. Disagree. You know, sometimes they just don't like a movie, and you know, sometimes they just don't like women. Let's actually watch. Fuck off. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, how long did it take for that? Uh, that that guy from last episode with the whole. Oh yeah, you, you, I'm not saying you're all misogynist, but the next film, yeah, you're <laughs> yeah. all misogynists. <laughs> Like it didn't take him long. It was, yeah, uh, I don't know if you saw it, Sitch, but we basically covered a guy who at the beginning of his video said, you can dislike Captain Marvel and not be a sexist, that's fine. And at the end, he says, look, people who are saying they didn't like Captain Marvel, it's not because of, like, they had a problem with X, Y, or Z. It's because they're misogynist. <laughs> like, it's, it's... Yeah, they... Right. Uh, you don't uh, like really strong women. Sometimes they don't like a movie, sometimes they don't like women. How many of these people exist in the world that just rampantly hate women? Where I've never met them. Yeah, I know, I, neither I have I. Keep, I keep being told they're everywhere. And they're, they're, like they're them and the Nazis, they're hiding in every bush and under every rock, and they're <laughs> secretly controlling society. I've, I've yet to see any of them. But that's just my lived experiences as a <laughs> white male. Hey man, I'm all about a legal life. <laughs> all right, yeah. You haven't I'm seen them, Rags, because you haven't looked in a mirror. <gasps> dun, but I have. Dun, dun. Have you seen that Mola guy? He made a two-hour video I saying that Captain Marvel was shit because of women. Oh yeah. All right. Anyway. Good thing we're on Mueller's channel. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Sometimes they just don't like women. Let's actually watch this deleted scene. Oh my. Let's watch this video. So Captain Marvel's minding her own business here, uh, just reading- And this reading fucking that. monster. <laughs> <laughs> this disgusting tyrant. This literal <laughs> sexual assaulter. Look at the way he rides his bike, he's a fucking rapist. Marvel's minding her own business here, uh, just reading this map, and then uh, we get a- just get a douche. Nice scoop. No, it's Don. Oh Don. no, he's a douche. He's a douche. Oh, no. There you go. No, he's Don. He's not douche. He's the Don. Like you can't just say that about the Don. Look at look at chat's lighting up already. It's the Don. Here he is, guys. How dare you? How fucking dare you? This is the man who fucking pretty sure he lost a child. Like we didn't even mention that when we were talking about the previous in the previous episode. All that other stuff that he suffered, he even lost a kid. And like no one cares about the Don story. No one cares. Alright. You need a ride. Oh, what did he do? He nodded, so. <laughs> that was with commentary, I guess. And, uh. How about a smile for me, huh? 
Okay. He's sexual harassment. Little, uh, people Whoa! Yeah, like, sexual <laughs> harassment, you fucking asshole. Jesus Christ. <laughs> what is sexual with these people? Imagine imagine filing this with the police. It's like, I'd like to file sexual <laughs> harassment. It's like, all right, can you tell me what the aggressor did? He's like, well, he called my spacesuit a scuba suit. And they're like, okay. He asked if I would like a ride. And I declined. And then he, he said he wanted a smile. Like, all right, just tell me where he sexually harassed you, ma'am. Why? Like, what, what are you talking about? But that, but that was it. Uh, Why is this it. the take? Why? Why are so many people coming away from this with this? What world are we in? This is like the litmus test for fucking stupid people. <laughs> <laughs> Do they know what sexual harassment entails? <laughs> no, these people well, don't know anything about sex. Well, to be fair, we don't went know from anything about women 20 or seconds social before. life. <laughs> Yeah, no, we went 20, 20 seconds before we went from, you know, ah, oh, he just hate women to the next bit. Whoa, sexual assault! <laughs> <laughs> I can't. It's just like, God, what, what, what rating was this film? Like 15, 12? It's like, at the beginning, it says warning, harsh language, and rape. <laughs> like, <what>? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah the, the scenes of graphic violence and also a man sexually assaulting <laughs> Carol Danvers. I mean, that's why they cut this scene from the movie. Otherwise, it would have been rated R. Yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Audiences couldn't bear it. They were walking out of the cinema in disgust. In the test screenings, they were like, I'm glad she got, you know, she managed to beat him back, but that was fucking hard to watch. <laughs> it, was a, it was a struggle. But like, You know that iconic pinball rape scene? Oh, 2019, the iconic Carol Danvers map scene. <laughs> It just, like, it, it, we would meme about this. We would be like, oh, this is so fucking uptight that a smile would be sexual harassment or a request for one. And then they, like, unironically say it. And we're like, okay, now we have to improve our jokes. <laughs> because apparently, like, they're not parody enough. Clown world, everyone. <sighs> Unbelievable, honestly. A smile for me, huh? Sexual harassment. People call me. <laughs> wow. God. God. <laughs> You're gonna give me your jacket, your helmet, and your motorcycle? I'm curious how he's gonna fucking talk about this, honestly. Well, and in return, I'm gonna let you keep your hand. <laughs> so that's the scene. That's what people are fighting each other about. As a guy, if I had superpowers and a dude came up to me and would be like, Hey, you wanna ride? <laughs> if I can shoot laser beams out of my hands, that guy would be toast. That's because you're a psychopath. That's, yeah, that's because uh, uh, you're a fucking psycho. Total homophobe, come on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true, that's true. A homophobic psychopath. Damn, we can be, boy. I can't believe he's like, <laughs> okay with this. <laughs> if a guy walked up to me and was like, even if they were overt about it, like, they were like, hey, do you, I mean, do you wanna shit. fuck? I'm I'd be like, um, I'm alright, hey. instead of fucking killing him. <laughs> Just to be glad he doesn't have a gun then, because he doesn't need superpowers to obliterate someone. If he doesn't like somebody say that, you can just shoot him dead on the street if he lives in, well, California or wherever. I, don't know, I, wish, California, but. I wish the Don would ask me for a ride. Absolutely. Are you kidding me? Can you imagine the stories I he wish could that tell? I, would just, I wish that I had that privilege to be asked by the Don for a ride. You know, in fairness, calling him a psycho is like, that, that underrepresents his perspective. Like, if you look at what a psychopath is, like, they would go further than this. Like, so he, he ha uh, we have to give him a different, he's just a maniac? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's hard to respond to this because it's just like, you're kidding. It's so on its face. It, 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 at face value, this should be self-evidently a terrible, horrible thing to do, but people are defending it because we have to protect Captain Marvel. Well, do you think this is anyone's honest opinion, or is this just 100% virtue signaling? Look, I'm on your side, guys. I'm one of the good ones. I mean, as a dude, if this happened to me, yeah. <laughs> I think uh, that they're saying, I don't think they, I don't know if they'd actually do it. But then again, you know, the, you know, the Bob Chipmans of the world are out there and they're like, they're really, really adamant about, you know, wanting to exercise physical violence against people. They lament the fact <laughs> that they can't do it. So rest in Bob peace, Bob Chipman should be more Chip. concerned with just... He should be more concerned with cholesterol. I was gonna say, yeah, with exercise in general, not exercising <laughs> so violence. With diet. Are you kidding me? He's gorgeous. But have yes, you seen his Mario Kart play? Art is subjective. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, we've talked about it in the previous stream, but just, yeah, rest in peace, courtship. Courtship is dead, because if you would try to even, like, remotely try and court a lady, or a, a member of the fucking species you're in, 
Careful. Careful, well, you could be going to jail. To, they're trying to completely flip on its head the norm of social interaction, which is men approaching women, which the vast majority of women prefer. They want it to be where now women need to be the ones who approach men, and that's just not generally what women do. Women don't. Women like guys who are assertive, who are who will show initiative, and women like to be complimented. Everyone likes to be complimented, but especially by strangers, because this stranger doesn't have like a vested emotional interest in me. So when a stranger gives you a compliment, you're like, oh wow, you know, it means a lot. Yeah, but they have to be attractive. If it's an <laughs> ugly stranger, then it's harassment. Yeah, it's harassment. The Don is, is fucking gorgeous. So. Wait, he is gorgeous. He's a good-looking guy. I love it, by the way, that uh, he says, like, I don't know why people are fighting over this. Like, I don't know, maybe it's because your take just now kind of tells us why people want to fight that take. Yeah, he's mm. fighting over it. What's he talking about? Oh. Shoot laser beams out of my hands. That guy would be toast. Let's go to Twitter. And, uh... You'd kill him. <laughs> Shit. So Joey Salads is, like, pretty much the... This is great. Marvel has created the worst... Yes. Yes, this is yep. correct. Name a more unlikable hero in the MCU. Even fucking the whole of Marvel. <laughs> Na here, name a more unlikable villain. <laughs> Joffrey was And I don't know if I can have one. I'm yeah, and it's funny because like he wants to try and be like it's Joey Salads, therefore the argument is dumb. And it's like I mean, it, it, Joey Salads retarded, but I mean th this is still a fair point. Most un do you remember when Joey Salads uh, asked the question to uh, the panel that had Anita Sarkeesian on it? Yep, that shit was funny. What was his, he said something like like why why are you okay with? Uh, not okay with it happening to women, but you're okay with it happening to men or something he, he like that. He said, "Why? How come you always act as if these are not problems men have? This is the only problem that women have, which yeah, is like, the picture that they paint." He got booed out, right, or like sent away. No, he got cheered, but then it, it was a bit of both because it was a, the people who show up to listen to fucking Anita Sarkeesian talk are probably not the brightest people. I just generalized everyone, and I don't regret a goddamn thing. <laughs> you know what's interesting, Marvel. too? Yesterday, for six hours, I took an enhanced concealed carry uh, class yesterday. It was six hours. And such a, a huge part of that is having the emotional, judgment, emotional control to exercise good judgment in situations. Um, because you literally have... You know, it parallels the situation a little bit because if you carry a handgun with you, then you literally have life and death power over everybody that you meet. And so you have to use you know, good judgment and you have to exercise responsibility at all times. So in scenarios like this, where in real life you have that kind of power, the same power that essentially Captain Marvel has, the power over people. Like if this guy did that, you know, if he if he said, hey, you want to ride? I'm the Don. A smile for me. Like, do you think it would be legally justified for me to whip out a pistol and kill him? Dude, you'd probably say not legally, no, but morally, yes. <laughs> it's it's absolutely okay. it's absolutely ridiculous. And I carry a Glock twenty six or a, or my or my seventeen, chat. But like, this is a real. This, there's a very very direct real life comparison that you can make here. And once you substitute the superpowers for a firearm. Mm -hmm. Oh, now every oh now is ooh, well, it's all fuck it. Let's now. just say he had a taser because he's of the electrical powers. He would he would actually tase a guy to the point where he could steal things from him because he doesn't want to be tased anymore. And, like he seems to be okay with this, and I was like, this is a problem, sir. Like you, this needs to be sorted out. You need to be spoken to. Has created the worst, most unlikable <laughs> hero ever. Sorry, that's I don't find what the they said. I was going to say that's what they said. Why are you? That's making what they said. I don't know if he knew that. Maybe he didn't. Film likable when she nearly rips off a person's hand and steals his stuff because he's a jerk off. She didn't yeah. rip his hand off. She threatened him. She, he didn't say he that. Literally, oh. literally said, "If you want to keep your hand, you better give me all your shit." Joey Salad said she nearly rips off a person's hand, meaning she was going to if he didn't fucking give up his shit. And then his response is, "She didn't rip off his hand." <laughs> He only threatened to threatened to yeah to thre threatening to, to maim somebody is fine like oh, God. God and steals his stuff because he's a jerk off. 
She didn't rip his hand off, dude. She she just like twisted it. This is <laughs> <laughs> twisted. That makes Man. it okay. She can rip through spaceships. A little twist from her would literally blow me up. <laughs> Fucking come on, dude. It's like, how do you control that? Um, At what point? Uh, it's like the Zildjian. How does super? How does Superman fly faster? You know. Like, how do you measure your ability to, oh, I can punch through the intergalactic warships. Also, I can shake people's hands. How do you measure that? One, one tiny slip of your power level and you explode a city block. So you better be on your best. Superman oh. didn't crush his head. He just punched him to the point where he's unconscious. You're like, oh. oh fuck me. How do you unironically make this video? <laughs> this, is the- this is so stupid. This is an adequate response, I feel, by uh, my friend Jonathan Burdett. It's from Films and Stuff. Go check it out. It's great. Let's not forget Thor being a... Oh, here we go. This is, this is where oh, it is. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we'll take this one by one. Let's not forget Thor being a would-be warmonger. That's true. And in the beginning of Thor, he wants to wipe out Jotunheim because they've sent ice giants to try and steal from Asgard. Over the course of the movie, he realizes that you shouldn't genocide people. This is bad. Yeah. And he needs to be a better that's ruler. That's bad. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the films establish as part of his arc. Doctor Strange clearly. refusing patience to keep his perfect record. Um, I don't even know that that's that's. He takes like extreme. He wants, he wants patience that challenge him. Yeah, it's not about not keeping to his, keep his perfect record. I don't because I thought that he takes like crazy difficult stuff. Yeah, exactly. Because oh, that's yeah. too easy. I'm not doing. And it. also the whole Hippocratic oath. Like he, his character. I mean, I mean, I can't remember that. I don't even like that film. Now, so yeah, but... look at chat. Thor faced the consequences. Yes, he did. He lost all yeah. of his shit because of his decision to be an asshole. Yet exiled to a distant planet. Oh, uh, Rocket Raccoon being. Well, wait, wait, wait. I was gonna say <laughs> oh, if God. chat has God. any more information on that, because I can't remember if Doctor Strange refuses patience based on keeping a perfect record. I don't know if that happens. I don't but... think so. I think it's just stuff that challenges him. And if anything, that's good in a way because lesser things, other do- other less talented doctors could handle. Uh, rub- he takes the cases that are like really, really difficult that potentially only he can fix. Rubbers three oh. said. No, there was. He didn't want an uncurable patient to screw his record. He said it directly. Oh, mm. gotcha. Yeah, but the whole point with Doctor Strange is like he starts off and he's the egotistical asshole, and then he yeah, becomes he, he, yeah, he's, he's a dick. better person. The film totally portrays him as a complete asshole in the beginning. Carol stays the same got throughout the whole time. Yeah, Ca- yeah, Carol just realizes that she's <laughs> a badass. Carol realizes she was right all along. <laughs> yeah, Doctor Strange ha- has growth. <laughs> But like even then, like Doctor Strange isn't gonna take an incurable patient. I was about like, to I was about to say what about hold on. incurable The idea is... that he doesn't take an incurable patient's like, well <laughs> like, Yeah. I mean, if they're gonna die, there's a pragmatic reason why you should say, uh, instead of trying to cure someone who's incurable, maybe we should treat someone who's got a chance at living. Oh, apparently the guy who lost feeling in his legs, that was someone that he refused to work on, and then obviously he was surprised because the guy got fixed, but it turns out magic fixed it. Mm. Yeah. Oh, right. It was magic. Yeah, this is what I mean. Uh, I love it when they generalize. There's, like, there's so much context to talk about that ruins I mean, honestly, the <laughs> judging, from, judging from this guy, just taking a wild guess here, oh, um, he probably hates Doctor Strange because he works for the American health system anyway. He's, like, evil by because of, well, because of capitalism or something anyway. What a piece of shit. He has also, loads of watches. Also, um, the, essentially, we have to remember that this entire tweet is what about ism? Absolutely. Uh, what if right. what if all of these people are all bad too? That might be true. Sure. You you haven't ri- you haven't lifted up Captain Marvel. You've just dragged down everyone else. Uh, yeah, to her and terrible completely level. unsuccessfully. Because the next yeah. next example is Rocket Raccoon being a self sabotaging asshole. I'd be like, that is true. He, Rocket he also, Raccoon is completely. He's portrayed as probably the most morally dubious out of the entire Guardians right, team. Right. So if it's yeah, if we, if we want to talk straight, so we got Wonder Woman, who everyone is treating as like you know a female empowerment icon, blah blah blah. You know she's great. This empowers women and all that. Nobody is fucking pitching the torch for Rocket Raccoon. <laughs> no, nobody's saying, "Oh man, I want to be like yeah." He he he's the he he's the moral god on everything. <laughs> He's fucking. He's a raccoon. Come on. <clears throat> uh, Jay said it's not what about autism because Salads was comparing Captain Marvel to other heroes already. I don't think that was in the tweets he showed. I haven't seen Joey Salads' selection of tweets. Yeah. But uh, you wouldn't need to do that. You wouldn't need to be like other heroes don't do it. I'd be like, that's not why it's bad. <laughs> it's not bad because other heroes refuse to beat people yeah. up. 
Um, just bad. look at the Punisher. <laughs> He's done so much worse than Carol. So it's okay. <laughs> yeah, doesn't doesn't uh, Rocket have like a bit of a redemption arc in well, uh, Guardians Rockets... Two? Self sabotage is like a part of his character, as well as sabotaging those around him because he's not. I'm pretty sure that's what the second film's about. He's just like, he can't deal with. He doesn't he's want to be open. Damaged. He can't deal with having connections. He doesn't know how to deal with it. Yeah, and he and like he's a sympathetic character. He's literally did he in the first ones like say he didn't want to be bo uh, born into this body or whatever. I can't remember. Basically, yeah, because he has that chat with um, Yondu. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, he's, he, he's a lab experiment, isn't he? He's not, he wasn't... Oh, Jay said, well, he, was, this. Jay said he was referencing when he called her the most unlikable. I mean, you can't even say that's objective anyway, because fucking likability, right? It's just the, I'm pretty sure that was the snide comment that most people would, I would agree, agree with. Though. Yeah, I would agree with it. I think she, I find it harder to like than any other hero in Marvel. Like, I, I basically see her and treat her like she's a villain hanging out with heroes. <laughs> Yeah, she's like, I guess I could do this, whatever. Um, but yeah, so uh, finally Peter Quill compromising a mission to brutally kill dudes to get his Walkman. Yeah, uh, that's... I don't know uh, if that's morally... That's an interesting... I was gonna say, not, not, not the shit, I don't want to say they're worthless, but they were convicts, let's just give our mind. Well, like, they're, they they're outlaws. They're, they're, the, the whole, uh, they save I'm... the galaxy and they get pardoned. But then they, they're yeah, told, if less... you commit more crimes, we're going to arrest you. Well, yeah, let's let's remember that all of these scenarios that he's mentioned, these are bad things. Bad things. These yeah. films show us that these are bad traits of characters. Right, and they're removing the because the whole context of Guardians of the Galaxy is that you have this band of misfits who are all damaged people and they're all trying to yeah. make their way in the universe. And that there's no context like that for Carol. Well, people have been saying she didn't understand Earth's customs, she didn't understand uh, how to behave with blah blah blah, and I was like, she literally describes herself as a warrior hero to fucking Nick yeah, Fury, yeah, it's, it's, like a, 30 seconds later. Well, well, yeah, if she doesn't understand Earth's customs, what are her customs then? Ah, oh, might is right. Oh, and how would she not? They call it uh, Planet C-38 or some shit like that, it's like, they must be aware of what Earth is and what they do there. It would be fine if if they ha if they set up in the movie that she does not she's not aware of Earth customs and they have her acting crazy and then the movie points out like whoa you're acting crazy you need to calm down then it would be fine but that doesn't happen. Yeah, you're right. That doesn't happen. Yeah, and this is yeah. And go back to Quill. It's like you know, and yeah, Char correcting is it's a walk. It's the actual uh, mixtape itself from his mum. That's like yeah, you know, heavily important. Compromising but a he, mission to get back not... his only memory of his mother. Well, just figure of Infinity War. He's not pragmatic. He blew, he blew no, it then not. as well. He's 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 not. He, he's an actual character. He, he, he's flawed. <laughs> Fuck me, like. But yeah, he, he acts more. Well, he acts on emotion more than prag. Well, pragmatism. Fuck me, right? But ah, uh, yeah. The problem is yeah. that the films. I mean, he does when he it says brutally kill dudes. Like the guy. I don't even know. He kills them. He uses the stun feature on his um. On his guns, because it's the electric shit. But he also, they're all the fucking guard people who beat the prisoners regularly, and the one that he specifically does it to at the end is the one that stole the Walkman and beat him up for at it. The beginning, yeah. yeah. So, got there. Again, context really gets in the way of these points, doesn't it? Well, it's not just that. I mean, like literally every character they that in that tweet just then they they either go through some redemption or they go through some character growth that changes them from their initial position of being an asshole or you know a, an O four or whatever. And yeah, as Sitch said, yeah, Carol doesn't do that. It doesn't happen to her. She just remembers that she's awesome, and then <laughs> end of plot. This is a terrible uh, argument. Is our point? <laughs> well, <laughs> in, in, in short, yeah, it's part really, of what makes really Twitter terrible. He should have really compared Carol to Godzilla. I mean, come on, <laughs> you know how can you like Godzilla? He's stepping Queen on of hundreds monsters. of people. <laughs> <laughs> Carol oh, twists God. one guy's arm. It's not so bad. Oh, oh yeah, man. She, she didn't snap it off. Yeah, like, she, you know, you know kill him. She twisted. She, she kill him. unanimously allowed him to keep his hand. She did. She, she could have refused no, that. She, she was going to rip his arm off, but then she heard the ghost of Uncle Ben say, with great power comes great responsibility. She's like, oh, okay, I'll, I'll only hurt him. I won't kill him. It's a shame this doesn't have the Iron Man reference where they go, Iron Man sold weapons, guys. Oh, and suddenly... Oh, well, yeah, yeah, we talk, yeah we, well, we, we talked about that before, we, uh, but... Uh, a lot of people brought that up, and it was like, yeah, the thing that literally starts his entire character I guess, off, I, but okay. Yeah, I guess what? By the end of the first film, like, that was like he 11 years ago, it. 
he already put it into his weapon projects or, or is it MODs or whatever or WMDs or whatever. He already done it. He did it in the first film. Yeah, it's almost like the film was implying that that wasn't a good thing that he was doing. Weird. Yeah. Weird how and, that And happened. then he spends the rest of the fucking films trying to undo the damage of it. And like, you know, like obviously in Ultron, he's trying to come up with like, like a game plan or, or an end plan to, to defend Earth from any outside forces. And it's like, yeah, these weapons might fall into the wrong hands or they might go wrong like Ultron did. But, you know, that's another story. But yeah, it's... You, uh, oh. you remember in Bruges, Al? The, uh, Which bit in the, Bruges? the scene where uh, they're talking about the potential for people to get better um, in general. And uh, oh, yeah, ha yeah, Harry yeah. says, um, we've all got the potential to get better. And he goes, oh, we've got the potential to change. And then uh, Brandon Gleeson goes, yeah, you do. You have the potential to get fucking worse. And it just reminds me of, um, <laughs> like, that's Captain Marvel. It's like, she goes from beating up the Don because he, like, apparently flirted with her. At the end of the film, she fucking blasts uh, Jude yeah, Law. She just when, when it, like, yeah. it drags him across the desert when he can't do shit, and this is like... <laughs> you're and then con. she mercilessly decimates the uh, alien ship at the end, go woohoo! Yeah, she has the capacity to get worse. This is the thing, if they turn her into a villain, it'll be worth it. It'll be worth it. And she was so ready, uh, and the Don was so ready, in his, you know, infinite generosity. To oh, yeah. accept it. He was glad to get a handshake <laughs> from her. So you'd think all Captain Marvel had to do was just be... I mean... Man, like, really? You couldn't have said, oh, actually, yeah, I do need a ride someplace. Because she literally did. I want to see that movie where he gives her a ride, he helps her out, and then, like, along the movie, he learns to treat her with, a, with more respect or something. <laughs> I would go for that instead of what we got. Yeah, and, and Dawn is, like, how she talks with the Dawn about how, you know, this is how Earth works. Here's how Earth, you know, stuff happens. And he's, like, the guiding thing. And they start to form a connection, maybe. But then at the end, she's like, I... No, I like you, but I have to go. There's so many things I have to do. And he knows about the alien stuff. He's like, ah, I understand. And and then and then that was a better movie that we didn't get. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but then you would be rewarding the sexist behavior. Look, none of this matters. Thor was it's an sexist. asshole at the beginning of his movie, okay? It's well, interesting, but it's like uh, we're at the point now where it's basically if you want to be in a relationship with a woman, you're a sexist. Right. Jay said if they do a Civil War 2, I feel sorry for any heroes that are on her side. <laughs> like, like uh, she's well, right, I think. I mean, they, they'll get to live. I mean, she's so OP, you could just have all of them against her, and it would be, um, it would still be yeah, unfair. I mean, she'll literally kill every single one of, or, well, or, or, well, the opposer, but, yeah. <laughs> That'd be a great film. Would-be warmonger, or Doctor Strange refusing patience to keep his perfect record, or Rocket Raccoon being a self-sabotaging asshole. Well, it, it, this whole thing is absurd because no one is is saying that any of these things that he's listing are good things. People I, are saying what Carol did was a good thing. Yeah, and not to I mean, mention, I mean, how are I mean, these on the same level as like abusing and stealing from somebody who's innocent? I think they're trying to frame it as a oh, when these characters did this, you said nothing. When a woman did it, you said this. What? I think that's how they're trying to frame it. Right, but but people weren't saying like. <laughs> Oh, I love the part where Doctor Strange was an asshole. <laughs> no there probably, was, there probably was like one guy. <laughs> it's like, yeah, like, yeah, there's no, no, one no, guy. No, no, yeah, but, well, but like these have justifications. March. Is my point. These these have you can you can go to the source and be like, well, Thor didn't just want to destroy a whole realm. It was because they'd uh, broken their peace treaty or whatever, and that yeah. um, he wanted to show, have a show of force or whatever. And you're like, oh, okay, I can see why he made that decision well, then. Well, the, the point the point is that the internet at large wasn't rewarding these characters for this quote unquote poor behavior or bad behavior. You rewarding know? them for exactly. moving on from it. Yeah, exactly. yeah. I just say, oh, yeah. bad things. I mean, fuck. Yeah, people that, would that, downright call it formulaic at this point to see a movie where, in the opening ten minutes, the hero does something overtly evil slash bad that's related to the characters. We're like, oh, this is the thing that'll it'll be fucking coaxed out of them by the end of it, hopefully. But with Captain Marvel, it's yeah. downright celebrated. You're like, oh. <laughs> what's um, what, what's uh, Ant Man's real name? Scott something in it? Uh, is it Scott? Scott yeah, Lang. Scott. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a dick as well in uh, Ant Man 1. Is he a dick? I thought he was nice. He's a criminal. Uh, he was a criminal, yeah. All right, yeah, that's the wrong word, yeah. <laughs> He's, he's criminal scum then, all right? But, yeah, yeah, to the he, point he, where he can't get a like land a job because people. Like, oh yeah, hiring. sorry. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I misremember it now. I, I'm sorry because he, he was a white male. I assumed he was a dick by default, you know. But um, <laughs> wow, you, you know, you're a good man. You're a good I man. I am a white male. <laughs> I'm allowed to assume the worst of my own kind. 
Somatic dragon in chat. But wait, Mola, why are we talking about Captain Marvel? Isn't Spider Man coming out soon? <laughs> 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 oh, this is it, yeah. Oh, yeah. A convict with a heart of gold. That's pretty much the way to describe Scott. Yeah, Wayne. so yeah, that, yeah that, that'd be a better of a, yeah, description. He's not a dick. And again, if, if they were like, see, they portray his convictness as a good thing, it's like, they do not, and you know it. <laughs> That's not a thing. Shut up. No, they don't. I'm it... oh, sorry, I was going to talk more about that, but yeah, go on. That's alright, it's lagging for me anyway. Oh. It's lagging for me too. Hmm. Are you on 215? Oh no! I'm stuck on 215. 212 for me. Well, Rocket oh. Raccoon oh, being oh, a self sabotaging go. asshole. Or Peter Quill compromising a mission to brutally kill dudes to get his Walkman. No, he's not. He's right. You know what scene we didn't see? We didn't see someone go, hey, Peter, you're cute, and then he beat her. Yeah. <laughs> That's not a scene we saw. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, Gamora starts hitting on him and he fucking assaults her. I uh, love how really? smug they are about this. Like, see, same thing. You're just sexist. It's like, no, not even a little bit. Yeah. I don't know why the, this is so hard to understand. Like, most people are arguing just sw swap the genders and they'd understand. And I'm like, I don't think that they would. I think they'd see it as like, well, power dynamics, guys, power dynamics. He's right. Yeah. I'm not saying everybody who hates this scene is a sexist, because that's dumb. But, but I do think that everybody what? who hates this scene would hate Wolverine. Wolverine is such a villain, right, Tim Pool? Whoa, I never saw this clip, but damn. <laughs> this is how I found out about it was Tim Pool's yeah, tweet. Yeah, Captain Marvel is a villain. Also, wait, so that, that clip he just showed of Wolverine, uh, that's in X-Men 1, and it's when a guy... Isn't, like, doesn't it's a guy threaten him? him? I'm pretty sure. a shotgun at him? Yeah, yeah. The, the bartender has a shotgun on him, and someone. I think it's because they think he's cheating or whatever, right? Was yeah, it I, think after fight the, or I think it's after the cage. Yeah, I think it's after the cage match where he beats a guy. Well, in the cage match, and then maybe he like he pulls a gun on him or something like that. And says, "Oh, you owe me another round or something." I can't remember. No, don't, they, they, he's in the cage match, and they find out he's a mutant or something. I'll just right. I'll just it, pull it might be that. We but again, it's like boring scenes as a shotgun uh, like uh, butter. Honestly, in, in well, in trying to pull a clip up the show of Wolverine being a bad person, like that's the clip you go for. That, that's a really poor choice anyway. I'm sure, I'm sure there's a better one to uh, mischaracterize the argument, but <laughs> right. But no one is celebrating the beginning of X Men. Wolverine is like a down and out hobo and participating in cage fights. Like no one's like, yeah, that's the part of Wolverine I like. I a guy says, like, you owe me some money. Nobody takes a beating like that and has nothing to show for it. I'm, I've pulled up the yeah. script just to try and find... Uh, i got dialogue here. You owe me some money. Stu, let's not do this. No man takes a beating like that without a mark to show for it. He pulls a knife on him! Yeah, and the, the guy basically thinks he's cheating because he's like, how do you mm. get punched this much and not have any bruises? And then Wolverine says, you lost your money. You keep this up, you're going to lose something else. And then they attack him. Yeah, this is not the same... Like you can't make that so, reference. So, 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 so he's literally in self-defense there. Yep. Yeah, um, I, so you're gonna wow. have to cite a different scene. <laughs> yeah. Get straight up. I, I mean, right. I mean, if you want to call him a dick for cheating in a, a human v human fight, because obviously they don't know he's a he's a mutant. All right. But I'm, I'm... Yeah, I think you'd have a better argument to say that he's unethically allowing himself to compete in a completely unfair fight, but ultimately uh, I mean, he I needs mean, money. I mean, so. Same context. Carol is cheating Don because she's masquerading as a. Poor defenseless woman. In a scuba Ugh. suit. <laughs> and notice how in a he, scuba suit. Wolverine leaves. He leaves. Yeah, he, he could have killed all of them. Yeah. He, yeah, he, he literally he flaunts his power without assaulting them, and then he walks out. And then he I think leaves? the shocker. Oh. He just says basically, don't mess with me. I can hurt you, but I'm not. I had the power to, but I didn't. Also, you're, you're both fine. You're uh, both Feed okay. Fancy has said it's not self-defense if Wolverine is immortal. Um, the thing is, even if you're immortal, like, well, well he's not even immortal, he's... Because we... we yeah, I mean, shot enough in the head, I was say, if, you, if you see Logan, which is in continuity, he's not immortal, but... Uh, <laughs> uh, getting <laughs> shot with a shotgun in the face, even if you have regenerating skin and everything, it's not going to be fun. It's not, not a thing you want uh, to have happen. Yeah, like, you, you have the right to protect yourself, uh, obviously. Uh, 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 anyway, I want to see, see if he actually does have an argument against Wolverine instead of just a fucking two-second clip. Damn, Captain Marvel is a villain. She straight hurts yes. and robs a dude because he was a jerk to her. That's a villain. I would have framed right. that as she straight up robs, uh, beats up and robs a dude because she wants transport. Like, villains yeah. do that because they don't give a shit about how the, the owner would feel. They'd just be like, I need this, it's mine now. 
Yeah, right. basically, yeah. What part of that is wrong? Some people compared it to Captain America in, um, I think it's Winter Soldier, and, like, people's response is, um, he literally took a car and immediately says, um, I think someone says, you just stole a car, and he's like, we're borrowing it. Like, the, the idea is that even, they know that they need to clarify it for people watching, so, like, Captain America's okay with stealing stuff? It's like, well, no, if it's for the greater good. But with Captain Marvel, she's just casually like, yeah, I guess I could use that motorbike. <laughs> like, I know you okay. literally, I know you literally just offered me a ride. <laughs> but instead, I'll do this. And they could have, they could have avoided, it. they could have fixed the scene so easily. You just have the guy come in from behind her and like slap her ass or something. You know, actually sexually assault her in some way, and then you're like, oh, okay, maybe it's justified. I would, I would revamp the whole scene. I mean, if I was to change that scene, I'd be like, can we just change the whole fucking film? <laughs> can we just fix all of it? Well, yeah, obviously, just delete the whole film. <laughs> How about you know, instead of Captain Marvel waking up, she never wakes up? Oh, I like it. Oh, yeah. It's a, sm a small change. A small subtle change. <laughs> it changes <laughs> a little bit. Well, she just, she's so effective. She just gets ejected into a life pod and she's just drifting out in space for the next 1200 years. <laughs> I'd watch it. I'd watch it. I'd be like, will this kill her? Please, 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 please. <laughs> Robs a dude because he was a jerk to her. That's a villain. You know, this would have never happened if Captain Marvel was never sexually harassed <laughs> oh wow this is fucking insane yeah this so, is actually fucking uh, insane god this is so hard the, the to watch the argument yeah the hinge oh, of the argument god. is uh can you smile at sexual harassment <laughs> it, it's like that's the thing we've now we've now established that if you ask a woman to smile that is sexual harassment therefore that justifies a b c d e wanna, that you can do against them I want to see Just this in the courtroom. Just someone to smile. Like, Your Honor, uh, yes, he was abused. Yes, he's he's got a broken hand. He's been electrocuted. He's lost his property. Um, I'm saving this video. I might make a fucking response to it. <laughs> this I'm, is I'm insane. Actually, this is absolute. I because I hadn't this seen this part of it. But, uh, but yeah, you know, they're like, but Your Honor, he did ask her to smile. You just be like, what <laughs> the fuck? Are you, are you trolling the court? <laughs> like, what like are this you is doing? a this is a a meme argument. <laughs> <sighs> he looks like PogChamp right now, the fucking meme from... Uh, the, <laughs> the, the, the I, think, I think this is the first video that I'm saving on my new computer as well. Good job, MP, uh, mpgun.com. This is brown table as well, like, he's usually a little better than this. <laughs> he's like narrowly, I don't know. Uh, we get the best quality for you. Download. I'm saving this shit. I'm gonna respond to this. It's gonna be fucking... Insane. Oh, by the way, new video tomorrow. But new video still Yes, we're still Rags. arguing about Captain because you make shitty fucking videos like this that are well, absolutely just ugh. it's not over because at least if you look at the video it's got some dislikes it's like a significant chunk of it let's look at these top comments uh let's see if anyone here is <sighs> yeah so people are talking about how he was wrong about relating the other heroes because they it's portrayed as bad events I really want to. Oh, you've already got a comment on there. <laughs> I just saw it. We, well, we made it forty seconds. <laughs> you got to the wooden. God, Jesus Christ! I'm surprised no one's talking about the fact that he's just justified it as sexual harassment. Uh, yeah, uh, insane. Absolutely insane. Let's. I don't know how well, the, like, how this video can get you worse, but let's just let's see. I guess. I agree, Sarah Kamala's reactor. Woman defends herself from a man harassing her. Men on Twitter put her in jail. It shouldn't be allowed. She's evil. Um, I of course you would agree with this absolutely brain dead take. Like, oh, this is wow. what I mean. Like if I was making a this is what I mean about Goodell. It's just funny. It's like this is what I would do if making a parody video. Right. Yes, what else can I say? You can't <laughs> assault people and steal their property because they asked you to smile. How do you defend yourself from a man harassing you? If someone harasses you, like if you consider that harassment, if if someone comes up to you and they say something insulting to you, then basically all you can do is say something insulting back because anything more than that is a huge gross overreaction. Like, like unironically you can't people because they say things to you. Like unironically if he came onto like this show, I'd be like you have a problem. We should probably talk about it. And he'd probably be like laughing, and I'd be like, no, seriously now. Like, 
it's disturbing that you consider this defense from sexual harassment. We need to really define these words again because I don't know where you learned what they mean. <laughs> like, yeah, I, I was like, I don't know if you had a father figure in your life or some. I don't know what issues might have personally because it's clear that you have some kind of issue here where you will justify this kind of scenario i mean let's just flip the, let's flip the genders let's say a woman goes up to a man and says hey you should uh how about you smile for me and he just beats the shit out of her like well it's the exact same thing imagine him grabbing the hand like to talk and crushing it and feel like wincing in pain same thing people would yeah like that scene would genuinely be like this is disgusting well, yeah, because they always go on and on about power dynamics. Do, do, do. I was, well, I, I, in this scenario, Captain Marvel is basically god power, mm -hmm. and this is just a mere mortal <sighs> guy who cannot affect her in any way. So, all it's almost it's almost like it's crazy, but it's almost like these SJW types have no fucking values or principles. Well, I was gonna say, funny you mentioned about the. Uh... I'll see the, the power dynamics and uh, gender roles or gender reversal. Have you guys ever seen the video of a couple? They're, they're actors. It's uh, purely staged, but it's a man and a woman, and they pretend to be a couple, and they pretend yes. to have a row in like the middle of a crowded street in London or something. Yeah. And when the woman is being the aggressor, where she's not hitting, but she's doing a lot of finger pointing, she's doing a lot of grabbing by the scruff of his t-shirt, shouting and giving him abuse. Everyone who's spectating it is all just laughing and going, oh, Yeah, they let it happen. It's funny. Oh, look, it's oh, funny. Look, oh, look, oh, look, she's telling him. She's telling him. And then as soon as the boyfriend or the male actor does the exact same thing, and he's not like, you know, he's not he's not um, up in the intensity of the aggression, like, you know, by slapping or anything. He's just doing the exact same thing, raising his voice, shouting at her, belittling her, and everything else. Everyone's like, whoa, 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 you can't say this. You can't do that to this woman. No, 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 no. And, yeah, but... <laughs> Well, it's not even the dynamics are even well more skewed in this case, as you said. Yeah, she's not even fucking a woman. She's not. What's, she, well, she's an alien. What's a little disturbing <laughs> about those videos as well is that when you watch the comparisons, I'm always a little bit antsy about the guy being like attacked by some would-be hero. I'm always like careful, even when you feign these sorts of scenarios. If you like point and shout at a girl, you could have some fucking idiot tackle you and be like, "Get away from here." <laughs> like, but yeah, it's really bad because yeah, people just laugh when it's the guy. And like, how is this not one of the greatest examples of culture being fucked? You like, you literally have a woman abusing the shit out of a man, and people are like, he, she's defending herself. You're like, wow. All right. Seems like a backwards okay, take, then. but sure. Yeah. Evil. If you think these streets are exaggerating, they're not. Because <laughs> okay, <laughs> there's Actually. our counter argument, gentlemen. <laughs> It's loading for me. Yeah, it's loading for me as well. I'll pull it back once it... Oh, Don't be allowed. She's was... evil. Do you think Fable. these tweets are exaggerating? They're not. Hang on. Sorry, where, where are we? Because I was just... It was Two, well, 301. Yeah, I'll pull it back to 258. He's evil. If you think these tweets are exaggerating, they're oh. not. Because we just I, saw I, I, yeah. a tweet that said... I agree. I got something's gone wrong. It's, it's jumped to 320 for me. And he's gone way ahead now. Yeah, Al, pull it back yourself to like three minutes. Dead on free, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Okay. There you go. Is that yeah, dead not, on free now? Because we yeah. just saw okay. a tweet that said this exact same thing unironically. <laughs> now the audio is running for me, so, but the image yeah, is frozen. What the fuck? Scoot it, you have to give it a little bit of time. So I'm going to scoot it back to 252. All right. Give it a second for it to yeah, load I, for I, everybody. I think it's decent again for everyone. Yeah, because yeah, I think with Watch Together, if you... Tiny increments, it doesn't really catch up on, so you gotta yeah, it like it back. lets yeah. it play more for others or whatever. But, um, all right. Woman defends herself from a man harassing her. Men on Twitter put her in jail. That shouldn't be allowed. She's evil. If you think these tweets are exaggerating, they're not, because we just saw a tweet that said this exact same thing unironically. No, yeah, he's correct. Her tweet is exaggerating the events yeah, in the film. Exactly. It's not exaggerating people's response, per se. Like, that's not even... <sighs> I imagine my shock when he's mischaracterizing it. <laughs> I know, right? Well, it's, it's interesting, too, because you, you look at Tim's tweet, and he says, Captain Marvel. He's talking about an individual. And then you look at the response, and it's like, a woman and a man. 
Like every woman is every woman and every man yeah. is every man. And you can't hold people's actions in the, you know, as individuals responsible. Did you know that there's no female that can uh, physically overpower any man? You know, that's not possible. I did know not possible. Yeah. It's no matter the fact. age or exercise or fitness, whatever, it doesn't matter. None of it matters. Yeah. It's doubly interesting because it is a scientific fact and science is sexist. So just goes to show how true it is. <laughs> Well, a hundred years. You've, you've got the other one. It's racist too. Oh, uh, guys, oh, there's, yeah, that goes there's a law explanation. So Adam Drag just said, on the Cree homeworld, asking someone to smile is akin to stabbing their mother. You're culturally <laughs> e egocentric. <laughs> well, we've already established that Captain Marvel doesn't give a shit about her parents. Uh, oh, so that's that true. That's true. <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna say, I mean, like, you, you know, if, if you want to, if you want to compare to animals, you know, the whole bearing mm. teeth, or you know, with primates, you know, if they bear the teeth, it's a, it's a sign of aggression. So, oof. I, I understand that. Smiling is a sign she, of aggression. A, Obvious. She's a fucking, she's a fucking ape. <laughs> Fuck. Wait, let's read the replies. Yo, what a villain, bro. What, you wait, said, wait, <laughs> what? Everyone, calm down. <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. People he was are stupid. A sword. He we was will... about to. He, he was about to inflict violence <laughs> against him. The dude was about to attack him with a sword. <laughs> Why about... does this have to be explained? He was about to go full Allah Akbar on him, and you fucking like, yep, no, that's nothing. No, that's, that's the that's same he... as Captain Marvel. Same thing. And besides, thing, Indiana we're Jones we're... isn't exactly 100% a hero. Like, he's, he does a lot of morally... He literally steals artifacts from other countries to place in museums. Yeah. Like the, uh, <laughs> help me. How, how, how sexist is this guy that he thinks a man trying to stab another man with a sword is equal to a man asking a woman to <laughs> smile? It just shows yeah, where the fucking head eat. is at. He's just spinning the sword, he's like, can you smile for me? And he's just like, <laughs> no! Bang! Like, I can smile for you, what's the sword about? He's like, oh, no, it's just... It's You're just, just trying sword. to show him a cool sword trick. Yeah, that was it. Yeah. Well, you could be a sword dancer thing, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I uh, these people are real... It's like... Yo! Imagine... Yo, man, I just, can't do that! Imagine thinking that asking someone to smile is literally on the same level as pulling out a fucking sword! I mean, you, you, we had no idea what that man's intentions was. He, he might have wanted to hug him with a sword. Like, hey, look at this really That's cool right. sword trick I learned. Ooh, wow. Jesus Christ. What a villain, bro. Are you high? No, he's just a man. <laughs> Shit. Judging you, but in That was so worth putting in your video, where you laughed yeah. at someone <laughs> saying that they're sexist. <laughs> That was almost like a Freudian slip for him. I think he was just a bit too on the nose. Like, yeah, like, yeah, the, he's a man. He is, a, he is the villain. <laughs> Brown Table, your video sucks. Like, this is a fucking terrible video. You should be ashamed, quite frankly. Fucking terrible. Avengers. This is. Hell is terrible. this? Captain Marvel, inspiring to lots of young girls. War on Twitter. I mean. What? 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 I guess he's saying that because Captain Marvel is inspiring to lots of young girls. It's worth the um, war on Twitter? It's it's not you shouldn't criticize it on Twitter? I don't yeah, but I'm not sure. That's what I I'm, re I'm really, really not sure what his point was there. We'll rewind it, but um Mohammed Ramadan said Brown Table is a homosexual vision of Appa Bed. <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh, how do you describe it? He's like Appa Bed, only gay. <laughs> I feel bad that Wolf isn't able to express his rage in, in call, but he said this is the first time I've seen a video from this guy and wow, he's absolutely retarded on a single functioning brain cells his empty head. Yeah, a little bit. Empty head would be a good way to describe this. He, yeah. He's coming off as really, as really phony to me. Like, this is just total BS. To me, I assume he just hasn't thought about this shit at all. He's like towing a line here. Well, he hasn't thought about anything in his entire life. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Wandering through life, reacting. Uh, just give him credit. He, he, he thought of like how to arrange Batman and uh, Spider Man on his uh, <laughs> behind true. him. <laughs> That's true. He put he put a thought into that, so you know. This guy's a massive. Like, like has, That's true. You know. That's perfect. He's got two heroes behind him who have like these very strong moral lines, and he's talking about how how it's it's okay for Carol to just be an asshole. Well, for, I mean, well, this is it. They, they think that she was morally justified because, according to them, a smile from a stranger or a stranger asking you to smile is an act of aggression to the point that it justifies 
escalating the violence, apparently. That sm- that asking to smile represents every man who's ever raped a woman. I mean, I mean, like <laughs> honestly, reality. like Jesus. Like if it was if it was a scene where he was like, you know, trying to like ply with liquor to the point that she couldn't walk, and then he tried <laughs> raping her outside the back of the alley, and then she kind of went, "Oh wait, I have superpowers," and ripped off his arm. I'd be like, "Well, well yeah." That's I mean, fine. like it's it's like it's not uh it's not how we traditionally deal with rapists in Western civilization, but I can I can I'm alright with that. But no, he asked for a smile. And it's like, I don't even consider that a nice thing or a pleasant thing. I get that, you know, well, not that I'm a woman and I faced it, but I can get it, like if you were getting heckled by men every day to for a smile or, or fucking whatever, I get it. But it still, it does not justify <laughs> the fucking violence that she, well, that she exerted and threatened to use further on. It's, it's, it's not the same. It doesn't, no. Well, he said it was, so... Well, yeah, well, yeah, well, yeah, and he fucking, and he, when he puts himself in her position, he's like, yeah, I blow her fucking head off. He's yeah, like, I, I like that he added mate. that, too, the idea that he, like, would commit to the same actions. You're like, wow. <laughs> it's like, wow. The worse actions. <laughs> yeah. Not, not lifting up someone else. Oh. Well, yeah, he, it, well, yeah, he, he's he morally justified because that's how fucked their worldview is that, yeah. Yeah, well. I uh, just would never, like, every I'm day sorry. I walk around with the power to kill anybody that I please. But I don't, because it's not the right thing to do. What do you mean, Rice? It's just where'd such you, a... Where did you learn that from? That's insane. Do you, oh, do you no, hate I women? It. It, <laughs> I purely pur- I purchased this. I have purchased this power. Are you high? No, he's just a man. <laughs> Shit. Judging you, but in Avengers. Hell is this? Captain Marvel, inspiring to lots of young girls. War on Twitter. I mean, balances what? out. We are arguing. Okay. About a fictional film in which a woman. No, no, it's a real film. Oh, I hate this argument so much. <laughs> I hate this argument so much. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know, I know yeah. But still, yeah. yeah. Yes, it is fiction. Duh, we all know that. But we're applying. Well, stop real, arguing about it. It doesn't matter. Me. Uh, well, 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 don't do that. <laughs> oh, I hate this shit. <laughs> like, go, 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 let him do it. Let him do it. Can shoot lasers from her hands. What's the next okay. argument going to be? Why is MJ still black? Brains hitting, brains exploding, help. I got, I got, I got. So we, we just... <sighs> Captain Marvel's fiction, also MJ's black. <laughs> what is, what is wrong with you? <laughs> like, what is wrong? Why did you make this video? What is... Don't you okay. think Spider-Man love black MJ in MCU? It is atrocious, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> This is a person whose uh, commentary we should definitely value. What the f- I didn't even read hey, that. Hey, Captain Marvel's not a real film. This isn't a real tweet. Don't worry about it. Why are you talking about it? Oh. I mean, it's all- All we're arguing about is fiction here, guys. Yeah, it's just Come fiction. On. It's just pixels on a screen, man. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Hey, Women aren't real. I guess, I guess we have to do it. We have to explain it. So, when a character commits to an action in fiction, we then judge it as if it was to take place in real life as to whether or not it was morally reprehensible or not. People online are saying it was absolutely justified, other people are saying it's not, we get to discuss morals and ethics, and this fucking idiot is like, uh, it's not a real thing that happened. Well, yeah, but it is morally justified. Well, he, he, he morally justifies it and then says, oh, but it's fiction, so you, can, you know, why are you arguing about it? <laughs> well, Stop talking about Tables Captain Marvel, channel. Spider-Man is coming out! <laughs> <laughs> if we go through, um, if we go through uh, Round Table's <coughs> channel, his videos, this last one was going back, uh, Iron Man 3, Endgame, Endgame, uh, Shazam, those aren't real. Why is he films. talking about them? They're not uh, even real. <laughs> why is he talking about Iron Man why, 3? Uh, yeah, why would anyone talk about not that? Not even real. Spider-Man's coming out. <laughs> not even real. <laughs> well, that's if a new meme, the- I'm fucking... <laughs> Yeah, I, I am unstead. Why, why do we care now? <laughs> why, why are we talking about anything? Spider Man's coming out. <laughs> why are we doing here? It's funny too because his most viewed video in the in this year is him as a video where he's criticizing Captain Marvel. Wow, he's he's, he's got survivor's guilt there. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's all hypocrite. He got linked on some feminist subreddit and then he was like, "I was wrong. I was wrong. She <laughs> was great." <laughs> I'm a male feminist ally. Just he, this is him. You. But this I is him was self-flagellating. Oh, we're only three and a half minutes, and he's wanted to make me kill myself. Like, why is MJ still black? F- 
Wait, so before I go, I wanted to give you guys a quick rendition of what I think some of the people who don't like the Captain Marvel uh, scene. Well, why don't you just ask them? No. No, 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 don't no, no. Shush, no, no, he's not doing that. <laughs> you got a straw man, come on. That is not his fucking agenda. He's not interested in that. <laughs> It's just so, I all you have to do the... is you just go to these people and say, what would you have rather seen? And you don't have to guess. I'm, you don't uh, even have to go to them. They're, they're probably all saying it in replies on Twitter. No, yeah. all of that is just, is just misogynisms. That's all that is. Den of misogyny. Mm -hmm. People who don't like the Captain Marvel scene wanted to see on the big screen. So let's do it. This will be accurate. This, is gonna be this great. will be accurate. He's upside down, reading his book upside down. Haha. Uh -huh. Hey, baby. People are dumb. But was it was a Carol yeah. reading the map rock upside down, or was she not? No, because that? because these people are, I guess, I don't know. You might have been. I can't remember. I, I'm not saying these stickler for details. No, because we read it. It said she was reading it right side up. Oh yeah, we did Los read Angeles, it, didn't we? California yeah, yeah, we did it. read it. Yeah, she knows English. All right, so he's he's less funny hey, than Captain Marvel. I was about to say that wouldn't even make sense because she can read. So, <laughs> like, why would she have it upside down or whatever? Baby. Need a need a ride? Oh hi. Can I use your motorcycle? Oh sure. But only if I can give you a Let's ride. Let's say no and find someone else. Sure. Oh. oh. I'm sorry. What is happening right now? Like this is this was is his happening? assumption of what we He's wanted to see. Come here, come here, come I can I can already envision in my head how I'm gonna edit this. I thought we got past <laughs> shitty sketches. You know? <laughs> like I can already see it. I just churning inside. Of my <laughs> Look at chat, amazing <laughs> clapping. It's like yes, this is this is what we wanted. <laughs> oh, 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 this is exactly I, what I wanted. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. It's the current year, but I thought we were past shitty, cringy. Yeah, sketches. this is this is reminding me of Channel Awesome skits, but hey. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, he, he's <laughs> Oscar worthy. <laughs> why do you have a Why do you have a blanket on your wall? Hey man, he's it's hey. a coon, but he's gay. Upper bed, he has to have stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna be gay in his decoration. Sure, sure, no problem. Awesome. I'm so happy to be sexually harassed in public. And wait, 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 wait. Oh, he licked his lips. He sexually harassed her. <laughs> Exploit myself to get what I want. All right. So to be fair, to be fair, to be fair, this not not, not fair to the argument, not fair to this bozo. I was so, gonna say that. Remember in the Batwoman trailer when new Bat Batwoman person when James Charles is looking at the guy and she bites her lip. That's the same thing as licking your lip. Like when when someone generally when women bite their lip, that means they're sexually attracted to you. They want they want to fuck. Right, that's one of those you know actions that's what a misogynist that people would take, say. You know? So that, by the exact same token, is sexual harassment. I'm a woman. So that means that that woman. So that means James Charles deserves everything that happens to her. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> that well, didn't you see the to the, dawn. the deleted scene? She basically like they drop an anvil on her as a sort of like, hey, <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> she got a, I, as far as I'm concerned. That means she got off. Easy, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, 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 Rax. Look, the thing was, Don. He wasn't just doing that thing with his lips. He was also undressing her, her with his eyes. Yeah, I she mean, was literally oh. losing her clothes until she electrocuted him. Yeah, were, like, like, like he was looking at that scuba suit, going, "I wonder what she has under there." <laughs> oh, I can't take it seriously. Oh. Thank you guys so much for watching. Yeah, yeah, Do you think that, yeah, that yeah. was funny? I don't we're know. Not, you have a minute we're, and we're and not half putting up two minutes of an outro. <laughs> Well, let's see what let's see what he says. This will be interesting. This is very fun to do, actually. It was very freeing. I think it's something cool uh, to not really yeah. have a script and just so. Yeah. yeah see, this is should. what happens when you don't have a script. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you make a really fucking fool to of the yourself. Rest of you. It really pays off to scroll through a bunch of tweets, mischaracterize everything, and act like a fucking retard. But you know. Yeah. If you if you need a script, use a script. <laughs> Brown table clearly really needs a script. You desperately. Like, let me brown table. <laughs> Even if, you want to get, even if you want to get an article that's irrelevant and just monologue over it, it will still be better than what you just did, mate. You, you heard him. It was freeing. It was freeing, it was freeing. Every, for him oh, to wait, wait, finally yeah, yeah, yeah. show the world what an idiot he really is. <laughs> it feels great to be a moral busybody who just fucking shits down on everyone else because they may or may not like to see it. But, you know, it, Spider Man's out next week, guys. <laughs> Stop fucking talking about Spider Man. Spider Man's coming out. Why are we, why are we talking about <laughs> Spider Man, guys?
Did uh, this is his newest video. I'm curious if he took like a hit for this because this is so fucking awful. I'll check. Wait, um, took, yeah, let me he, take a look. No, he did. He well, did it, it doesn't look like he did. The video is certainly <laughs> uh, poorly rated, but look, looks like he's fine. I'm surprised. Chat, like, <laughs> I would. I, I. I. If I saw this in one of my like favorite fucking film reviewers, I'd be like, "You insane!" Like this, you need to. What? What are you on? What are you smoking? If you like this format, tell me if you like the format. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me in the comments. Uh, <laughs> like the video if you like it. Share the video if you can, please. That'd be uh, that'd be fantastic. I have a Discord. Why the fuck would anyone share this? <laughs> yeah, why would I share? This? Why would I? I mean, I would bring someone joy for making fun of it. I guess we, we shared it technically. It to four thousand people. That's we're true. We're sharing it to four thousand people, and oh, it's we shared it with awful. with with commentary. I'm not going to specify what kind of commentary, yeah, yeah, but it was yeah, commentary. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was. Comments we, were made. Yes. There were comments Server involved. Server 2, I'm trying to organize a second game night because we had one already. Not many people joined. Let me know if you want to have <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Guys, look. But he's tired. He He's tired of playing Francis on his own in Left 4 Dead, alright? It's, it's like- it's like Dusty begging for so much- It's like, why won't anyone come to my birthday party? <laughs> I invited everyone! <laughs> I gave invitations to the whole class. I can't I believe literally yeah. everybody has a bar mitzvah to go to. I invited all you sexist to my party. Why the fuck did you show up? Oh. <laughs> he had like Captain oh. Marvel running on repeat at the party. Like, oh. Come on, guys. Oh, feels bad, man. Because we had one already. Not many people joined. Let me know if you want to have a game night. It's going to be on Minecraft. I don't have oh, God. I also have a Reddit. On, on, Please on send the me Reddit. Memes. It's okay. great. I love the people on the Reddit. Thank Sorry, you see an old man. I, I, I love the people the on the Reddit. Yeah, that's, oof. I I was surfing the web and then I encountered the Reddit. <laughs> uh. Discord. I, these people know more about the internet than me. I'm 20 and I don't know anything about the internet anymore. Well, you, you, know, anymore. you, you never, never learned the internet then. I don't think you ever did. <laughs> if, if you're 20 and you don't know the internet now, <laughs> you don't know it. Christ. I don't know. I mean, you grew up series. with it. Should be fun. I don't know if you guys care, but I'm gonna push it down your throat. Nope. So goddamn. That's Whoa. sexual harassment. Whoa, that's no. sexual harassment. Somebody hit this man. <laughs> Somebody you electrocute this man. My fucking throat. You gay apple bed. You're not doing that. <laughs> that Someone, is no bueno. Just what Someone a gay apple bed would the... say. <laughs> <laughs> Someone commented on the video. It says Brown Table confirmed kills gay men who hit on him. <laughs> He's Jeffrey Dahmer now, fucking hell. Damn hard, I'll make you care, baby. Thank you so much, patrons. Uh, I have bought oh, something wow, very special for buying Christmas. season two, that... thanks to you. Oh, oh. Really appreciate it. Thank you guys so, so much. Uh, last time I shouted out Jonathan Baldy. This time I'll shout out Anita Sleep, because I know she's been with me for a very long time. <laughs> I need to sleep time. after watching this uh, yeah, video. Yeah, 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 oh, shit! Nailed it. <laughs> I think it's safe to say we're done with that video then. <laughs> <laughs> For Christ's sake, mate. Get a grip. <laughs> That's all I've got to say about you. Other than the other hours of things we've said. <laughs> I went to recent comments on his video and it's from Trombeck Walsik. It says, Stop talking about Captain Marvel. Spider Man is coming. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, these people exist. Like this is the thing. I just I always have trouble believing it. It's always insane. I'm gonna savor every second of making this video. You gonna? Is it gonna be like a main channel one? Oh yeah. I'm looking forward. That'd be great because I want to try to do. Yeah, that's great. It's six minutes. It will, it's really only like four and a half. <laughs> but <laughs> please comment on the fact that no one came to his birthday party. <laughs> <laughs> Spider-Man and Batman came to my birthday party. <laughs> <laughs>
What kind of birthday like parties do? Spider Man's coming out. Sitting alone at a table, and he's got his Spider Man toy and his Batman <laughs> toy. In fairness, like, those like guys aren't really heroes. Cake, Batman, I have a whole cake. Now I'm sad. Fuck. Mm. They're not very heroic compared to Captain Marvel, in fairness. Oh, I'm legitimately making myself sad. Not gonna lie, I feel sorry for his uh. His, his YouTube notifications, he's probably like his phone's probably be going off the hook. Uh, oh well, he's coming to it. I'm sure he gets a lot of comments regularly anyway. But yes, like yeah, no, no, no but yeah, he, he does have like <clears throat> this. The, 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 the vid does have like two and a half k uh, comments, but generally you'll get in your social tab on um, Gmail or whatever. It'll have the video, like new comment on video, and then you open up the the email, and then it shows all the new comments from there. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, he's gonna have some reading material. You know, we're into it. Didn't read the uh, didn't read the top comment that was pinned by him. No. Damn! Thanks for this video, man. I was holding myself with all I could to not start the third war in my Twitter with all those jerks. That vid just calmed me down and saved a lot of my time. Good to know that there's still sensate <laughs> folks out there. Awesome video. Sensate? Love your work. Is that a word? Yeah, to like when you sensate something. I need to see. There's no way. I've never heard fucking that word before. I've heard it. Perceiving by the senses. <laughs> <There's people. laughs> so, so chat. He says, "Good to know there are still sensate folks out there." I don't. Sensate. It's, what, it's what, very. What? It's very sensate. Does he need to say sensible? Or per, no, perceiving well, I... or perceived by the senses. So it's sensate. Like if something is sensitive, it's an adjective. It means that you can perceive it with the senses. So he, he's I'm, good to uh, know. It's good to know that he can sorry, perceive God. with his senses. The video could be perceived <laughs> by this comment. Every time you keep saying sensate, I keep thinking you're saying sense eight. That really shit Netflix show. Oh. No, no, no. Good to know that there's still sensitive folks out there. You know, people that I can see and hear, <laughs> as opposed to the people that I cannot see nor hear. I fucking whatever. <laughs> it makes it it. It makes sense. It is good that there are still sensitive folks out there. I've and never heard that before. I, I feel like I'm living under a rock. Uh, oh yeah, I think he made the wrong word, and just by a coincidence, it actually does make logical sense. It's just dumb. Well, that guy's avatar is also one of the evil Nazis from Star Wars, so oh. it makes sense that he would enjoy oh, no. Captain Marvel. Oh, to so, do it, damn it. <laughs> everyone's saying sensei, sissy, senpai. <laughs> like, what's the word? <laughs> um... But yeah, uh, I forgot to ask. Uh, you're a big fan of Star Wars, right, Sage? Oh, huge, huge fan. So the, we have this thing running on EFAP where we ask uh, in reference to essentially like the coming, the coming horrors of Episode Nine. Considering all the damage they've done with Seven and Eight, who do you think is going to be the most inconsistent character in Episode Nine? The one written the poorest slash. He's a little bit back. Hmm. Someone's hit. Who's going to be the worst written character in the next Star Wars? Yeah, well, like I said, most inconsistent, and you're not allowed to choose Kylo, because it's obvious right. he has no consistency whatsoever. Uh, you can't choose Lando, because they'll obviously destroy him, and when we made this, we didn't, like, we completely fucking forgot he was in it. And the third disqualified person is Palpatine, because apparently he's going to be in the film, but yeah. Um, you can't vote for him. So, yeah, basically character with what we know, uh, will become most inconsistent. People are saying, "Ask Al." He's already given a vote for this. Yeah, but I did it like ages ago. I think I said Poe. Yeah, we all did it ages ago. <laughs> like me, me, Rags, and Wolf were the first votes, and uh, we, we they locked in. Now we're not allowed to change them. Yeah, I think I think the the most inconsistent will be the people that like it. <laughs> <laughs> You're not allowed to vote for viewers. That's cheating. I can't vote for them. Yeah, even though you're more right than fucking any of our predictions, probably. <laughs> Uh, I, like that one. I wouldn't be surprised if they randomly weaken Ray to to try to give her like a fake arc in the last movie. Well, to make well to make it like suggest that she might be at some peril. <laughs> yeah, they'll make it like oh, all of a sudden she's not as super powerful anymore and she has like, problems. Like, it, it, like if she doesn't like you know if she makes a single mistake, she might actually be hurt by something. Yeah, and then it's, like, yeah, uh, they'll try to create this fake illusion of drama. Like a fallen rock or something like that would like nudge you on the shoulder and she'd be like, Ah oh, man, my shoulder. Shit. Can't do my lightsaber tricks anymore that I learned somehow. So you're I, mean, I think they're it seems like Finn is just completely they've given up on Finn. Like he's just this comedic 
nothing character that they just throw on the dirt, you know, whenever they can. Which is actually why he's I I voted for Finn because I feel like whatever they do with him in the third film is just going to be completely incongruous with the first and second. I mean, we can make a prediction on what his uh, his last profession was in the next film. Like, oh, was he the ex janitor, the ex, um, the ex slave? Dude, when master, they find the elect- when they find the remains of the fucking first or second Death Star, or whatever, he's gonna be like, oh. "It's okay, I worked on there." <laughs> how did you? How did you? How? <laughs> well, yeah, F- F- Finn's gonna turn into that guy at work who fucking you know he did everything that you ever did, but only better. <laughs> he's like, oh, cheers, man. Dude, that's great. Finn was scrubbing the floor of the Death Star when he saw Palpatine slashed into the ground. <laughs> he <laughs> saved him. He was the one who rescued yeah, no, no. him. Yeah, that one, yeah, that one time you scrubbed the floors and Darth Vader and Palpatine were just walking by and like they, they just revealed like the plot to undo everything they've ever done. And he like heard all of it and he was like, oh my god, yes. It's like an epic reveal. They need to know the plan. They like He's like, I know someone who knows the plan. Me. Okay. <laughs> I, here's yeah. my here's my real vote. I figured it out. Okay, the most inconsistent character in the next Star Wars is going to be Captain Phasma is going to come back and still be alive somehow. <laughs> I mean, you can vote for her if you want. I'm pretty sure she's That's not what I'm voting for. <laughs> she's coming back, I'm telling you. No, no one's really gone forever. Okay? That's actually true. I mean, we all thought the Emperor was dead, but we were so yeah. wrong. Yeah. Well, beautiful. Is Rags back yet? He's not. All right. Well, um, I mean, I can set up the the next person we're covering is funnily enough because we did the guy before <laughs> who was calling everyone sexist for not liking Captain Marvel, and then we just covered this guy who's calling everyone sexist for not liking Captain Marvel. It's time we check out the opposite end of the spectrum. Okay, that you are not sexist. Spectrum is correct. What the fuck ever you do now, because we haven't we, we covered this video hey. on Wolf's podcast. Um, a long time ago, me, Rags, and Wolf. So yeah. I think you can still go and find it, but we can cover it again because it's a fucking gold mine. Uh, has everyone here seen Marvel's Avengers Infinity Wars? The silence tells me yes, all of you have. Good. I have seen yes. the Infinity War. <laughs> I mean, if I say no, are you going to correct me? Or? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure I watched it with you, you son of a bitch. <laughs> So we've got um, Mr. No Bullshit is going to talk to us about all of the SJ mo- SJW moments in Avengers <laughs> Infinity War. And, uh, cool. Again, you know, like, let's take this for realsies and be like, let's see if he's making some fair points here. It'll be great. Equal opportunity. Because the comment section have described him as the anti-anti-SJW, like, or... He makes... The, oh, no, no makes sorry. SJWs look bad. Yeah, he's mm. again opposite end of the spectrum. He's kind of the same thing. But here we go. <laughs> Chat is saying so, no, wait, please I, I, no. I, 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 I got, so what is he? Is he an ally or a Nazi? What? He's uh, he's definitely a Nazi, but uh, he's just the reverse of the guys we were just watching, basically. Look, I need to know whether I should hate him or not going into we'll, this video. Well, you know what? <laughs> we'll find out by the wonderful arguments. Okay. Hello and welcome back to No Bullshit. Today we return to talking about the latest Marvel movie, Avengers Infinity. All right, that's enough, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> us discovering No Bullshit. You were. All right, did this come out after, well, before Endgame End? Yeah, yeah. Like... But that won't really right, matter. Okay. This is solely about this movie. I think it might be interesting to see how this has aged, actually. Which not only shattered box office records in its opening weekend just over a week ago, it also has gone on to make over a billion dollars in just 12 days. That's pretty crazy, guys. Neat. And I All say right. it's much deserved as well. I saw the movie opening night and I was more than impressed. It's got great action, good fun, laughs, a cool story, and most importantly, one of the best villains of all. I'm glad that my avatar isn't an animal shitting. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. It's no bullshit, okay? Uh, I mean, I am too, Rax. I'm, I'm glad I don't have to look at that every time you're here. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> All time, Thanos, who not only hey, assembles my, the my Infinity is Gauntlet, immaculate. he also proved to be a formidable match to the Avengers. I won't be spoiling everything in the movie today, so don't worry, but if you do want to hear a more complete review of the movie, you should check out our Avengers Infinity War movie review live stream, in which <laughs> no, me and the fellas no, went no, over no, the no. movie extensively. <laughs> really? 37, 37, oh, 37 minutes? That's weak. We spent more time talking about the fucking guy whether he's gay or not. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say though, no bullshit's doing better than the previous guy by far. We got forty five seconds in, we don't really have a problem yet. So good or, job, man. Yeah, we haven't well, even yeah. pointed out the sexist yet. Yeah. Well yeah, yeah, he hasn't dropped a bomb yet, has he? So He's doing great. Well, I don't know. His icon is a
Drop on the. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he drops some bombs. Um, <laughs> the night after seeing it. Link to that below. But for today, today we're going over some of the few but noteworthy bad parts of the movie. Namely, the SJW moments that pull you out of the Damn. story a bit and make you go, huh? Why are they doing that? Marvel is owned by Disney after all, so much like how their left-leaning SJW ideology bled into the new Star Wars movies, so too has their bullcrap Finally though, it's nothing oh, nearly as bad as The Force Awakens, or the SJW fest that was The Last Jedi from back in December. No, I will say, to be fair, most of these SJW moments are a bit nitpicky for Infinity War. Besides the first and worst offender, nothing really messes up the movie you too to much. There's it. just a few things I noticed- He kinda did. He- he does- right. SJW oh, moments right. in is his series rags, okay? Fucking- I mean, it's like, if it was me- I would have been like, if they're really nitpicky, I've been like, I'm not going to do it because it makes me seem really petty about a lot of this little stuff. I mean, if you've just admitted clicks. to the majority of your points, the vast majority being nitpicks, it's like, maybe, maybe don't, like, but okay. <clears throat> maybe just, well, maybe, well, maybe in another video, I might bring it up really quick, just a little bit. I was going to say, like, it, oh, go on, sorry. No, that, that, that was kind of, I was just kind of trailing off into, you know, the ambiguity All right. of what could right, okay. I'm not a fan. <laughs> Fair enough. No, well, yeah, if you included this in a, like, overall review or whatever, then yeah, maybe, but I'm just getting, like, the whole, oh, this whole thing's nitpicky. He's kind of, like, he's kind of, like, devaluing himself, just going, yeah, you shouldn't watch this. <laughs> like, yeah, you may as well just turn this off. You're like, okay. Uh, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, if you, if you, if we, if we all click play now and agree to let it play out, we are admitting that we're all nitpicky, like, nitpicky bastards, so... Oh, we already knew that, though. Yeah. I, I knew that, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. We're horrible. Is that want, we're pretty social justice goes. warrior like and progressive ish. So, with all that said, with all that prefaced, and with the spoiler warning here, spoilers ahead, watch out. Well, with all that said, let's go ahead and jump right. <laughs> what? Did he say with all that said like three times? Alright. Anyway. Yeah. The first character we can for sure tell has SJW influences is Shuri, the Black Panther's sister and technology expert. Shuri was set up as the smart, sarcastic, know-it-all scientist in the previous Marvel movie, Black Panther, where she proceeds to mock the American spy Everett as he comes into their lab injured. Great, another broken white boy for us to fix. Fucking Black Panther, dude. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that, that, that makes a little offhanded comment, sure. Um, the, they do, this is part of my issues with Black Panther is that she's like a 16 year old that's like fucking beyond intelligent. Like she's the head of the research, development, scientific and medicine department. It's like, how are there not senior people in charge here? Um, yeah, shouldn't she still be learning how science works? And then, uh, before Infinity War came out, cause me and Wolf obviously saw Black Panther, I was like, we're going to get that scene in Infinity War where she outsmarts one of our main characters because she's just so damn yeah. smart um is that an sjw moment or is that literally just the fact that they were tied <laughs> to her being established as essentially the smartest character in the mcu by a previous movie okay, this you're talking about is her being in charge in sjw or her line of dialogue there uh i'm actually whatever it is in black panther is irrelevant i'm talking about the fact that you have a continuity from Black Panther and then Infinity War has to take it forward. So if we are like, right. what does she do in yeah. this scene? It's like she's the most intelligent character in the MCU. You're like, okay. Right, right. So yeah, so is it an SJW moment because a black girl or black woman, or she's a girl, she's 16. Um, is a If a black girl is the most intelligent character, is that an SJW moment? Uh, SJW? I feel so well, let's, let's hear his argument, I guess, instead yeah, of... Well, yeah, I want, to, I want to see... Yeah. yeah. This is going to be fun. And Everett, of course, got that injury by jumping in front of Black Panther's bodyguard, saving her life by literally taking a fucking bullet for her. Everett nearly gave his life to save a Wakandan woman, but Shuri just jokingly calls him another broken white boy. A pretty disrespectful thing to say to a guy who took a bullet for your brother's bodyguard. But... Fair enough. I can agree with that, yeah. Yeah, that's fair enough. I didn't even necessarily think about that as, like, she, he did do this to save a friend of yours, but okay. But whatever. But that's not I guess she was overconfident because she knew she could save his life easily with the stupid fucking magic balls. Yeah, definitely yeah. a bra definitely makes me raise my brow. Mm. Well, yeah, and then, like, and not to go well beat the death, but the whole argument of uh, you know uh, roles reversed. Oh, another black person, or oh, another broken black boy. You know, <laughs> if they said that, yeah, 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 yeah they, they'd just be they'd just be outraged. But yeah, I don't. Oh, wanna... look, it's another broken little negro. <laughs> well, yeah, and then, and then you just have to escalate. Well done. I'm hoping. Take him to the so... color hospital. <laughs> Even the worst anti-white thing Shuri says in Black Panther. Check out this reaction of her seeing Everett wake up from his recovery. All right, where am I? Don't scare me like oh, that, yeah. Colonizer. Yeah. Yeah, that, yeah. 
But I got quite slit. Um, this, see, this is all Black Panther though. Like, so I, like whether or not it's really bad. Like to me, all they did in Infinity War was take the fact that she's super intelligent because they they're tied to that in continuity. They can't do anything about that. Right. You know? Yeah, obviously, okay. contextually, well, this doesn't ever. make any sense because we're kind of saying we're colonizers. Really? This is not only pretty anti-white and racist, it's also inaccurate. Americans never really colonized Africa, unless you count Liberia, which was settled by American blacks. Is so Everett an American character in Black nation. Panther, or is he a British? He's American. Yes, um, all right. I didn't know. Yeah, and it is bizarre hearing the people of Wakanda refer to them as colonizers. You're like, I don't know. Like, you weren't colonized, that doesn't make any sense. Like, yes, but you guys have colonized things. You're like, um... A lot of, well, lot they, of people, a lot of places have done that. I, I they just shut out the rest of Africa, too, so they don't have any moral high ground. It's not like they're helping anyone. Yeah, they conquered four, like, what was it, four other tribes to make Wakanda? No, that's... That, dude, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> they, they like to forget about that once they get past the opening fucking sequence. We used our spears to politely convince them to Do you remember? With us. It was like, uh... I feel bad saying this now, because like I told you, I recently watched that episode while I was doing, uh, like, morning gym stuff. I love yeah. you, Jay! But Jay argued that, uh, <laughs> He said that, um, uh, they didn't conquer the other tribes, they unified, and it was like once the guy with the Black Panther juice was made. So the idea is that we're all cavemen, and I pull out a pistol, and I say, let's unify, and you all go, okay. And like, oh yes, yes, we unify, yeah, we unify, yes. We yes, we unify, 100%. Yes. Well, we're gonna unify, also, I'm the king, and by unify, I mean we all listen to me. Those past Wakandan tribes, uh, they smiled at the Black Panther, and thus he was justified and unified oh, them shit. by force. Why are you talking about Black Panther, dude? Spider-Man's out in, like, fucking... <laughs> <laughs> France, or even the Dutch Germans. They're the ones who did the majority of the colonizing in Africa, not Americans. So with all that said, I just think Shuri is being a bit of an anti-white and anti-male here in the Black Panther yeah. movie. And yeah, and Black I think Panther. that if we reverse these roles that we get a bunch of complaints, but okay, that's how that works. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. It looks like the same kind of SJW things happen with the character in Infinity Still, we're three minutes in, and he's only now talking about Infinity War. It's like, all right. War as well. This brings us to not only the most SJW moment in Infinity War, but also just the worst scene of the movie. Granted, it's quick and pretty easy to look over, but this scene between Shuri and Bruce Banner really rubbed me the wrong way. Check this out. Oh. The structure is polymorphic. Right, we, we had to attach each. You guys remember this, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's, it's annoying. But it's not, like, this is the thing, I, I had a feeling this was going to happen because of the fact that they made her so fucking intelligent in Black Panther. Uh, to be consistent, which now they care about, you know, to be consistent, no, she has to basically oh. show up everyone else with how super fucking smart she is. Jay just said, how is it anti-male? Uh, that's a good point. What did she say that was mm. anti-male? Well, uh, the colonizers were a bunch of men. <laughs> And Everett's a man, so it just follows. She said broken white boy. I don't know if that matters, really. Maybe. Non, non sequentially. Why didn't you just reprogram the synapses to work collectively? Bitch, we were working with what we got. I just, yeah, like, I, I, I just <laughs> wanted Bruce to be like, that's not a thing that we could do. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> it literally wasn't possible. Because we didn't think of it? I'm sure you did your best. Okay, now I can see what they're going for here. Shuri is making this cute line and everyone's supposed to have a little laugh about it. Oh, that's funny, look how smart she is. But in actuality, Bruce Banner and Vision are supposed to be pretty fucking smart too. Ban Vision didn't make Vision, so. Yeah. Uh, it would be Tony and not... <laughs> yeah, Vision, why didn't you make yourself smarter? Because I didn't make myself. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, like, so if you swap out Shuri for like a 50-year-old fucking scientist from Wakanda, I don't think I'd really have a problem with this. I'd just be like, yeah, I guess the, in Wakanda, the ability to have access to this amazing equipment allowed them to understand a lot more about science and blah 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 blah. It, the thing that made me hard to swallow was just like, how are you this young and you are this much smarter than everyone else? Like, fucking hell. Well, well, uh, she... Because wait, adamantium... Because <laughs> vibranium does that, I don't know. Well, well, well no, to be, to be fair, you do have child prodigies, of course, but... I think I, I I'm not bothered that she's a child project. I'm just bothered more by how it's all just delivered and how 
well, how lazy it is. is it, because as, as we're talking about in this scene, it's, it's just the whole, why didn't you do this? Oh, uh, we didn't think of it. Yeah, stupid, Dad, I'm stupid. Yeah, that didn't yeah, help. It, it, it didn't it, help. It, it, the, the way to establish who is more intelligent, it's done in the most dumb way possible. If that makes sense. <laughs> right. Banner is like one of the top scientists in the world, renowned for a study of gamma rays, which, of course, is what also turned him into the Hulk. And um, to Steelman, his point there, uh, he specializes well in, I believe, Tony says biometrics. He says that that's the reason why he needs to make vision. Like, Banner was the main one. Tony was helping. Because mm -hmm. Banner knows yeah, yeah, specifically he... what, like, is goes on inside vision, so it is kind of annoying. Yeah, he's not, he's not just a fucking research scientist for worms or something stupid, is it? He's like fucking... There's a lot more to it than that, but... Bioorganics, sorry, yeah, okay. Biometrics are stuff like uh, eye scanners and stuff, aren't they? I don't know. <laughs> Envision, the one laying down there? He's like this futuristic half-robot, half-Asgardian super genius who knows everything, which of course makes him very you fucking smart everything. too. And then we got this Shuri chick coming along and schooling them all and being disrespectful. I know that could make sense in the story in a way too, because Shuri they established it in Black Panther, as you pointed out at the beginning of your video. Wasn't, here. Just would you ago. really describe how she delivered what she said as disrespectful? It's like a little bit, but not... Nothing egregious. I mean, if yeah, it's not like a huge deal, you know. Well, it's because he shows the Black Panther clips that are like far more like, oh, okay. But this is like, eh. It's like if you guys brought me a chair that had three legs and you like it keeps wobbling over, I'd be like, why didn't you just put four legs on it? And then you go, don't be disrespectful. I'd be like, okay. <laughs> like the, what I'm trying to say is that the, it, it it appears that stupid to her, but all she yeah, said was, why didn't you do this? My intelligence. <laughs> Patronizing is what people are saying. Yeah, I guess I can. That's the word. All right. Yeah, I'd say so. Right. From Wakanda, which has more advanced technology, but even so, this scene still turns me off completely to the character. It turns me off to the movie a bit too, but more so, it really starts to make me hate Shuri. Now, sure, this. I was a little bit annoyed, but I, like I said, it's almost like it should have. Well, you didn't need to have it happen that way. Like I'll admit that you could have had it uh, a different delivery, and you could have. You didn't have to make it so that. Vision was made stupidly by them. You could have had her outsmart them on something else. I mean, ultimately, you didn't really need to have her outsmart them at all, but yeah. Well, even, even if Bruce had just said, we couldn't do that, it would have been, a, like, better. Yeah, well, it's not, uh, you... sorry, go on. Because then it's not like he's stupid, it's just like, oh, we just lack the technology to do what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, I was going was to ask the question that has been asked yet, but why do they need to establish who is more intelligent anyway? I don't think like, they do need to. Um, like, like she could have been like she she can start talking science mumbo jumbo and they're gonna be like oh you understand us and you know then they talk more science mumbo jumbo and it's like oh cool you you know your shit well they do for plot reasons we need to establish why it takes so long to get the gem out of his head and so she's saying okay, basically uh, that they've uh, tangled right. up all of the wires instead of making it so that they can just pluck it out. Um, yeah, they didn't leave any documentation how to unfuck <laughs> the mess. Like, but like yeah. yeah, again, you can still achieve that without how doing what they did. I think. Yeah. But by the way, Preach. by the way, I, oh, I was going to ask: Does anyone know here, or chat? Well, chat will definitely know. But who is actually the most intelligent character in the MCU? Like, probably Captain time? Marvel. She's the best at everything <laughs> ever that ever was. The competitors I, would I was, be. I, I was half expecting you to say Godzilla rags, but. You know? <laughs> Reed Richards is one of the smartest ones. He's the Fantastic Four dude. Tony Stark's definitely up there. I'm pretty sure Bruce Banner's up there. She's up there. Do you, and you mean like across the comics as well? Do you or just uh, the MCU? Well, uh, well. <laughs> Well, that's it, because if I say, like, you know, doing the uh, Infinity War saga, or, or whatever it's called in the comics, that, mm. I don't even know if that's gonna, if that's too broad. <laughs> Dude, there's a couple of serious answers, like the Ancient One and Reed Richards, and then you got Jar Jar Biggs, and then you got the Don. <laughs> Several people are saying the Don, it's true. Uh, yeah, well, if, yeah, if Don oh, Hank the most Pym, intelligent one, he, he would have known not to fuck with Carol Danvers, he would have known not to mess with that whammon. <laughs> Apparently Doctor Doom is very smart as well, yeah. He is a doctor. He is a doctor. <laughs> Especially when you remember again that Shuri is talking to Banner, one of the top nerds and top scientists in the Marvel Universe. And if Shuri is anywhere near as smart as they want you to believe she is, it would be fair to say she knows who Banner is, and is familiar with some- That's actually a fair point. She probably should know who he is. Because, like, we're kind of spy on the whole world. Um... Or if anything, this adds to the idea that she's being patronizing. By yes, knowing who he is. by pretending to not know, maybe. Well, she does seem like the person who's so, like, detached from everything that's not her work, you know. It's possible. Yeah. I think it's reasonable to assume either way. 
some of his scientific work. So it's just very disrespectful to act like this to him here. Let's take another similar meeting of sure, minds how is and this an SJW example. Thing? Remember when? Yeah. So was it SJW? Was it a social justice move to have? I'm guessing the framing here is the young black girl is outsmarting the older cis white male. Is probably the framing. Right. Right. It's not enough. That's just, I wouldn't, uh, I mean, I, I can said I'd raise my brow, but that's about it. It's yeah, not like, worth a video. But, I'd probably yeah. target poor writing before I'd say anything like an agenda is there. Yeah. And that's because apparently the, change... that's the kill shot he said uh, as well. The rest oof. of these are nitpicks. Would oh, you oh, oh, imagine was... though, if, if, if the scene was reversed? Yeah, that's, that's the obvious argument is that what if, it was a young black scientist who'd had a lot of experience, and then she, he was outsmarted by a, a sixty-year-old fucking cis white male. Right. Would it then be anti-SJW? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. So hmm, um, we'll see. Yeah, Minds and Marvel as an example. Remember when Stark meets not, Banner in the first not Avengers quite movie? With it. It's one of the most classic IQ measuring contests. Still better, leagues better than the previous video, honestly. Yeah, hasn't shit the bed yet. It's, you know, the last video was like a zero. This is like a. Three so far, it's like it's not, it's not, it's not worthless. Well, of all time, and uh, while they may we're be all a little green with the majority of it, right? We're just so far, so far. Bits, I remember the, bits, I remember this gets a bit to me though. Oh fuck, really? Oh. Competitive. They still also have instant respect for one another. They share their knowledge and they show off a bit, but it's not too much bragging. It's not a pompous way they do it. Not like how sure he is to Banner here. And no matter how much people say she knows her vibranium, all right, and okay. Maybe this skills... background video that's playing is really weird. There's like a guy with a lawn mower. <laughs> black figures, like going back and forth across the black the back here. It wasn't a smart editing move physician, engineer, or robotic expert, quantum physicist, or even an exotic dance prodigy. She could be a cooking savant for all I care. The bottom line is, I find her character to be this classic, I'm a genius because reasons, which ends up being shallow and a bit cringy. Sure, sure, he isn't all bad either. I do like her character as the annoying little sister of the king of Black Panther, and she also plays a good rebellious daughter to the queen, because that was relatable too. But when it comes to being this super oh, okay. genius, holier than now mega bitch, I just cringe. Holier hard. than they thou mega bitch? I don't know. Yeah, I feel like That's a little a bit of a jump. Yeah. Not much. Is he going to say that she uh, was sexually harassing them within it? <laughs> well, she did smile at him. Did you Being see? smarter than a woman is sexually yeah, harassing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she flaunted an intelligence. She smiled at the bastards. <laughs> Shuri, this scientific Mary Sue kind of character, who just knows everything just cuz. Cuz the script wants her to. Because she's young and black and female, I guess. And it also... Oh, really oh there you go then. That's, that's revealed why he thinks it's SJW. I get... I mean, but... Everyone in Wakanda is black. Young, black and female. It, it, yeah, it, it, those it, are inconsequential. It's her age is what I find an issue with, and that's not inherently yeah, SJW at all. Everyone in Wakanda is black. It's in Africa. And it's they are not, more advanced than everyone else people. in the world. That's that's their law. Wouldn't it be more insulting if she was white in the context of being in Wakanda? Like she's the white woman who comes in and like. <laughs> 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 <the ways or, laughs> I think you'd be more pissed if she was white, honestly. Yeah, I think so too. It, it makes sense in the universe that she's black. I I don't. I don't understand. I... And, and she is part of the royal family, right? Well, yeah, she's the sister so, of the... Yeah, yeah, so yeah, it, yeah, yeah. So it makes sense that she would get the best education and the best resources and the best tutors and, and the best teachers was... and all the supplies that she could ever need. Yeah, but everyone in Wakanda is equal, so everyone gets the exact same oh, thing. Oh, yeah, right, it, it's, yeah. A common, it's a communist utopia, you fucking fuck. <laughs> I forgot <laughs> I all of the, Sorry. you know, monarchy going on. Didn't I'm she... assuming his argument's going to be that you know, would Marvel make anyone the smartest character if they weren't, you know, a woman or weren't black? Just like, you know, would they make the most powerful hero anything but a woman? <laughs> well, up until just a moment ago, it was Thor. Yeah. Right. <laughs> um, and well, yeah, I mean... I, was gonna I say hate to talk about Captain Marvel because Spider-Man's almost out, <laughs> but that is uh, the reason. Yeah, I just, like, I, uh, if you remember as well in, in Black Panther, I, I don't blame anyone here if they have no fucking clue, uh, the, when, when T'Challa is first challenged, among his, the criticisms of him from the first challenger, he says, um, uh, a little girl is in charge of, like, the science department and she scoffs at tradition. The implication being that, um, the king controls who's the science leader person, which again, I still stand by, it's absolutely dumb that it would be her. But she's there because of the fact that her, her brother was able to essentially push her to that position. 
But you know, nepotism. Yeah. Um, so this is what I mean. There's like, I don't know, it feels a bit forced, but I mean, it's funny we've come to that conclusion on this first point because the rest of these, like, I remember some funny shit from this. Ray from the new Star Wars movies in a lot of ways, especially like this scene from The Force Awakens. Be pieces of us in three different systems. Yeah. Uh, ship. She she was awful. <laughs> she is awful. Yep. <laughs> What'd you do? I bypassed the compressor. No, you didn't. You tore it out of the wall. You tore a fucking component out of yeah, the fucking wall. <laughs> That cost me 50 credits. Those scenes have new female main characters showing up our old favorite white male characters for absolutely no reason. And that's just rubbish to me. And back to Shuri. Rubbish. Yeah, she's huh? Mary Sue. Shuri and Infinity. Yeah, yeah. Infinity War. It's worth noting here that the little idea she comes up with in this scene, probably the worst scene in the movie, well, her plan doesn't even work out in the end. And normally that could be forgivable since everything in the universe is working against her. But after Shuri was so smug and disrespectful, pretending to be so- I'm pretty sure her plan was working. She just needed more time. Yeah. Um, and she says several times it's going to yeah. take a long time, so. I think up until the point where they had to, well, cancel it, she was right. <laughs> yeah, like, I mean, the only criticism I have of the movie is when they're like, how long do you need? She's like, as long as you can give me or whatever. And it's like, no, seriously, how long do you need? So we know this is possible. And she's like, oh, three years. You're like, oh, well, this is not fucking oh. possible. So much smarter and better than everyone. Well, failing after acting like that just makes her look even worse. And back to the she original She didn't because it was her fault, though. He just wants right. to take a shot at her for being smug, I guess. What is we? Which we it saw is weird that he's so concerned with like it was like a small snarky comment like but he's like really well, he said it was the worst scene in the movie it's like wow like five seconds long and i know he this said that the killing just, blow yeah and better than everyone well failing after acting like that kind of just makes uh, her making look a mountain out of worse. a molehill back think. to the original clip of that scene which we saw here was played during an interview with the actress on wasn't Good her fault. America. Well, this Shuri situation gets even worse when you realize that they're trying to set her up to be this big hero for young black girls out there. Someone to look up to. Look at all these girls on the show dressing up like Shuri, looking up to her. When, in my opinion... I, don't, I think that one's dressed no. as Black Panther, not Shuri. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Actually, a lot of them are. <laughs> Wait, which one of yeah, these are dressed as Shuri? Just the center one? That's it? Yeah. Yeah, all the rest are wearing the, the, well, the armor, like, one way or another. All right. Well, <laughs> maybe oh, maybe the girl in the background. She's wearing a ceremonial thing. Mm. Is that is that what? That looks like I what uh, Forrest Whitaker wears. But I don't know why you'd want to cosplay Forrest Whitaker. <laughs> <laughs> because they want to save the dream. Someone to look up to. Look at all these girls on the show dressing up like Shuri. So in chat said it's Buff Shuri. Oh no! I use science to amplify my muscles. How do you like me now, brother? <laughs> and now I'm the king of Wakanda. <laughs> Step aside, say, can brother. The, can the women eat the fucking flower shit that they eat? Oh, dude, don't. Decay? don't. The... Can they just grind it up and snort it and become... Or so do they, dumb. You know, or do they do have to be a man. <laughs> Save the dog. My very is the blue goose. <laughs> Save the dog. In my opinion, she's a bit of a bitch who should not be praised like this. The next and second worst SJW part of Infinity War has to do with Bruce Banner, aka the Hulk, who, besides a quick fight with Thanos at the beginning, well, besides that, we hardly even see the Hulk in this movie. After he loses to Thanos, the Hulk refuses to come out for Banner, who is then stuck in his human form for almost the whole movie. And at face value, that might not seem like such a bad thing. It sounds like they're trying to mix things up a bit, but when you combine this with the disrespect from Shuri, well, it's starting to seem like the Hulk is a victim of the SJW agenda here. Think oh, okay, okay. Uh, uh, yeah. Help, uh, help no, us I, you, I no think, bullshit, I think how? Just, I think they just dropped the fucking ball when it came to writing characters like Thor and the and fucking... Hulk. Uh, yeah, the Hulk or, or yeah, well, Bruce. I think, I think it's like just we said when we were talking on the Geeks and Gamers thing. It's like, if you're going to say that something is an SJW thing, then it can't just be bad. It has to be bad for certain reasons. Yeah, and you get bonus and you points if you actually get, like, quotes reasons. from the makers where they said they did X, Y, and Z specifically. Like, J.J. Abrams being like, I wish all of Star Wars was Asian people. It's like, okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, 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 I can't imagine Disney exec or a Marvel exec, you know, slipping a piece of paper and it says, get rid of Hulk, you know? I, I don't, don't see it happening. I just, I, I feel like they may have had different plans for Hulk and they just kind of flubbed him in the second movie. Um... I was actually interested to see where they were going to take him after Infinity War. 
Well, this is it. Apart from, um, obviously, well, the original Incredible Hulk, I say the original, the, you know, in the MCU, you know, it's a shit film and Edward Norton, <laughs> well, crapped out and they had to get um, Mark Ruffalo. And I don't know if that, like, put a stint in whether or not he got more of another individual film mm. on his own or whatever. But after, what, Infinity War? No, not Infinity War. Um, Age of Ultron. You don't see him again until Ragnarok, do we? And then, like, that's, like, a really good moment. Uh, well, I think, anyway. And then the... Yeah, the next time is Infinity War. And, yeah, they, I've, I just think they kind of dropped the ball. They, they, they just... Well, they, they they kind of nerfed him along with Thor in the uh, in Endgame because they didn't want to deal with all the characters and what they could do to fuck up the well, well, to interact with the story. I guess his you know? two high points, or at least how people feel about it, is Avengers and uh, Ragnarok, and in both films he's essentially just Hulk Smash. Um, yeah, and yeah, and in Endgame and Infinity War, he's just comic relief. Honestly, like, all right, in Endgame he's got a much more active role with the time machine and all that, hasn't he? But he's not. Well, he's not being Hulk there, even though he is half Hulk. Well, right the, there, the, it, like... the problem was character at that point. We didn't get to see the transition. We didn't get to see the struggle. He just skips to it, and we're like, okay. I really yeah, see I solved a... it. It's all done. It's finished. And then he dabs. I just don't see his <laughs> SJW influences here. Yeah, I, no. I just think well, he's just poor writing with not knowing what to do with him. This is the thing. This, he said it. We've just discussed on how we can't see it at all, so let's see what his argument is. Find this with yeah, the disrespect from Shuri. Well, it's starting to seem like the Hulk is a victim of the SJW agenda here. Oh, so he's literally bridging a crap scene with Shuri into. And yeah, this I, don't is know, why this is, I don't see how that is remotely that, relevant. That's a, that's, a, that's a huge jump. Think about it. The Hulk is the biggest and strongest and, dare I say, most manly Avenger. Do you really think it's a coincidence <laughs> oh, no. that oh, Most manly oh, Avenger, no. okay. Well, because he's got the biggest dick, alright, yeah, so... Allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know. Shuri might have the biggest dick. I bet, you know, Captain Marvel's got the biggest dick, obviously. <laughs> oh, it's, uh, it's lagging for me. Yeah, I... I yeah, I think it was kind of... Oh, God, that's like... That's a bit looking into it, I think, where it's like, oh, yeah, you have a Hulk erection dysfunction. Wait, wait, wait. Therefore, you I know. didn't get to see any of it because it fucking lagged out. Let me uh, play it again. Oh, god. Sorry. It's lagging again. Hang on. <laughs> fucking watch it together. Crapping out on me. Is I'm it, is it fine for everyone else? Or because. I'm on 735. Hey, 735? Yeah, I'm pausing on that. Nothing. I'm stuck Here, on. Think about it. The Hulk is the biggest. I'm on 722 right now. Is anyone else? No, I'm still uh, 38 now. Can someone else drag it to 720 and then play, just so that for some reason okay, you're doing do us it. not doing shit? Okay. I'll do it. I will take you care the helm. Of this issue. Excellent. I will take the wheel. Engage number one. There we go. Zoomed out now. Well, yeah, no, is that 720 now? Yeah. Yeah, 720. Blaze it. Um. Nope, still lagging for me. Oh. This is being the big gaze. I think you should refresh. <laughs> yeah, I'll just try and rejoin the watch together, because this is clearly... ...fucking up. God, when are you going to start inviting everyone over to your house? <laughs> <laughs> no one's going to come, dude. Why would I bother? I might to come. <laughs> oh, oh, here. You and Brown Table can get together and you can go to each other's <laughs> birthday party. He's not, he's not invited! Happened. So, where were we? If I never be... What time frame? 7.20, to be safe. Go on. Okay... Victim of the SJW agenda here. Think about yes. it. The Hulk is the yep. biggest and strongest and, dare okay. I say, most manly Avenger. Do you really think it's a coincidence that he all of a sudden can't Hulk out here too? He's basically got erectile dysfunction. Or Hulk rectile dysfunction. That That's a interesting read. Hulk the, rectile the dysfunction. Hmm. Well, as I was saying, yeah, I think it's just looking a bit in too much of it because he's linking that to... I mean, I mean, that's what that that that's the joke, yes, but I don't think that's like. Well, they make it the joke once. What does he say? I don't think like that's a, a slight at manhood or you know men right. in general or a way to diminish the Hulk via poor writing. I, don't I think thought that it was, was it. at the beginning when they were um, in New York. They're like yeah, performance anxiety or something. Or yeah, 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 yeah. And, he's, and he's like, "Hang on, give me a second. I was like, "Yeah, we get it. It's, it's, it's a joke, but it's not. I don't think it's Disney going get rid of him." <laughs> Well, that that's perfectly aligns with something Tony would say too. Yeah, this is the thing. I think that Tony is taking the reality of the situation, which is X, and making a yeah. sexual joke out of it. 
Yes, you're embarrassing me in front of the wizards. Yeah. <laughs> My Hulk would never have erectile dysfunction. My never. Hulk? Never. <laughs> I, mean, the I don't know, never, man. He's getting up there. The Hulk's never been represented represented in any of the movies as like, oh, he's the symbol of manliness. Yeah. Just he's, like a big green guy. Yeah, he's buff. Yeah, well, that just yeah. proves that they're and, 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 and if anything, you know, he, he's like the worst of man in terms of like, you know, aggression. Like, you know, he, he's aggression incarnate. <laughs> Toxic <laughs> masculinity. I mean, yeah, he can bench a few, but it doesn't mean he's a fucking, well, it doesn't mean he represents well, a great man or anything. I mean, you know, Bruce Banner is a good human being, but. <laughs> also, am I still alive? I think so. Because. Oh, yeah. oh you are. <laughs> um, I'm no longer sure. signed into YouTube, and I can't sign back in for some reason. Oh, no, I had you that are. problem yesterday. Yeah, I got signed out of YouTube as well. And uh, the Although chat YouTube on screen is frozen as well, so they can't see it anymore. We lost like a thousand people. Oh. Um, you are showing live for me, but... Yeah, you. Yeah, I had this issue a couple days ago. I can't sign into YouTube. I mean, I could still hear you on the actual video. Hmm. The video's still I going. Can... It's showing my Gmail, but yeah, I guess the 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 YouTube stuff just kind of pooped. Yeah, I, YouTube might be having something tizzy happen right now. I don't know. Yeah, like I said a few days ago, I had this issue where I could sign in, and it and then eventually it fixed, and I could sign in like normal. I think we should just continue because there's nothing else we could do. So <laughs> we'll yeah, just no, the carry Discord on. Say, the guys on the Discord are saying they can hear us. All right, yeah, good, good. that's good I mean, enough. The, Chat's frozen, video, unfortunately. Chat. Um, there's some kind of, but you guys don't have any sign-in issues right now, do you? I can't sign into YouTube. Oh, well, there you go. Uh, mine's fine. I can't sign into YouTube, which I'm, means I'm, 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 I'm signed in and still signed in. Did you refresh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, it must be fucking nice. <laughs> well, oh, right. I'll just we'll leave it, and yeah, I'm getting loads of PMs now. Great. <laughs> <laughs> My fucking Discord is piling up with PMs. It's like, no, leave uh, it alone. Nah. Uh, as long as they can hear us, and as long as we can keep responding to shit, then it'll yeah, be yeah. fine. Um, but yeah, uh, I'll try and re I'll sign back in as soon as I can to get chat moving again. Oh, it's, it's saying uh, a few people. Well, other people have been saying they signed out as well. Yeah, YouTube's had got something going on. But yeah, a couple of people are PMing saying they can't comment anymore. Man, that's weird. Twice in one week? That's really odd. YouTube used to be like a very stable kind of place, chat. at least in terms of signing in and stuff. So I've had six different PMs saying chat is broken, they can't use it. So everyone who's <laughs> listening to this, don't click off it and you'll be able to continue watching it. Go outside and don't yell do it. very loudly. <laughs> oh no, no more super chats. <laughs> but uh, just, it's fine. We'll We'll just carry on. Function, I guess. So to me, it really seems like the SJWs are trying to neuter the most manly character in yeah, the Avengers. Yeah, that's a huge stretch. Wouldn't go. Yeah, I yeah. wouldn't go to that. <laughs> yeah, like, when, he said, like, when he's saying the SJWs, who, who, who in particular? The directors, the writers, the producers. Disney. Disney. It, 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 well, fuck that. I won't fucking. <laughs> yeah, this is one of those stretches where I'm like, man, don't, don't make, don't say this stuff. Don't make these arguments because they're just completely, they're yeah. just random <laughs> wild guesses. You're extrapolating <laughs> to. A degree that's unreasonable. It ma it makes the the position that you have look bad and weak. Oh well, yeah, it's just it, it's just a fucking crazy conspiracy theory. It's, who's doing this? Do the government. If ever yeah, the Hulk like can no longer Hulk out, it had to be a S an SJW thing. It's like why? Like there's yeah. enough there's enough S uh there's enough SJ stuff going on where you don't have to reach this far to find it. You shouldn't right. have to do this. And this low-key attack on men is also a two-pronged approach. Because not only does the movie neuter the Hulk, the manliest character, they also buff all the girl characters and make them overly smart. I find it funny that he just establishes that it's the badly character. You're like, okay. I, I mean, uh, would, would you even say that the Hulk is the manliest character? What is no. the manliest uh, no. character? What about Thor? I would say probably Thor is the manliest. Um... What is it, uh, what, what are the attributes you're thinking about when you when you say that? Yeah, we all about like super, I guess I think from a we're, since we're talking about the Hulk, I, I I assume it's more of a superficial, muscular, big, you know, virile kind of physical. Well, who 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 can bench more? <laughs> I mean, I mean, I, when he says that Hulk is the most manly character, I assume that's what he's going for. 
Yeah, no, he's, def he's definitely going for that. I'm saying, like, what would you define as the bad? Because like, to me, I'm just like, what a weird... I don't even I don't know. know. I'd probably so about say, cock size again, it? I'd probably say <laughs> Captain America... They just said Thor. ...is the most manly. This is what I mean, like, I don't even know who I'd choose. I'd just be like, they're all... They're all I don't know. <laughs> I mean, they're all... Yeah, well, it's... it's. It's who, who embodies uh, the most? Let's hear how the women are buffed instead, then. All right. Maybe that'll be easier skill. to work For a little out. more reason than to say, girl power a couple times. I felt like chanting it out in there, in the theater. We already saw how overpowered they made Shuri in the science department. But there's also She's, yeah, that's not overpowered. She was overpowered thanks to a different fucking continuity. It's like, it's not their fault. So a pretty noteworthy scene where some of the other girl Avengers get these kinds of moments, too. They're Avengers. Know, I'm curious how if if he has a problem with Scar Scarlet Witch being super powerful, it's like you shouldn't. She's, it's all explained. She's yeah. powered she by the a, fucking. She is the glassiest of the glass cannons. Yeah. Some of the other girl Avengers get these kinds of moments too for no to good reason again. The Washington Post even wrote an article about the girl power scene called "This Avengers Infinity War fight scene is a step forward for Marvel's female character." All right. Oh, oh, the, oh, and one of the problem is if you use this article as evidence, is like I I thought this is the kind of article you typically disagree with. Yeah, and you could I could have just pulled an article from is. some other place that says the lack of female power moments in the film made it much stronger, and it's like okay. <laughs> So who's right? Like, give us an argument instead of just citing a fucking article. Avengers Infinity War fight scene is a step forward for Marvel's female characters. Check this part out. As the Avengers fight Thanos and his alien army in Wakanda, his child, Proxima Midnight, descends upon an isolated <laughs> Wanda Maximoff. Proxima yeah. fulfilling her villainous remarks quote her last points name out is that Kim Wanda is all right. by herself and we put... <laughs> No. Prepare ourselves for the worst. Until Natasha dramatically announces she's not alone. Natasha and Oki help their fellow- Oki! <laughs> <laughs> it's Okoye, but Oki is close Okoye. enough. Oki. Oh, let's just call her okay. <laughs> make sure to fight. make the white power oh. sign when you say okay. Absolutely. <laughs> and Wanda eventually uses her magic to stop Proxima from killing Natasha by- So he's referencing that, I don't know if you remember the part, but it's like, it's the girl alien versus the three women on the battlefield. Yeah. And so yes. I guess he's making the argument, he's like, oh, fucking such a- They were all near each other on the battlefield. You wouldn't say this when five guys end up fighting with each other, would you? Of course not. I thought the it was alien. fine. I thought it was fine. The one in Endgame was forced as fuck. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. I fucking love the this mantises in sense. there. It's so funny. Yeah. I'm helping! <laughs> I will make them go to sleep. She doesn't even do that. <laughs> she just disappears as soon as the fight starts because they know she's worthless. Because they're like, oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> fuck, she has nothing. It's downright dangerous for it to be here, but okay. ...into one of the giant takes rolling around. Teamwork makes the dream work, as they say. Or as I would say, girl power. And well, it looks like Marvel's pandering to women here right? worked. Especially with these Washington Post writers. Because by the looks of... Did they also pander to men, then? When yeah, they... is, they, is it true because the Washington... I mean, which side are you taking? I You're kind of you're kind of using both here, but which one's correct? Is it SJW because they said it is? Which I would disagree with, and which normally you would disagree with, or is it because you're trying to make a point and you found something that helps the point you decided you're going to make? Mm. For this article, they're eating this shit up. I will say this was a minor SJW moment, all things considered. One which really didn't anger me or mess up the movie or anything, it just, it was oh, something okay. I noticed and I knew what they were trying to do. Next, the article goes on to- okay. <laughs> I can picture him like, with a little like, pointy finger in the cinema, I can see what you're trying to fucking do. You're gonna fucking how get one over me. <laughs> how can I put this in my video? I see through you. Can I make Lies. this over 10 minutes long? That's actually, oh, that's probably why, this does feel a little bit padded, doesn't it? Like, a lot of these points. Just a little bit. Just a little Of course, hate on men. Aside from it determining Proxima's fate, the brief scene is noteworthy for its complete lack of men. Infinity <laughs> War is a big old testosterone fest, and many of the touted crossovers involve two or more male characters, Thor and Peter Quill, Quill, Stark, and Peter Parker, and Stephen Strange. The humor <laughs> often relies on the men competing. Too much of this movie features crossover characters with the majority of the characters. <laughs> So is this article? So is it right or wrong? I I don't know, and I don't know that if we're gonna we have to be consistent <laughs> on this. Know. Like, if it's bad that they put the women together, is it bad that they put the men together? I don't know. Come on, if you call him and ask, they can, even can downright an combine it sometimes. Sometimes you see men and women fighting together. It's so fucked. It's odd, my lads. What's really funny as well thinking about this is that um. 
he's also doing his video between uh, Infinity War and Endgame, and Endgame has that fucking moment at the end. <laughs> and, yeah, I'm assuming he would have made a video for Endgame as well. And that, and that would be... Ac- he must have been frothing at the moment. He's like, oh my god, they did it! <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I don't know anybody that would disagree with that being like a fucking social justice moment. It's like, look, it was shit as hell, but yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh. Keening to appear dominant, aiming to impress women like Gamora or take charge of plants. That this particular fight scene takes place in Wakanda is fitting, given the praise Black Panther received for its depiction oh of women. We'll get more to that later. The Dora Milaje are fierce warriors, and their general Oki. I can't say. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, she <laughs> she let's do it okay. once and say it, but all right. Say her name right, my bad. Puts her duty to protect her country and King T'Challa oh. first. You see, even these writers are agreeing with me in some ways. Oh, okay. Trying- I thought your whole thing was that they agreed with you. But- even, like, even the people... Huh. That, that's interesting framing. I'm confused as to this, the the yeah. the dynamic this article shares with his video exactly. Yeah, why have the article at all, actually? What what's the real point that's trying to be presented with the article? Like I can find an article for any position. Mm. I get more and more pro women, and at face value, that's really okay. I don't mind it personally, but I do get annoyed when the best way they can okay, come up with you, to be pro women is to be anti-male. I don't know if you could say that. Male. I didn't mind it personally, but it annoyed me. It sounds like it annoyed him personally, but it didn't annoy him personally. Yeah, I mean, it's it. Sounds like, I mean, it sounds like you're stretching to make a video out. Yeah, he, yeah, that's clearly he started with the strongest point that he has, which wasn't particularly great. And now it's, I mean, this is point two. We're neither at the end of the video. Oh, wait, this, this is point three. Sorry, it's the Hulk a second point. That's just petty and wrong to me, and it really comes from a place of weakness if you think about it. Women should be able to stand up on their own, instead of relying on bashy men to try and boost themselves up. Speaking of boosting women up and making them overpowered, it looks like a new female hero is set to join the Avengers pretty soon. <laughs> Not only is the Captain Marvel movie scheduled for release early next year, but also, there's a quick the credit scene we see Nick Fury reaching for a oh device boy. to call for help. <laughs> Wait, uh... What's the argument going to be here? I'm excited. Drops it, we see it's an older pager from the 90s, which has the logo for Captain Marvel on it. She's not only set up to be the first female lead in a Marvel movie, but it looks like they're making her into this rather strong and powerful superhero too. Quite possibly more powerful and stronger than all the Avengers. She is being called in to save them after this Infinity War drama after all. And this goes along with this new girl power trend in Marvel movies, which I'm not necessarily completely Yeah, opposed. but we didn't know it at the time but, and, we had suspected. And it didn't but, matter if she was like, a girl or not. True. Now. If she was a guy, it would have been bad. Yeah. Yes. The problem isn't that it's a woman doing it. The fact is that this character exists. Period. Yeah. It's just it, look. I, I don't like. I don't like Captain Marvel because the character is like fucking Superman, just OP and just fucking boring. It's not because oh, it's a woman. I mean, Brie Larson being you know kind of annoying or whatever is you know it doesn't help her like you know credibility out outside of the film, but. She I don't sell. I don't like the character at all in the film. Is <laughs> too. The men sure have had their share of the spotlight over the years, but this does make me worry a little bit. Marvel movies are turning more and more towards the women, and I just hope they don't get ruined by their SJW tendencies, like how the you've already declared are- they did. I mean, <laughs> if this is the stage, if this is how we're gonna kind of quantify that. Then, man, I don't think they have a chance either way. I've heard he like, liked Endgame, by the way, it. which is interesting. Huh? I heard he liked Endgame. You'd think that after Captain Marvel and Endgame's SJW moment, he would have been frothing at the mouth. Dead. <laughs> have gone downhill in recent years. And in case you think I'm crazy here, let's go over all the girl power stuff in Marvel lately, in the movies. All right. Oh, so this Black is an Panther Infinity War earlier this year, which had a suspicious amount of female characters. <laughs> a suspicious, a suspicious oh, no. amount of female characters. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love it. I love it. Like what? What is mum? His sister? Uh, God, you know, how dare you have a big family? Fuck! Come on, man. Also, I can't. I can't help but point out those little ring thingies. Most retarded weapons I've ever seen. In <laughs> Venus retarded, rags, but... they light up, so they, they they like have electrical shit. I uh, fucking know. Well, not just that. Speaking of retarded, I'm, I'm I'm really surprised that he's not like busted out the fucking MS Paint circles around everything. Going, look at all these women. <laughs> this is. This is by design. <laughs> yeah, we're looking at uh, the bodyguard, which is, you know, the 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 king's guard. For some reason, in in, in Black Panther, are all women. Uh, that's something that you could make a point about. You'd be like, that's surprising, considering they don't get any benefits. They just have the tools. If they all had the flower power, I could maybe see that making sense. Um, 
But then you got his mum. It's like, why would... Why is that shocking? It's just, no, 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 Mahler. It's kind of <laughs> suspicious that his mom is a woman. <laughs> <laughs> then you go. Yeah, after all, uh, after all, all heroes have to have their parents be dead. It, it, it's a rule. <laughs> right. Both of my fathers died before I got to know them. <laughs> um, yeah. Then you got the science advisor girl. It's like, all right, and uh, girlfriend girl who also I think she goes on like missions or whatever. It's like, oh, wait, are you saying that Black Panther is straight? No. <laughs> I would He's never swimming in pussy, that. but this is a problem. That's a smexism. <laughs> That's a, let me explain to you why it's an SJW moment. The Condon King, his sister, his bodyguard, his mother, and his girlfriend. Girls were all over in that movie, and it didn't ruin the movie or anything. Black Panther was still amazing, but it was. <laughs> oh, <wait. laughs> That's the most egregious comment he said. Black Panther so, is still amazing. So God, all that of his movie sucks. All of his grievances, they originate from Black Panther, but it was amazing anyway. <laughs> he's just, hey, he's just the friendly Deuterino pointing out the problems with the films in SGW. I can't tell his position a half his shit, he just keeps meandering back and forth. <laughs> was noticeable how many girls were in there. Next we got Infinity War here, which I already went over oh, the girl power stuff. Shuri being the bitchy OP scientist and that all-girl fight scene we mentioned. And there's also Wanda, so? the Scarlet Witch who was in that fight scene, who's been moving up in the Avengers and seems to be becoming one of the more powerful ones. She was always the right, this, yeah, like this, this, this really, I, this sorry, really she... sounds like he just doesn't want to have chicks around. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's like, yeah, and honestly, fucking Wanda And that means already... a lot coming from me. <laughs> Do you remember when she, I mean, like, she, in Age of Ultron, she detonates and basically destroys, like, fucking 15 robots that are all around her? Well, they established that she's like that in Age of Ultron, yeah. They already, kn we, we knew that from then. It's she's like powered by one of the Infinity Stones. She's no really different to Captain Marvel in, in Power Source, which is why you could argue that's why it makes sense that they're so powerful. Thing is with mm -hmm. Captain Marvel is that bullets don't do anything to her and she can survive in the vacuum of space at the speed of light while Scarlet Witch can get punched and she can get knocked out. Guess which one's more interesting? Right. The uh, the the, next... the one who isn't Captain Marvel. <laughs> Woo, we did it. Yeah. And, and in Civil War, like the drama focuses around her, not about her. It's it, it, you know, like with um, well, when Vision tries to subdue her or whatever, and then she just drops him through the floor. <laughs> and yeah, my only issue with Scarlet Witch is that we don't see more of her. She's awesome. I I yeah. I, I would love to get a, like a Scarlet Witch movie. I'm, I'm surprised cool you see what she can do. I'm surprised you didn't start with um, Black Widow. I'm surprised that didn't come up first. I mean, she's in the his, thumbnail um, for this video. That's the interesting. Well, this, thing. Oh, this is it. But well, by his narrative, the whole the whole undoing or unraveling of Marvel is the as the SJW um, insertment into it. But Black Widow was cool, I guess. Was she? Well, she well she flew under his radar, I suppose. She knew her place. She wasn't that. She power. knew. Her place. Yeah, she knew her place. Well, well, it well, well, funny you would say that. I mean, she is like like by well easily. Oh well, easily pointed powerful. out. She's like the yeah, she's yeah, she's just a human who, apart from a few kung fu moves with her like thighs, you know, she's not she doesn't do anything remarkable. <laughs> wow, racist. No, it's just because Ant -Man she's and the Wasp, which is coming well, out Hawkeye later this too, summer, but... and it also sees Ant Man being joined by his female crime fighting partner. Is that a coincidence? I don't. Th <laughs> they fucking had uh... that in the first movie. They established that the only reason there isn't a Wasp is because her dad doesn't want her to get in trouble. But then they move on from that. That's part of the movie. Like the wasp always existed. The wasp is the reason why that they stopped that missile in the first film. Like I, you can't just. The, I think the well, the Ant Man and the Wasp was a good example of you can have a kick ass female character and you could also have a cool hero too. You don't have to drag him down. Yeah, they work just fine together. Yeah, I think they make a good duo. But like this, videos like this are part of the reason there's that narrative being spun that oh, anti SJWs hate women. They don't want to see women. In it's like this. It coming from me. This video really gives that vibe. Yeah, well, man, we're making progress with you, aren't we? <laughs> crying wolf. God, fucking rags. Next, you'll be making a video about how uh, it's a lot of people is uh, sexual harassment. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Rags, and I was wrong about it. If you use terrible, <laughs> awful arguments for things, like, man, just... 
Got my turbo. Well, yeah, and, and, well, yeah, and then flicking through every female to actually be in any of these films. It's just like, yep, yeah, that's a problem. Who yeah, else is a woman? You. Get them to me now. <laughs> oh, oh the, I see a pair of breasts. I'm just pleased. <laughs> just, come on, man. Think so. And then, of course, lastly, like I said before, Captain Marvel is getting her own movie next year, which will then be followed by another Avengers movie that will also feature Captain Marvel, who will most likely be this super strong Wonder Woman like character coming in to oh, save I the wish day. She was like now, with Wonder all Woman. that in mind, it's really hard to deny Marvel is swinging towards the women in this coming year or so. Whether or not. By having a one standalone female character, like, even I'm like, what do you mean, dude? Come on. Like, the idea that yeah, she I'm, saves I'm, everybody. I'm not... <laughs> Just bad yeah, I'm, like, I'm not the on the like, side of like, oh, it's about time a female film came out kind of thing. You know, same with Black Panther. It's like, oh, it's about time a black one came out or something. But it's not, I'm not against it either. It's not like, oh my God, how dare they, how dare they <laughs> shake up the narrative? Fuck. Not that's going to go completely into SJW territory and regressive bullshit. We'll still have to wait and see. But again, it does make me worry. And well, those are the three big well, SJW zero, big, things I noticed but... in Infinity War. The all right, that's it. The disrespectful Shuri, the impotent Hulk, and all the girl power oh, stuff. Girl Besides power. that, I may have had a... <laughs> Can you believe that established characters return consistently in later films? <laughs> It's crazy. A few other nitpicks, but they're all just for fun and nothing to really write home about. Like that scene where Spider-Man references the movie Aliens, which of course is a female-led Oh my movie. god. What the fuck, dude? Oh that never god. entered my mind. Oh my god. I was right. <laughs> Oh, see, I oh thought, I thought, God. I thought That's after crazy. the like he concluded his last point, we you know probably be done with like Patreon and you know other you know self sucking things, but that nah, he, he did it. <laughs> he made it worse. I've still got three more minutes to make this yeah. video worse. <laughs> Fucking hell! God damn it! Yeah, he, he, like, he, oh. <laughs> he, uh, it's a female led movie. He also references. Like, uh, he also references Footloose. I mean. That's true. What, man? Yeah, but Kevin I Bacon's just... a female-led person. <laughs> very bacon? You know, where do you do your bacon? In the kitchen where females are supposed to be? It Bam. all makes sense! <laughs> We'll let it play again. May though. have had a few other nitpicks, but they're all just for fun and nothing to really write home about. Like that scene where Spider Man references the movie Aliens, which of course is a female led 80s movie made by none other oh, than the SJW Canadian director himself, James Cameron, oh, no. who ironically oh, enough is bitching about this. Is he seriously like, oh, they reference a film with a woman in it? I'm, I, we're gonna get, someone's gonna make the meme of the dude with all the strings on the board and it's gonna yeah. have yeah, 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 his yeah. face on it. I'm sorry, like, but, oh, <laughs> everything comes. Back like, to this. You fucking idiot! You fucking hack! God! It is not. I mean, it's not iconic because of a woman is a lead character in it. It's, it's not because the lead character is amazing. Well, the film's amazing. That's why it's iconic. And it's and like Spider-Man brings it up while well, referencing it because it's an old film for somebody who's fourteen in twenty sixteen or or eighteen or whatever. You know? Yeah. Well, so it's and a what... it's a reference to Civil War where he brought up Star Wars before. He's like he he right. references pop culture movies. You're like, okay. Oh, that has a female in it too. <laughs> <laughs> what other possible movie could Spider Man reference to alert him that he wants him to blow a hole into the ship to suck him out into space? I mean, there's... Um, that fucking yeah, 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 he, he, didn't, he, he didn't just literally just go, oh, hey... I'll tell you what he could have referenced. Alien. Fucking Alien. They do it in that. Oh, shit, female-led. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh yeah. fuck. All right, no, we got this. Uh, Last Jedi. <laughs> Horizon. Uh, oh, yeah. Maybe... Mo Mo I don't even, I don't know, yeah, honestly, sort of. well, yeah, but the point is, the point is he ch they chose the most well-known film for that right, joke. Exactly. Oh, it's that's... not. It's yeah, not, obviously, it's... everyone's like, "Oh yeah, everyone's seen that." They're, this, not, they're, this... not, they're not flaunting their their movie knowledge. They're not fucking pushing the SJW agenda. This is that it's seeing the world the through a lens thing. Where you like, <laughs> yeah, like, dude, yeah. His, his, his lens is so fucked. It's gone into his brain and just rotted every fucking logical thing in there. <laughs> well, he's got to placate his audience too. So. That's true. They want to hear this stuff, even though this this video wasn't well received. I think even his audience were like, "You're you're, you're oh, pushing it a bit at this one." This Avengers movie a week ago, saying it was too male, no less. And it looks like Marvel has recognized that too, and that's why they're overcorrecting now. There's also a giant midget in the movie. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> When you thought he was done, he <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> you know, 
they are not only are they trying to appease women, they're also trying to appease those disabled folk. <laughs> the fucking Fuck midget them. community. Fuck them. <laughs> I don't care if you're underrepresented. You don't belong in film. I mean, it's bad enough there was suspicious overrepresentation of midgets in the women's <laughs> yes. There's a suspicious amount of midgets in my film. <laughs> I love the delivery of that as well. Like, we should all understand very easily it's what like, his point is. Yeah, 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 I'm just watching this and my eyebrow just peaked up, like, with my head. It was like, too Whoa. male, no less. And it looks like Marvel has recognized that too, and that's why they're overcorrecting now. There's also a giant midget in the movie. That's right. No He's way! Also, the, <laughs> also the one the Hulk goes to in the movie to have him make a new weapon to fight Thanos. The Hulk goes to? Midget... Yeah, wait, what? Did he say what? that? He said, yeah, I think he did. I Male, think no less. And it looks like Marvel has recognized that too, and that's why they're overcorrecting now. There's also a giant midget in the movie. That's right. He's the guy from Game of Thrones, and he's also the one the Hulk goes to in the movie. He he did say that. Yeah. Yeah, oh, the Hulk goes to in the movie. Yeah, well. He's got well, a name. He, let, let's, let's see his, like, how he concludes this point. Go on. Oh. Yeah, so I I just checked his video. He's got a top, he's got a pinned comment that says, "Hey guys, I misspoke at twelve thirty three. Of course, it was Thor who went to get the new weapon, not Hulk." Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, so I, I figured that was just yeah. a misspeak. I just thought, wanted to make sure I That's heard it right. Fine. Yeah. To have him make a new weapon to fight Thanos, and I think having midget, dwarf, little person representation is certainly something a radical leftist, pro diversity, anti ableist. What? Why do? You, why do? You, why? You don't. I got like, a simple this explanation. Like a parody. I've got a simple explanation. Pia Dinklage is hot shit right now. <laughs> He's a good actor, and it's really cool, like, in a meta sense, that someone who's really small in real life is playing a giant. Yeah, yeah and they're meta. dwarves. They're apparently fuck. dwarves in, in universe, and that's what the right. dwarves are in that universe. Yeah, oh, and, and, it's like, and it's like the same reason why Sophie Turner or uh, Charles Dance are getting loads of movie roles right now. They're hot shit from Game of Thrones. It's not about fucking... It's not about fucking rabs and the little people. <laughs> oh, come on, man. <laughs> SJW would be all for. Another SJW point some could argue would be with Vision. I, I, actually, actually, hang on, hang on. Yeah, he's all about, oh, that's what the SJWs are all for. What? He's like, what, you're against having midgets or little people in a film? Well, apparently like, he it, sees like... it as if they're in the film, then it must be a result of SJWs. Listen, one midget is suspiciously yeah. too many. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, hey, well, hey, what are you doing there? <laughs> like, these are meme arguments that he's presenting. What, what, what if he sees Charlie own. in the Chocolate Factory? Does he just fucking melt down? <laughs> does he just go, there's too many fucking disables in you? Oh my god. Who's a half robot, half alien hybrid? Who's also trying to transition into being human? Yep. Uh -huh. Oh no! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Vision is a representation of trans. No. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Dang it ain't so. Guys, you can see how he like saved all the tism arguments for the end. <laughs> Yeah, he's, he is quickly making a getaway out of this, and he's like, like, like "Cheers, thanks, guys. Rate and subscribe. Blah blah blah. Bye." <laughs> oh, how do I even write this down for Goodell? Like, <laughs> how do I write this in a way that people are just like, "You made that up." Vision equals trans? Question mark. <laughs> let's let's hear it again. SJW. Yeah, hey, something listen, are... Pinocchio. SJW <laughs> propaganda. <laughs> Deus ex machina or uh, ex machina, right? SJW propaganda. Uh, the Little Mermaid. Little Mermaid. <laughs> Trans. Transitioning <laughs> into a human. Trans. Yep. Dude, this is like oh, you know Beauty, you covered Beauty you covered the Beast. You covered Riley Beast Dennis. Reality. It's basically like looking at Smash Brothers characters and being like, this person is clearly this. Like, no bullshit's unironically done it on the other end of the spectrum. He's like, Vision, clearly trans. You're like, what? Clearly <laughs> <laughs> trans propaganda. This is something that Riley J Dennis would also say unironically. Yeah, I'm but so glad that because we have vision, we have trans representation in mainstream films now. Finally found equal ground. <laughs> Argue Fuck. would be with vision, who's a half robot, half alien hybrid, who's also trying to transition. I, I, cause, cause, because it'd be thematic. I can't wait to have um, someone make a meme where you have Riley J. Dennis and no bullshit on opposite sides of the knife that <laughs> Thanos is balanced. <laughs> He's perfectly balanced. Is all the yeah. <laughs> The oh, conclusion: yeah, chat, Vision is trans. <laughs> be with Sorry, Vision. Chat, might be back? Question mark. 
Uh, I've oh, been okay. I've been refreshing. I got nothing on my end, so I can't log in. I'll let you I guys know the second midget. anything happens. Yeah, I got people writing uh, midget or re reflect or commented about that, so they must they, they must be up to the midget part, the up. midget propaganda. They made it there. <laughs> propaganda. Yeah, sorry. They're trying to make us accept yeah. midgets. This is unacceptable. <laughs> JW would be all for it. My Another daddy SJW didn't like midgets. I ain't gonna like no midgets with Vision, it. who's a half-robot, half-alien hybrid, who's also trying to transition into being human. Yep, uh-huh. Vision is a transhuman, if you think about it. I can't, like, if, you, if you think about it. If you think about it really hard. <laughs> I, lo I, lo I love his, to influence that argument was, uh-huh. Uh mm-hmm. <laughs> Come on, man. I can't, like, what, what do you, uh, I don't know, like, I don't even, how do you... Even trying to put on this fake human form in some of the scenes. There's also a big plot fake point human where... form. He just, he's, he's fucking, he's with he's his trying, GF, he's yo. just like the real trans people pretending to simulate them like a fake human form. <laughs> yeah, remember the movie AI, <laughs> the little robot kid wants to be human? Ugh. Trans SJW propaganda. He's literally trying to adapt so he's more, so he, didn't he actually say in one scene that he, it's, um... It's beneficial for him for people to treat him like humans or something like that. What you think? Or my finger that from another this film. This is this scene is them trying to have a normal relationship. Is how they frame it. They want to be together, so he obviously makes himself look more human. So that's just yeah, yeah, and, and, simple yeah, they, as that. And she's got and she tells him off for um, uh, phasing through the wall instead of walking through the doorway, doesn't she? Oh, that's uh, right. that's civil war, but yes. Oh uh, right, right, well, well, yeah, but yeah, but <laughs> the point is, he's not a trans fucking person. <laughs> He's not. He's not. He's not. A, he's not trying to um, <laughs> gain your acceptance. Or he's your, transitioning. Your... This is mid trans. See, yeah, on the left, that's what he was. On the right, that's what he is now. And who knows what he'll be he's in the not future? A fucking dude wearing like a wig and you know begging you to accept him as a woman. That's not what he's. That's not what he's doing. And that's not what. <laughs> uh, you know. I wonder what. You know, you know. This also means that what I can imagine what he would think about Soma. Oh God! Oh, don't, Everyone don't, in Soma don't. is trans. <laughs> yeah, and and also like again, chat will know probably or if they can respond. Um, when was the storyline? Well, when was Vision written in the in the comics? Yeah, you know, when did that happen? Oh, you be like, yeah, yeah. Is, is his character or like the foundation of his character where he's well, he's created from um, Jarvis or whatever? I, I'm pr surely that was written like decades ago or maybe. Not literally five minutes ago to, you know, push the SJW oper operandus. Oh. <laughs> he operates on Vision, trying to remove his Infinity Stone that's on his head. Does that sound familiar? No. Well, to me, that sounds almost like a self <laughs> change. Yep, he's to but instead of removing <laughs> yep. you it's have... basically the same thing. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Can, we, can we get that again? Can we just. Where Shuri operates on Vision, We're trying to remove his Infinity stones. Stone that's on his head. Does that sound <laughs> yeah. familiar? Well, to me that sounds almost like a sex change operation. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they're trying to push, they're trying to push transgender <laughs> operations via Shuri taking away the stone. Re Take Thanos away stone. gives Vision a fatal sex change. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry I removed your penis, little one, but you have to die now. <laughs> so wait, see, the the, Mar the Marvel movie is actually transphobic because Thanos removes his true gender, the stone, and it kills him. Yeah, yeah he denies it. Yeah, he denies him his true identity. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, that's no. It's SJW propaganda. What is the stone? An infinity stone. How many genders are there? Well. <laughs> Jesus Christ, this this plummeted so fast. <laughs> oh man. Also, for those who are listening right now and are desperate to chat, uh and chat's not working for everybody, whatever, if you go to my Discord, there's an EFOP EFOP e e podcast chat <laughs> talk channel. You can go in there, but I don't think you can talk if you're a brand no, new viewer. You're not, yeah. No, if you've just joined the Discord though. Well I mean you people who are in the Discord you, you can use that to chat for now, but I just I, there, there has been a few people in uh, the pits talking, uh, well, yeah, younglings or whatever. Good lord. But instead of removing his cock, Vision is getting his Infinity Stone removed. Pretty degenerate, nonetheless. <laughs> Pretty degenerate. <laughs> Pretty what degenerate? Do you mean, what 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 they were trying to remove it to stop Thanos from fucking obtaining it so that he could fucking wipe out the planet or the world. He needs your cock to get that was... Scotland. He's not a degenerate for trying to save half the universe, you fucking muppet. 
Oh my god. <laughs> Pretty degenerate nonetheless. Isn't, wait, isn't that a plot? Isn't that a plot line in Rick and Morty where they want the dad to get his like, penis removed to save like the president of the yes, universe? Yes, yeah, actually, yeah. It's like yeah. confusing that. <laughs> Fuck, I oh really my wish he'd, goodness. I, I really wish he'd just come up and just go, no, I don't like it, because there's black people in it. You just, it, it <laughs> he, is so, he is so fucking bait with how he's fucking arguing with this. It's just like, yeah, they're all degenerates. It's... it's <laughs> oof. Brief. I don't even, like, I'm making notes for this for Goodell, but I don't know how I can fit this into a Goodell script. Oh like, my goodness. Pretty oh degenerate my goodness. nonetheless. Just, just record this, well just, well, just have this 30 minutes on edit. Just play this. Just play this. <laughs> Yeah, just play it. You don't need to edit it. And the last SJW point I could think of is to do with Thanos and his big master plan of the movie. Thanos thinks the galaxy is overpopulated, so he wants to collect the Infinity Stones and use them- What's everyone's even guess here at what he's gonna say is SJW about this? Okay, um, I think that there, he's gonna try and tie this into environmentalism and climate change. Yeah, There's yeah. Two people, yeah with white so. guilt, where we should stop having babies because we're, we're the evil people. It's also important to note, whatever argument he makes, is that Thanos is the villain. Yeah, exactly. But I am, we'll see. We'll see. I am all ears. <laughs> ...to wipe out half the life in the universe. That way the other half will have more resources for them to survive. And if this plan sounds crazy and fucked up to you, don't worry. We all think Thanos is a nut bar, but he himself thinks he's doing the right thing in his own twisted way. And this reminds me of the SJWs in a lot of ways, who also think they're doing the right thing many times. And they also think they're saving the world even though they're really destroying it. So how is that an... E how is that uh, an SJW? That isn't is, it like every uh, bad guy ever thinks they're doing the right thing? Yeah, Vulture. I guess that's his so point. Yeah, SJWs are misguided and they, they think that they're morally right in doing what they're doing and Thanos thinks the same whilst right. he's... But yeah. if this is an SJW movie plot point, then why would they make the SJWs out to be the bad guys? Doesn't this counter your points earlier? I mean, Wait. I don't really care. I'm, I'm more upset that Vision is trans now, so... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you care about shaking. that when Spider-Man's coming out next week, dude. <laughs> you know, I'm so mad. <laughs> Thanos is basically an SJW villain. He's helping people who never asked for his help, and in a way which no one wants him to do it. And this is very much like the radical left in current year. In the oh. end, I believe that a little injection of these so-called Oh, but that hurts your point. I was gonna say, isn't that though. the opposite? When you say like anti-SJW moments in Infinity War, that would be one of them. Yeah, that that kind of devalues what you've been saying up to well, the point. If you characterize the SJW as the villain, then yeah, that's that's doing a disservice to obviously pro a made up agenda of this just uh, <sighs> elements in the films can be acceptable as long as it doesn't ruin the movie or ruin the story or the enjoyment of it back to the star wars comparisons well the last jedi was a huge pile of sjw garbage because its main plot strongly promotes the ideologies of leftist movements at the expense of the plot of the movie and sending star wars so off the rails it might never come back and this damage to the star wars brand will surely be reflected on the box office of the next star wars film solo which is coming out in a couple weeks however something as trivial as a uh uh I don't, I don't want to alarm you guys, but there's a woman on that trailer poster. Ah, it's true. <laughs> there's, there's two of them. Lando. There is <clears> fucking two of them. of them. You see yeah, that? Um, there's also L3, uh, three, three, uh, seven or whatever. Oh god, yeah, the sexualized robot. three oh, whammons to oh, four I this video males. Now. I, bet, I bet you had a fucking fit as well when the, that robot has sex with Lando. I'm sure. It was applied or whatever. 15 second clip of Shuri showing up banner in Infinity War doesn't necessarily ruin this movie. It's just a little cringy. The rest of the movie holds it up though. And since Infinity War's main plot is based on Thanos, who is an SJW villain. What are you doing with your microphone, you piece of shit? I don't Sorry. think that he's an SJW villain. I mean. <laughs> Dude, his justification was he's doing a thing that he thinks is right. It's like, oh. Because most villains do it because they think it's absolutely the worst wrong thing to do. Uh, Thanos thinks he's the hero. <laughs> Somebody asked in the Discord, is Spider-Man transitioning into a spider? <laughs> <laughs> it's so degenerate. Yeah, that's pretty degenerate. Wait, wouldn't the Hulk be trans too? I mean, he's literally transitioning into, into another the, creature. Yeah, yeah. A green yeah. man. No, but you see, that that, that, that point was erectile dysfunction, so it's... Ah, uh, um, of course. Yeah, so yeah. That, yeah. You, you Would you rather have point... your pee-pee no get hard, or have it cut <laughs> off? 
Thanos. <laughs> you buy Thanos and you die during surgery. It's like, oh no. <laughs> Direction here. Tell so them I said, died as a the beautiful of- woman. <laughs> <laughs> Infinity War being really good and great, I would certainly say the movie is not a total SJW girl power shit show. It's just got a few groaner lines in there and scenes, which I could look over in the long run. They were all some minor points, so I'm not going to be offended by something this small. If I was getting offended... I, 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 I don't know, man. I mean, I mean you, were, you were offended by everything else instead, dude, so... You're offended by big midgets, man. I don't know what to say. <laughs> The big midget. You're offended by women. You're offended by blacks. You're offended by young people. You're offended by suspicious amounts women. of women. Suspicious, <laughs> suspicious <laughs> amounts of women. <laughs> 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 you're Robots wanting to become you're human. You're offended by yellow stones representing cocks. Um, you know. I wrote that one down. There is a, a suspicious amount of women in this piece of media. <laughs> <laughs> like that that easily i would be no better than the sjw's what do you guys think was avengers affinity war another mm. great marvel movie were you he's so not offended he made a 15 minute video about this about how so, yeah, not i feel like you're really really stretching absolutely i like that he crushed though all the crazy points into that last like two minutes yeah it's so that uh, it's oh, so yeah, that only the pure it. fans of crazy sjw shit would stay around for that and they'd probably agree ah there you go ah yes yeah, he just dropped a nuke and he just like walked off like, you know, yeah, nothing to see, yeah. <laughs> cringing at the scene where Shuri disrespects Banner. And do you think emasculating the Hulk was an intentional anti-male move? And is certainly part of this more female, more girl power type stories in Marvel. Comment your thoughts on everything. You know, I don't know if he's reviewed the next Avengers movie, but he's. you think he's going to say the same thing about making Thor Well, you know, Jay, fat? Well, Jay said that he was actually pretty positive about Endgame. Like as huh. a whole? Um, really? Even though that like definitely has like the worst, most I mean, we can moment ever. <laughs> we can check it out. Yeah. So the only two videos he's three videos he's got to do with Endgame are Avengers Endgame cast hate Brie Larson, which you know everyone's made a video about that. Um, SJW's attack Avengers Endgame over representation. I'm not even sure how that would work. And then hot take Avengers Endgame. We could watch that one if you want after this. See what see what his hot take is. How long is it? It's 12.48. But we don't have to oh. watch the whole thing, obviously. Well, we don't have to watch it at all. It's up to you guys. Can we just skip to the last two minutes? In the <laughs> we'll, just, we'll, we'll just take a gamble. Yeah. Everything below. And thanks for watching No Bullshit. See y'all next time. Yeah, that was, you, that's weird because there was a lot of bullshit in that. Yeah, there was a bit. Oh, yeah. Bit. Well, so out of those three, which one do you want to see? Um, interestingly, yeah. Avengers Endgame cast Endgame. Hate Brie Larson has 74% right now. It's like... Apparently people didn't nah, like that. I, I don't care about that. I'd rather see how he reacts to Endgame. All right then. Like itself. Let's... Him just going Brie Larson's a woman in that bad is just annoying. I mean, Brie Larson is a woman, sir. So how dare you imply otherwise? And that's offensive. I, I, I can't, She's sus- suspiciously I can't a woman. Oh. She's suspiciously a woman. <laughs> <laughs> that's, gonna be, that's, that's the word, suspiciously something. So... Welcome back to Hot Take here on No Bullshit, where we review the latest movies and give you our hot oh, take on them. Oh, no. We? Oh, Jesus. What? Today's topic is the long-awaited and much-anticipated Avengers Endgame, the culmination of three phases Why and over 20 movies in the <laughs> Marvel Cinematic Universe. But does Endgame live up to all the hype? Because there sure is a lot of people counting on this flick to do well. We're going to talk about that today and more here on Hot Take. First, let me say, we are going to get to the Captain Marvel part of this movie. It's a very small part, but we are going to review I mean, it. I know that's been the talk of the... T- Jay, Jay just said his Endgame take is really boring. So uh, should, oh, we oh. Just, should we skip to the last two minutes? Yeah, <laughs> he says minutes. anything I wanna crazy. Get, I want to get to the part where he talks about women and the Captain Marvel says... <laughs> <laughs> oh no. That's like clockwork apparently. Let's go back a bit. Yep. The lowest part of the movie, the one main complaint I have is because all the girls came together in this big giant fight, like out of nowhere. You knew the fight was really big in the wide shots and they were like all over the place, but then all of a sudden Couch and Marvel says something. These girls all sync up on the battlefield for some reason. I don't know why Marvel yep. wanted to do that. I thought it was unnecessary. Oh, I, I think we know cool. you know exactly we, why. Yeah, yeah. Quick, it wasn't yeah. the worst thing, but you know, it's like, oh god damn. Another minor complaint I'd have with the movie that is was I like, really wanted more Spider Man. I wanted shit. more Spider Man. He didn't actually say why it was bad though. He's yeah, over that, like, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm surprised you'd think you'd that. think you'd have a whole video for that. Yeah, it's yeah. like the whole the whole point is you can't you can't just say oh all these women were together. Ugh. Well, like there, there's a reason why it's bad. 
Right. Yeah, you know how he like he made the well the meme the whole suspicious about a suspicious about of women that was like what in a promotional shot wasn't it? It it wasn't actually in it the wasn't film. even that's in the film. The yeah, that's just the cast all standing in their costumes going look at us we're in the film. And, and if you remember, was like none of them even needed. I had an agenda. <laughs> like they're like Captain Marvel isn't alone. It's like none of you are required for her to get to her destination. But okay, like they all do blast a laser, and Thanos is like, "Wow, this is like the, this, she could have just fucking flown past it." But okay, Spider Man and Doctor Strange, they keep pushing Captain Marvel, but these are the characters that people really like. These are the ones we want to see, and even Spider Man, he had a big part in the story. He was actually a key player, as opposed to Captain Marvel just like showing up and doing this and that, and then blah blah blah, no reason. Like, Sp what do you? I don't even agree with that. She she had reason, and she actually had an important effect on the story. It's part of why I don't like it. Like, her destroying yeah, Thanos' had, ship annoyed me. She had a lot more influence on the plot than Spider-Man. Yeah, Spider-Man just carried the gauntlet for a bit. She saves Tony in the beginning of the movie. Yep. She <laughs> saves Sorry, everybody. Said, they were all gonna die in the Thanos fight, but she destroys the ship. Somebody said he, he's like a more MGTOW-looking Sargon. <laughs> <laughs> Spider-Man had he this emotional Sargon. connection to- Oh yeah, he hates Sargon. Oh, no. Well, he hated Sargon when it, he thought it was beneficial. I don't know if he still hates Sargon, because it didn't get him what he wanted. Mm. Like, he, he made the video that, like, I'm pretty sure it's still up, actually. So, like, yeah, it was pretty- Yeah, no. it was it was very, very poorly received. Yeah, and he was like, he made like two parts, and then he just stopped. Because <laughs> people like, <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> Yeah, the fall of Sargon. That's what his series was called. It's like, uh... Sargon, oh, the guy who falls I've seen in that the year. I've never, not thought, I've seen it in my thumbnail. I've seen it in the feed or whatever. I've never, I never watched Very it. Bad. He wanted to bank on. I'm pretty sure that was <laughs> the. Was that the Kraut stuff that was happening? I think it was around then. Around yes. then, yeah. because they tried. They really tried to find a way to get Sargon, like implicated and all that mm. and he wanted to try and bank on it and it didn't work and he gave up he was yeah. like Aah. tony stark and then doctor strange had a big part too like he was the one that kind of like saw the future doctor strange had a big part puts a picture of spider-man on the screen <laughs> okay <laughs> and this is doctor strange this is from homecoming <laughs> as well so it's like this is a strange choice they could win this whole battle in the last movie, but it seemed like they were pushed to the side for this to do other stuff, and it's fine. I know there's a lot it's of. It's also I'm annoyed that the fire is not the same size as the frame. It's not. What do you mean? Like the background picture, he's got these tiny black lines. Like he didn't make the picture the same size. On the left, it looks full for me. Yeah, I see the little black line on the left, but is that a? Here, let me go to. Because no, when it goes back to him, it, it disappears. I think. Let me go to 1132 and see if it... <laughs> if a marshmallow had a face and a beard. <laughs> That's racist. Dude. I think you might... Oh, sorry. Well, uh, play. Oh, it's wait, the fire doesn't even guys. move, does it? No. No, it's, it's just like, a picture. It, it's just, it zooms in a little. It slowly but surely zooms in over time. Hmm. Guys. With all that said, let's go ahead and get to the hot take meter. I'll easily give Avengers Endgame four... <laughs> Even a little sound effect, I love it. Flames out of five. That's an eight out of ten. It's a really good score. Four out of five Four is out an eight five out of ten. Eight out of ten. <laughs> oh, it might have been a little bit better. <laughs> like, eight eight out of ten, man. Why, yeah, why did he just say eight out of ten? <laughs> that I like a little more. This isn't like Couldn't the best of the best, but it's definitely like top. Too much heat. I think it's. That's kind of bad because I think the four out of five is transitioning into the eight out of ten. <laughs> 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 Three top five. It's way at the top. It's really cool. But all wait. The side note: What is um? What's that on his microphone? That black thing on his microphone. I guess it's, it's like part of the tape. design. I don't know. Or yeah, it could be tape. Is actually, it like tape or something. Think, what is yeah, it? Looks like duct tape there. Is it duct taped? Or like masking tape or some electrical tape? Maybe. I wonder. Is, I wonder what that's for. Hmm. Well, well, yeah, it could be black gaffer tape. He's probably holding it on for whatever reason. Yeah, maybe it'll fall off. <laughs> fall apart. All right. Okay. Ones that came before are well, what really led to this, yeah, and then, you know. I think Look, his microphone represents erectile dysfunction. <laughs> <laughs> of course the tape is black. Yeah, yeah. Oh. he got black tape because he wanted to empathize. The, the oh, black man. tape is doing all the work for the shiny, his pristine microphone, I see. <laughs> he flexed his mic. <laughs> 
think just with a combination uh, of the sad endings and a few characters I wanted to see more, there's a few things in there, but minor nitpicks. Overall, really good movie. Thanks for watching this new episode <laughs> of Hot Take, everyone. I want to go ahead and tease our next video. I could Please possibly, maybe, if you guys are interested, <laughs> make an SJW effects. moments in Avengers Endgame. That could be the next video. Oh, if yes. Please do it. We'll cover it. <laughs> I mean, I wonder if he actually got like approval for that, considering the one on Infinity War wasn't well received. Hello. Huh? Oh wow! All of you just fucking phased out for a second there, huh? I'm what, still phasing out. One more time. Oh, I was just he's so he's saying like, hey, audience, should I make a SJW moments in? Uh, end game, and I'm like, I wonder if his audience were like, uh, you went on Infinity War was kind of poop, so maybe not. But he's got more to work with in End Game because he could he could yeah, spend ten so. minutes on that scene. He could just talk about that scene forever. Well, he, he just skipped over right here. I don't know why he didn't go for right here. Well, I, I think it's because this is a genuine take. take, while his SJW was just him being like, "Yes, I am mad about these things." Uh, uh, <laughs> so when he when he when he commits pen to paper, that's when uh, that's when it kicks off. Mm. <laughs> right. Hmm. He'll spend 10 minutes on Thor being fat. <laughs> That's Thor. SJW. So, um, to complete the trifecta, <laughs> did you know that 63% of fans liked Game of Thrones Season 8? Oh, God. Let me use the bathroom. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> gotta get the bile out first. <laughs> So this is our good. We meant to cover this on last episode, but we didn't have enough time. This is our good friend Monday Matt. He's a uh, he liked Game of Thrones season eight. I think he liked it a lot, and so he's made a couple of videos being like, "Hey, it's not that bad." I don't know if you knew this, Sitch, but uh, he said that if you hate season eight, your issue is with George R. R. Martin, not with D and D. What do you think? <laughs> Hello. Sitch. All right, then it's just me and you. Al. <laughs> Fuck. Um, well, you were there, so. <laughs> well, you, well, yeah, you knew my take. I fucking, I just burst out laughing and, and insulted him. But. Hey, man, Monday Matt is full of the, the takes. I feel like he he like pursues a take oh. no one else has, and then it's like you realize this is a terrible one, right? He's like, but. It's well, original. Yeah, I, mean, like, I don't want to like. I don't want to like just be this reactionary guy who just like calls everyone a fucking retard every time I watch a video <laughs> on, on the show. But he really was fucking retarded. I, um, I don't have words for it. You know? <laughs> Are you there, Mister? So yeah, I just I was in the bathroom. Oh, did you hear what he said? Or no? Oh no! What happened? Uh, so. On the previous podcast, we, we covered mm -hmm. Monday Matt covering season eight. He enjoyed it, and uh, he said, of Game of Thrones. Oh. He said oh. that if anyone has a problem with it, then their issue is with George R. R. Martin, not D and D. How does that yeah. make any sense? Because well, it does, it? <laughs> he didn't provide them the source in order to adapt at that point, so it's his fault. Well, I mean, you could say he he has some responsibility, but that doesn't mean that they could that D and D can just fuck. Don't off understand. And, like, a writer try. cannot write without a source. That's not a thing. Like George can, <laughs> obviously, but that's different. I don't know George. how to make up things in my mind as a writer. That's, that's beyond. Nah. And who nope. could have possibly come up with a good, a good, gooder ending than what D and D did? <laughs> every person on the planet. <laughs> what we got was the goodest it could have been. Every person in every YouTube comment and every Reddit comment, everyone's like, "Oh, here's a better ending to Game of Thrones." <laughs> Yeah, and I'm, I'm honestly stuck all the way back at the point of being like, out of all of the possible endings we could have had in the universe, talking billions, we got in the bottom 100, unfortunately. <laughs> like, we, 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 we got a really bad selection, but... <sighs> do you think that the end with, with Bran being king, do you think that George R. R. Martin told them that in the books Bran would be king and they just didn't properly work up to that? Or was that just their own creation? They just pulled That's... that out of their butt? The ruling theory right now is that every significant end point is what George will have it as as well. But like, I would never believe for a second that he would have it as badly progressed as as the show did. You well, yeah, yeah. And well, so, yeah. Well, this is the this is the problem that George is in. He doesn't know how to get to that point whilst making it good. That's why he hasn't managed to write book, long long the last fuck, two books yeah. still. Well, because, yeah. For all we um, know, the new books could be <clears> terrible. <throat> <laughs> well, well I doubt one it, thing that is confirmed that will happen in the happen in the show that will happen in the books is uh, Shireen being burned by Stannis, and the Hodor thing probably. Yeah, 
over yeah, there. and well, th those I know those two things are being confirmed, but obviously, how Shireen gets melted in the books, I think, is going to be well a lot better, and and hopefully, will actually make sense. And but the, the, but again, this is the problem. George doesn't know how to get there himself by the sounds of it because he can't finish these books. Um, I mean, I can't conceptualize in the books that Danny will just become evil because she's even more of a good guy in the books than she was in the show. You could have fixed it, what? though, by literally just having her destroy the Red Keep and kill a bunch of innocent people as a result of it. Fixed. Done. Right. Uh, I, mean, this sort of thing. I don't think George is stupid enough to have her specifically target women and children who are fleeing <laughs> for their lives. Well, to systematically mow them down. Going back to Matt anyway himself, the other thing in the video that he did cover was he made reference to Full Metal Alchemist. I don't know if have you seen Full Metal Alchemist, Sitch? Yeah, of course. Right. Oh, god, cool. So you know. All right. So you know. So you. Okay. Just just for the audience, then. Um, you got Full Metal Alchemist, and you got Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Brotherhood being the anime adaption of the manga where it was well, it was made after the manga had got completely completed or finished. So they had a full script to work on, yeah. And then the original Full Metal Alchemist anime was following the anime up to a point and then the uh, no, following the manga up to a point and then they ran out well the manga ran out before it so they had to finish off the anime just to conclude it yeah right. and he acknowledges this but he makes no reference to how that like applies with game of thrones or anything he's just the whole blame is all at george's fault uh at george's doorstep and if anyone does know george is like well from the get-go was like saying oh we need like you know 10 plus seasons of game of thrones to do this and HBO slash D and D were like, "Now nah, we're going to give you seven, or maybe eight a push." And what what I'm getting at is they they have they they never fully respected the time to complete or to do the story that George writ or, or had uh, set out anyway in the first place. But fuck it, it's all his fault anyway. It's, you know, it's just it's just okay, his I mean, fault. It's a Nobody crazy it's a crazy point. If if HBO itself is like, "Look, D and D, we want to give you as many episodes as you want." And they're choosing the piece out, okay, mm. away from that. Then they're, they're, there's no one they could blame but themselves. They had all the time in the world to build up whatever ending they wanted. I, all the time, all the money, everyone all the knows the meme. Like, how can we not blame D&D &D when they're saying shit like, Danny kind of forgot the Iron Fleet? Like, how do you say <laughs> oh, this? Yeah. <laughs> like, how do you do that? Oh, yeah, and, and again, go back to it from last time, yeah. They, they also the whole, they're not even aware that Sam's a POV character, which implies that, not only had they not read the books, they didn't even read like a fucking cliff note of the books. Because... I reckon they did read them, but they haven't read them recently at that point, and they didn't read them again. They were like, "Oh, he has POV, huh?" Well, either yeah. that or had right writing aids go right. You know, read all the Sam POVs. Now tell me how we <laughs> make, oh, tell me how we write the they... scenes of Sam in. They are responsible for the first four seasons, you know? So it's like, I think, uh, I'm, the prevailing theory for me is that they lost their uh, investment. They became ap apathetic about the series. Which sucks. Well, yeah. there's, there's small cracks even in the beginning, because, like, hmm. remember, they had Shay, for some reason in the show, they make it so that Shay loves Tyrion. When in the books, it's obvious, well, not obvious, but it's hinted that she's just using him, and that's what leads to her betraying him. So you go, oh, okay, she was just using him from the beginning. They, so then why the hell in the TV show would they make it so, no, no, she actually loves him, so then when she betrays him, it makes absolutely no sense. And yeah, how I mean, much that, they fucked up like Taisha. The, yeah, well, yeah. That, now the whole Tyrion arc there, that's the whole defining bit of, oh, fuck, we can't be asked with this. Even though even though we included the scenes from season one of referencing Taisha and Tyrion's arc with that, we're still not going to give a shit about it come season four because, I don't know, um, details, I don't know. We don't even get a definitive answer or... on whether or not Shay betrayed him for money, like for getting involved with Tywin or because her life was threatened. That's never even answered. We And she just wants to kill Tyrion. Straight up. When she next sees him. Yeah. It's like, Jesus, like what? Why didn't... And this is the thing, that's season yeah. four. So people saying like, you know, seasons one through six of the gold age, I'm always like, no. Like, eh. Yeah, no, nah, this... I think there's a lot of romanticism uh, towards it now because obviously now nothing is bad as season eight though. I'll happily conclude season that season one to four are like yeah they are definitively better than everything else that the show had uh, as you know as seasons go. And obviously they you know they might have individual episodes or individual scenes that are awesome or better, but a season as far as it goes, season one to four is you know the peak Game of Thrones. But even then, um, well obviously people don't know for me, but like I, I was abandoning that shit at season four, and I was like. The whole time, like going through season two, three, and four, salty about so many changes that the books were well, from the books. Mm, right. And 
Aussie back then. I was just moaning to you, really. And yeah, you know, it's, that was it. But it's it's been a long time coming for this show, you know, <laughs> logistically. Well, Al, didn't you know 63% of people liked Game of Thrones? No, I was Oh, man. I just want to punch you when you say it. I know that you're fucking taking the piss out of him, but I want to punch you right now. Stop it. <laughs> Let's see. You can't I can't even... punch someone unless they tell you to smile. We've established. Oh fuck me! That's actually his title of the fucking video as well. That's not just a quote. You fucking yeah, and it's in the thumbnail. Pitching the fucking flag with that? Are oh, you fucking idiot? Well, let's see oh, what the man. argument. I haven't actually seen any of this video, so I don't even know what we're in for here. Oh man! So hey, you, what's you going on, everyone? My name is Matt Jarbo. This, this yeah. is Three Buck Theater, and it's been almost a week since the series finale of Game of Thrones, and it's been a whirlwind week if you do any bit of online coverage or if you are just a fan of the show and you are like ah the finale or you were like the finale it's it's kind of like you either like it or you don't like it it feels like yeah it... <laughs> they are the only two <laughs> options really <laughs> I, mean, I mean generally speaking yeah that's that's normally the stands with most things you either don't or you either like it don't like it look it's either something no or something it's not Oh, fuck whatever. Look, I, look, feel, look. I feel like a crazy person. I'm like, yeah, you either don't like it or like it, and then you get more specific. <laughs> because that's like the only two things you can even do, but okay. It comes to Game of Thrones, or quite literally is nothing in between. It's simply you either love it or you hate it, and if you dabble in this YouTube space, it, it Which seems you're still like doing most for people... Some reason. <laughs> Which you haven't stopped. Oh, 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 oh. Shots fired. I tend to not like it. Here which could then influence other people to believe that, quite frankly, that no one liked it anywhere. Well, couldn't the well, same be said for people who liked it? Yeah. A bit uh, of a pointless why is he running right so there. much defense for HBO? Like, I don't know. Because um, he's Monday Matt and he's, the, he's an idiot. Because honestly, the video we watched, uh, he actually says at one point, like, the reason the show is stopping is because of HBO and that they weren't going to be allowing it to go on and shit like that. And it was just funny because it's like, that's completely not true. Yeah, it's the opposite of true. Um, but I don't know if he didn't have access to that information when he made the video or whatever. But yeah, that video was terrible, but yeah. Well, yeah. the truth is, the question ultimately does become, is Game of Thrones, or was Game of Thrones finale, the most hated ever? And I'm just using this headline as an example because we saw quite a bit of this. Oh, oh dude, look at those references. You got Dexter, House of Cards. Is that Scrubs? On bottom left with Turk, or is that something else? It looks like is the it? actor. Yeah. And then bottom right, I don't know what that scrubs? is. I, don't remember. Uh, I know Lost should be in there, though. I must be desynced, because I'm at 48 seconds, and I just see... Yeah, uh, 57. 57. Uh, well, How is Battlestar Galactica not on that picture? Just using this headline... You is that show a shit before I mean, the ending? Actually, well, that's, okay. that's fair. <laughs> but, you wanna, I don't know. I, well, I was just going to say, sorry, Rags, do you want to drag it to like 50, and then hopefully it'll pull all of us? Yeah, sure. Yeah, let's, go to the, yeah, let's all get to... The same spot, just a laugh at this. The most hated ever. Everyone on 51? Mm -hmm. I'm yes. at 51, yes. Excellent. So that, yeah, that picture, I'm assuming it's referencing Scrubs, House of Cards, Game of Thrones, Dexter, and then a fourth, sh fifth show, I'm not sure what it is. I feel bad for not recognizing who that lady is. Someone in, I was gonna say someone in chat recognized someone her, in chat. I'm like, EFAP podcast talk, does anyone recognize who the woman on the bottom right of that article is? They're all talking about Sargon's beard for some reason right now. Sargon is a very combed boy. <laughs> okay. God, we rely on you people for information. Just for they're, they're not paying attention, they're, they're, they're spooking <laughs> out. They're on something completely different. Um... But yeah, no, this could <laughs> be very well the most hated season finale of anything ever, because, fuck me, who even cared that House of Cards ended badly? Considering, like, by that point, there was, like, no way to be invested in that fucking show. Well, not to be, like, you know, elitist or something more, but uh, we were saying it was shit way before everyone else was saying it was shit. We called its death <laughs> at the end of season three, didn't it? Yeah, uh, most people were up in arms really when Kevin Spacey got outed as a pedophile. This is actually too. the show... I mean, well, yeah. I, That's what I mean. Like, who was I, invested in Game of Game of Thrones, the House of Cards, at that point? Yeah, and well, but I know people were pissed about, about uh, uh, Dexter and Lost, Scrubs less so. I remember Scrubs just sort of faded away. No, no, well, well, no. It's more the case that season seven of Scrubs ended like it peaked. Well, the the last episode of season seven is amazing. It's like one of the most revered uh, episodes of the of the show. But the problem was season eight introduced or carried on they 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 when they did the whole like scrub well the, 
like a new generation of doctors or whatever, and they all went to the university, and all the Scrubs cast teach there now. That, that was the problem, with Scrubs. It wasn't the ending of season seven. I don't, I don't think. Oh wait, wasn't they also had the whole abortion thing in the last season, with, like Jesus showing up and telling him like not to get an abortion? Uh, <laughs> no, uh, There's some image of Jesus like saying, "No, JD, you can't do that." Well, yeah, well, JD gets talked to by him, and then he's, he's like, he, well, in in the, in the show, he's referred to. Well, he's he's like acknowledged that he talks to himself, and he's weird. But um, I, I don't know. Let, let's. I think we should let Matt talk shit for a bit and find out. Someone mentioned How I Met Your Mother. I'm assuming that's not the bomb, right? But that is another show that people. Oh yeah, were, everyone hated that yeah. the ending of that. We got a lot of them. A lot of shows end badly. It's kind of lame that there's. Yeah, it seems like thing, TV yeah. shows kind of like you know most of them outstay their welcome and then shit the bed before. Oh, oh, yeah, shit in the bed. Weird from Team YouTube themselves. They're trying to fix a problem right now. This is the weirdest yeah. EFAP ever we're streaming without knowing anybody's watching at all, other than the Discord people, which is odd, but hey. Oh, yeah, I, we're, I don't know how many people are watching. I don't know what they're saying. I can't even log in. Apparently, Arch and Sargon and Discordia and other people are having problems signing in, and Mahler is. Yeah. So, this happened earlier this week, and it was weird, but twice in a week is Odd for YouTube. Hopefully, it gets solved. I hope Probably so. Breaking yeah, Bad yeah. did end well. I am happy with Breaking Bad's ending. I agree, chat. I can still yeah, see. Yeah, one of the things in most recent memory. <laughs> I agree with the chat that I can see. <laughs> I liked how Mad Men ended did... as well, but that's uh, that, that, that seems I mean, to be I way more my favorite TV show ending is Angel, but I I feel did like they calm down. Nobody's fucking watching that shit. Wait, what? <laughs> did the Mad Men finally calm down? No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's why the show ended. They started to calm down. They're like, oh, that's it. I don't want to meander about that show. I don't want to meander about that show. I want to see Matt embarrass himself. Just using this headline as an example, because we saw quite a bit of this over the span of the last week, even going over into Rotten Tomatoes. We can see that season eight as a whole had a 58% total from critics. <laughs> Just let say, you motherfucker, just say that it wasn't Ow. well received. That's all you've got to do. Like, it's, you don't need to be like, as you can see, oh. they're over here. Oh, he's oh, he's as you can see, fuck. people are fucking upset. <laughs> <laughs> and a 35% total from audience members. Now, with Rotten Tomatoes' new system of verification in regards to reviews impacting the audience score, who knows if we're ever going to see anything like this. Look, user ratings, 10,131. Average rating, 2.4 out of 5. Oof. That's like... 4.8 out of 10, for those who want to know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is not hot. Why is he making is videos on Game of Thrones when Spy... I can't even... That's a popcorn tipped over rating. Look, they, they showed an image of it. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> they were no, so no, upset that they popcorn. dropped the popcorn. Oh. Yeah, audiences were so disgusted. I can't they, eat at a time like this. They <laughs> littered their own living rooms. <laughs> this ever again, uh, in regards to TV, but a lot of people weren't happy with it and they were vocal online, especially when you look here at the series finale itself with a 49% uh, saying here that if nothing else, the Iron Throne is a bittersweet, if unfortunately bland series finale that ensures Game of Thrones fans will linger on the fate of their favorite characters for some time. Will they ever be satisfied by the show's conclusion? Ask us again in 10 No. No, yeah. <laughs> it will get worse and worse. It will get goes so on. much well, worse. Well, no, let, let's just the, assume. I say assume. Let, let, let's just hope, fingers crossed, that in ten years' time, Winds of Winter Part One comes out. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yes. Let, let's just hope that in ten years' time that happens and George Martin is still alive and actually, you know, well, yeah, you know, yeah, nothing's killed him yet. Mm -hmm. It's still going to be bad, even regardless of the, if the books ever like answer, like you know, the, oh, this is how it should have happened. You know. It, it, it doesn't, what a it's, nightmare it's world that fix. would be if the books acted as like yeah. attempting to fix the show. Yeah, and, and if the two books do come out in the next ten years and they answer all the bullshit and they and you know and it ends spectacularly, like all the loose ends are finally done and dusted, which we know is never gonna happen, but fuck it. Let's just say that happens. The TV show is still gonna be shit, it, and it, and it's still gonna be even worse. Well, I, well, it is gonna it, it is gonna erode with time because nobody's gonna fucking in in ten years time if people go. Oh hey, I'm thinking of watching a TV show. What should I watch? Are people going to go with Game of Thrones, knowing how it ends? I mean, if you do, it's you're a, a horrible person. This is the thing. The only time I intend to fucking watch it is uh, 
for research. I don't really want to watch it for entertainment any, ever again. I don't want to watch it ever again. I, 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 I want to finish the books, but I don't ever want to watch it again. And if I watch like season one and then, you know, get fall in love with it, I know that I'm setting myself up for fucking massive disappointment. It's not, um... <laughs> I think it goes the same as House of Cards. It's like, do I want to watch? You can watch season one and two and then pretend it ends. That's the best you got. Yeah, well, well yeah, and, and to be fair with that, that, that almost concludes well because when he becomes president, that's kind of where I thought it would have should have ended on a good point or on a high. You, but it was interesting to see how the, well how Frank's um, presidency went on. But they, well, they didn't think about that. They just got, oh shit, he's evil and shit. <laughs> I mean, I'm shocked the HBO executives let them do this because they're mm. they want to like roll out a bunch of Game of Thrones prequels, make like a whole you know Game of Thrones cinematic universe, and this <laughs> basically killed that. Yeah, people. Are, this is the TLJ of Game of Thrones. Like it's all the same hallmarks of like can the franchise recover? It's like will it will it have just like spiked its viewers up, up to this point? And uh, how, how much damage has this actually dealt? And then you just look over to the MCU that's often shat on as like cape shit, just superhero bullshit. It's just like, oh, Ed Game was like super successful and satisfying for fans. Oh, <laughs> Still going strong. <laughs> and that's again a very, very interesting way uh, to look at it because it's true. A lot of people out there uh, were, I think, hoping for you more. You could say that. <laughs> I liked it. <laughs> yes. I watched it a couple times. I felt they ended it decently. Uh, not decently. What a what a. <laughs> That's a very mundane uh, take there. Yeah. <laughs> enough, That's like, you know. if you've seen all the cast who are, are who are criticizing the critics, they don't say that it was good. They say, oh, the people worked so hard to yeah. make this last season. Yeah, uh, it's funny so when you hear them say, like, good. the production people, the actors, the blah, 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 and we're, all, <laughs> we're nodding along, and then they go, the writers, and we're like, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, well, let's <laughs> not get carried away. The sets were great, but let's... <laughs> Not not every one of my wish fulfillment moments were hit. In fact, probably none of my wish fulfillment. Oh, ooh! Apparently, chat yeah, is back hard. now. Uh, let me try to log in. And I can log in. Ooh, we're back in, boys. Oh, but you're not you're not showing it live now. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. Yeah. Oh, hang on, let me refresh again. I'm probably. back. I'm waiting for it to just uh, fuck up again, but I'll be yeah, like, well. <laughs> Well, chat is live. I can see people coming in, but I don't know. Well, obviously, we don't know if everyone is back. Who's? <laughs> well, I can I can see the. I I was just able to log in. Um... Oh no, it, it is all working. I mean, I'm just saying, like you know, unless everyone in chat answers, we don't know if they're all back, do we? <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know what? Person. I'll just we'll just I'll mention it. Hopefully, you guys can get back into chat. If you can't, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. fine. We'll carry on. It's okay. Is very in line with the rest of the series, and I feel that they let they gave us uh, an ending. No, no, wait, uh, no, I, I no, no, <laughs> no, wait a minute. First of all, it's like the whole the, the ending was not bittersweet, that's bullshit, okay? With it's, the exception of bitter. Danny getting killed, everyone got a happy ending. Oh, right. Well, I don't know if John got a happy ending, he seemed kind of like mad about he the whole gets thing. To pet his little doggo and go off to yeah, live in the true. wild forest with his wildling friends. Sansa definitely got what she wanted. Uh, Aya got what she wanted. If fucking Tyrion says nobody oh gets God, what they want. want, and it's like that's not even true. But okay. <laughs> so Sam's the fucking Grand Maester somehow. Oh, that pisses me off so much, dude. Like, and I and I and I talk about this in my last Game of Thrones video, which I uploaded yesterday. But um, the conflict in the early Game of Thrones it used to always be if someone is killed, or you know, if someone kills someone else, it doesn't resolve the conflict. It just creates more problems down the road. You know, when they killed Ned, it didn't just solve the problem with the North. It caused all the war to happen. It caused all these problems to happen. And that's the difference in the later uh, seasons of Game of Thrones. It's like when Cersei kills all the Tyrells in the church, mm -hmm. nothing happens after it. She just wins. Oh, yeah, dude. They f it, that, that's well into the problems of the, sh of the show coming to a head when it's just like, no, there's no repercussions for anything anymore. People, things just happen. Do you love, by the way, that the North separates itself from the kingdoms and yet the South somehow have dominion over the the night's watch and can make people go there as punishment like is, yeah exactly that's yeah as i said that too. it's so absurd how is bran supposed to exile people to a land he doesn't control like, and, and the other fact the unsullied to have I, I don't want to get into a whole thing but i fucking hate episode six i hate all of it like, it's all so stupid what what happened to the dothraki uh, they no went back with the, the unsullied i guess because fuck it they 
they flew back to their home planet with Han Solo. <laughs> oh man. But yes, tell us more about how it was a perfect end to this into the to the season. Matt, go ahead. <laughs> that is okay. So that's just kind of what I think. Thanks, but Matt. What about when we start really breaking it down and and people go out there and start polling people? Well, According to this Hollywood Reporter poll here, the most Game of Thrones viewers actually liked the. <laughs> can tell the point of this video is to be like, hey, man. Uh, yeah, it was you know, actually uh, good. You guys are wrong. People liked it, though. You know, yeah, it was great. It went so well. When your defense most people liked it, when your defense of a piece of media is people liked it, though. <laughs> like, oh, God, <laughs> like, how bad is it? The ending despite the online outrage. Now, the reason why this is an interesting subject to cover is because I was watching Midnight's Edge's uh, kind of video about the future of, of D.B. Weiss and David Benioff and, and going into Star Wars and if that's going to uh, hurt uh, more Game of Thrones shows on HBO. And he had made a... Getting them away from Game of Thrones is the absolute best thing you can do for Game of Thrones right now. Yeah, I, I think... yeah but now they're going to be in Star Wars. Uh, well, the, the, do you think Star Wars can be murdered <laughs> further than it already has? That's I guess true. the That's answer is point. yes. Yeah, well, what, what, do you, what are you predicting in the next 10 years from Star Wars? I, I don't predict anything good. <laughs> no, um, but well, this is, so this is the thing. It's like if, it, can, can the next Predator film be as bad as the Predator, Al? What do you reckon? Uh, mm. Probably. I mean, it, it, this is the thing. It's it, possible, it, but like, how bad can we get before you go, you know what? <laughs> Surely the next one well, will actually be better. Well, they already undid like so much that made, or so much the law of the world builder that made the first two good, and then I don't know what else could they uh, until you like until they straight up just say, oh, by the way, the the predators are just you know, I, I don't know, <laughs> fucking... cowardly fucking insects from a planet where they ran away because they were they were yeah, they I, were I... just take everything about them and just invert it. That's all. This all seems to be the plan these days. Yeah, I, I can't really say anything how they can make it quote unquote worse. Game of Thrones can go, well, can get further worse, I suppose, but I don't know. A comment, this would be Andre, made a comment about how uh, no one liked the finale. But the poll here, and this is from the Hollywood Report. No, okay. Any, oh, anyone, oh, oh, oh. anyone who said no one liked the finale is obviously being hyperbolic. Yeah. Right. Duh. But the Hollywood, but the Hollywood poll said <laughs> the scientific poll. <laughs> look, look, I'm, I'm not going to come up with any arguments of my own here. I'm just going to say that a bunch of people in Hollywood said they liked it. The thing is, yeah. if you, my whole family, right? They ripped Hollywood into episode six. Of this Hollywood production. Uh, my, yeah. my whole family when rewatching that season. They loved the first two episodes. They thought three and four were eh, and then five and six were like bad. And if you would ask them from the moment they finished it. Did you like it? They probably would have been like, eh, yeah, I guess. I had fun, you know, entertaining. But if you would talk to them for five seconds about what they actually thought of what happened in the episodes, they'd be telling you everything that's wrong with it. They'd be like, yeah, this was shit, this was shit, this made no sense. Actually, yeah, thinking about it, I'm not saying. So, like, the idea that you took a random poll and the answers were yes or no to did you like, <laughs> it's like, what does this even tell you? Fucking useless. Order suggests absolutely otherwise. According to this, it says, in the wake of Game of Thrones finale on Sunday, the narrative surrounding the night was... Th oh, Matt. Oh, Matt. I'm, I'm just reading. I've just read ahead. The survey was comp comprised of 2,000. 2, oh. There we go. So, well done, Matt. Well done. How many okay. people watched there this were again? different ages, genders, and ethnicities. <laughs> uh, uh, were there any dwarves which... in there? Like, giant dwarves? Yeah, <laughs> no, there, one dwarf is too many. Was there a How many was suspicious there a women were in there? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, man, I don't even want to fucking listen to him fucking breathe. <laughs> Half of the people who answered the survey were women. No, <laughs> Suspiciously. <high> of <laughs> the, yeah. the phrase divisive. But how did the series ending episode actually oh, play with off, most no. viewers? Opinions were mixed, a new study finds. Some 26% of viewers who watched the final episode replied that they liked the finale a lot, while 37% <laughs> liked it some, 24% didn't really like it. What, are they, what an amazing poll. This tells you so much. If you make something and 42% of your audience are frustrated by it, <laughs> you fucked up. <laughs> okay. Yeah, especially Game of Thrones has been like failing since, you know, we're talking end of season four. Let's just say the 
the end of that. And so, like, for that long, fans have been like, no, I still love it, still love it, still love it. Like, this is a show that gets gets passes because of its past glory, and yet they yeah. still got to this result in the end. It's like, whoa. Yeah. I'm, so, I'm sorry, but I'm, I'm just more pissed that he's fucking choosing the hill to die on of fucking 2,000 people watching it. How, how many millions of fans, are, well, how many millions of people are tuned in to watch it? I'm going to quickly look at that. Make some this, huh? argument for why it's good, you know? I think the point Hang of this on. video is to reveal to the world it turns out not everyone hates it. And it's like, yeah, we know that. Yeah, we know. There's so, yeah, we know. Some people are interesting, but that doesn't, that doesn't change <laughs> you what You think we're he's going to try to be like, oh, this proves all the hatred of Game of Thrones and YouTube is just overblown. Well, he's already said that in another video. We basically. A loud minority. That's all it is. Yeah. So he was looking for this poll, basically. He's like, where's the one poll that shows more people liked Game of Thrones than <laughs> Yeah. Game of yeah, there's like this 10,000 polls. Best I got. To do the reverse. And yeah, oh, there we go. So, um,. The finale had uh, li well, live view count was something like fourteen million TV viewers, and that's the people the who the live you know, count, <laughs> and, and, that, and that's for people. Who, well, that's for people you know who pay for HBO and watch it on that, and then just watch it off a stream. Yeah, the people who have a financially invested interest in the show might have a yeah. more. Well, uh, two thousand people from Hollywood said that uh, yeah, they, uh, they 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 were sort of okay with it. Yeah. And, uh, what gave it away to me that everyone hates it? like hyperbolically is that like every video essayist that i follow has made a video on game of thrones saying it's terrible like usually like tlj for example there was a 50 50 split with uh, uh like most mcu movies everyone will put out videos saying you know what it was really good for this reason not like captain marvel but let's say something like um uh, homecoming a lot of people made a video for like what was special about homecoming or something like that. just but no not only is hardly any video essayist avoided the topic of game of thrones this time around but hardly any yeah. I, have you even the, we covered someone who was talking about it positively on the last show and it was fucking cringe he was like the darkness makes it so that the zombies are covered oh, up fuck, uh, no, so no. good also hang on can i i just want to quickly skip back a sec because keep in mind that number 2200 yeah where was it? Oh, there we go. User rain. There you go. You got 10,000 people, Matt. Fucking on Rotten Tomatoes <laughs> logging in to fucking say that it was shit. <laughs> that kind oh, of yeah, trumps over, his yeah. poll but, immediately, but, but, doesn't but it? Five but times but these two, uh, these 2,000 other fuckers walking down in, you know, Hollywood or whatever. Um, well, they're more, they're more right than these well, people. It's well, look, that was 2,000. It was a, it was a, a range of diverse people. Made up that two thousand. You know that this ten thousand people in Rotten Tomatoes is all a bunch of oh, man, angry just, white shut, shut males. Up. I know, I know, I know, I know. That's not Nazis. I know you don't believe that, but shove up your ass. I don't <laughs> <that shit>. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. Uh, I, I, I don't know where. I, I'm sorry. I didn't. I didn't make a reference to where I skipped it back to. I, I didn't want. I, we'll just <laughs> jump. The fate of their favorite character. Can we take a stab and go like ten minutes in, in the future? Times I felt they ended that long. And start polling people. Well, according to this Hollywood Reporter poll here, the most Game of Thrones viewers actually liked the ending, despite the online outrage. Now, the reason why this is an interesting subject to cover is because I was watching Midnight's Edge's uh, kind of video about the future of, of D.B. Weiss and David Benioff and, and going into Star Wars and if that's going to uh, hurt uh, more Game of Thrones shows on HBO. And he had made a comment, this would be Andre, made a comment about how uh, no one liked the finale. But the poll here, and this is from the Hollywood Report. It turns out that literally isn't true. Someone out this there This man did was like wrong. That person is me. <laughs> I liked it, so you are wrong. Well, you, have, you have the Ron Tomatoes, majority of people overwhelming, don't like it. IMD, IMDB, majority of people don't like it. But this one poll. But, but it's not just that, but this I poll. I found one. The, the, the way he emphasized it as well, like he's like, this is my trump card. Here we go. This and scientific like, poll I found. <laughs> yeah. Uh, come on, come on. Porter suggests absolutely otherwise. According to this, it says, in the wake of Game of Thrones finale on Sunday, the narrative... Hang on a minute. He said absolutely otherwise, so everyone liked yeah, it. Uh, is that the case? Everyone <laughs> liked it. La, 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 Turns fuck. out, we were wrong the whole time. So Matt <laughs> says that everyone, everyone liked it. it. Uh... 
<laughs> surrounding the night was of the, was the phrase divisive. But how did the series ending episode actually play with most uh, viewers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Opinions were mixed. A new study finds some 26% of viewers who watched the final episode oh, yeah, replied that they liked the finale a lot. Did, did you notice? I guess it was probably a mistake, <sighs> but he said a new study finds. It's a new survey. A new study. A no, it's study. a study. <laughs> it's a study. <laughs> a connotation uh, uh, different. Game of Thrones audience. They watch their eyes. Uh, and a new study conducted by NASA has concluded. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, what? Best me. men. Oh, so what did the in the EFAP podcast chat said? Haven't Muller and crew dismissed Rotten Tomatoes review before? Yes. Uh, we don't really yes, care what they say. Depending. But um, no, if he's I, going to be I, I citing don't... 2,000 adults have said this, therefore the statement of blah 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 is wrong, it's like, maybe you should just look at the fucking Rotten Tomatoes one, because it, it trumps well, yours yeah. by five times. Also, Here's why yeah, it's did... important, because normally you could say, okay, it doesn't matter if the majority of people like something, that doesn't mean it's good. But but Matt's the one using that argument in the first place. Yeah, if we're specifically talking about how many people liked or disliked it, then Rotten Tomatoes will be kind of useful to an extent. I still yeah. don't think their aggregate thing is, is useful compared to like IMDb or fucking Metacritic yeah. even. Like the confusing well, way that. they do it. So I was just about to say, yeah, if you're one of those people who fucking pulls the Metacritic scores to like, you know, use as an argument for or against your film or whatever game or whatever, you're an idiot, all right? <laughs> I want to read this out. <laughs> A Hollywood poll oh. showed that the majority of people hate Monday Matt despite him having subscribers. <laughs> uh, and also, just, just a quick calculation, that 26% of viewers, that's 572 people. So 572 people said that they liked the final a lot. And Matt is fucking taking that and he's putting on his fucking title of his chat of his video and he's fucking like, there we go, I've got the evidence, this is it, I've cracked it. And Actually, as I mentioned earlier, where is he's he getting the sixty-three percent from? Oh, so it's the twenty-six plus the thirty-seven. Yeah, right. Yeah. So, Generous. so five hundred and seventy-two people said they liked it a lot. So let's just say that they gave it like an eight out of ten or a ten out of ten. Yeah, and then further by another thirty-seven went. Oh yeah, you know I liked it. Ah. Oh. I just love this that this so whole video is based on a fucking survey of 200 people. It's so, well, yeah, it's so disingenuous, and because he's such a fucking useless exactly. shit human, he can't even fucking come up with his own arguments <laughs> to why it was good or bad. He's fucking dragging in fucking 572 people to fucking say it for him. Come on, man. Come on. <laughs> While 37% liked it some, 24% didn't really like it, and 10% didn't like it at all, according to a new Hollywood Reporter Morning Consult poll. The survey was comprised of 2,200 adults of different ages, genders, and ethnicities <laughs> whom exhibited varying degrees of fandom and TV viewing habits. Now, granted, that is a small sample size of only 2,200 people. Okay. But. Yeah. No. But. No. <laughs> there's no but. No. But. But. No. These people do these kind of studies and surveys quite often, and again, I think coming They outside, must know what they're talking well, what, about. What does them having uh, to do it often have anything to do with but, the number? Look, look, I, I don't want to drag in. I don't want to drag in politics, but the polls are always right. Am I right, guys? The polls oh, yeah. are always <laughs> right. The numbers always reflect reality. Fuck off. Like I said, people would be much more inclined to just say, "Yeah, I liked it," even if they really didn't. There's, and you could say, like, "Oh, more. How do you know that? How do you know it's not the reverse?" I'd be like, "Oh, you know what? Fine." Um, let's just go with, talk to these people. It would be a much more interesting video if you actually went out really and just asked people what they thought of Game of Thrones. I really don't care. I don't care to drag up any fucker else to fucking justify why they liked or disliked something. I don't go- Yeah, I don't even know oh, what the point of this is. It. More than like the film, so, you know, I don't have to make an argument. It's, it doesn't- No! Get a tell fucking me, spine! Tell me why I can't go to YouTube and see what people think and that's that's not valid, but this random survey, for which I don't think there's a link, and I don't know what it's kind of call i'd have to search for this link because generally like if i have a survey or something now i'll put the whole title in the picture so you can just type in the title and everything and it's there but um but I, I, why trust this over what my lying eyes tell me on youtube what? like what show matt tell me why this is way more valid than everything that i've been exposed to so far well, well online... this poll used a range of a different ages, genders, and ethnicities. It wasn't just all white men. There oh, we go, Rax. Get I fucked. I see, I see. Fear, you might start to find that that 37% of liked it a bit is probably more in line with where things are across the board if we were to kind of put it all together in a pot 
mix it around, and then... Oh, so you extrapolate this, and now that's your conclusion. Great job. Fuck off. Uh, he just wants to just push it to be like, this is probably the most accurate. You guys agree. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. 63% light. Okay, see you guys. So, so, no, no, no. no. Yeah, so if we agree with my, my perspective on it, yeah, everyone else follows this too. Hey, man, uh, they specify that they're different ages, genders, and ethnicities, which means it's the fairest take. Uh, and very degrees of fandom and TV viewing ha habits. So that's like, uh, so of these 2,201 people, not all of them, well, we don't even know who has read the books. We don't even know who has watched the whole show because I have met people who watch TV shows and don't bother. And if they didn't start watching it from season one, they don't go back to start um, it. I, I have talked to people who do generally just skip ahead. Yeah, in fairness. We were watching episode two. No, I think it was episode one. And like, I think I was watching the it with. <laughs> yes, uh, I was watching it with uh, Emi and Fortier, and I believe they can correct me if I'm wrong here, but I believe when um, when he he says uh, he's of House Tali, Sam does. I was immediately like, oh shit, because I was like, yeah, she killed his brother and father, and the two of them were like, what, what, why does that matter? And you know, it's the kind of thing where it's like, yeah. Uh, a lot of fans aren't even aware of why season 8 is so bad because they might not even remember what information is being contradicted. Like, you know, Jamie Lannister saying, I never really cared about innocent people. A lot of people might have been like, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, they might, they, they, they might have literally forgotten that he lost a hand because he didn't, well, because he cared about somebody other than his family, but whatever, yeah. This happens. So no, it, that's yeah, why, that's I, why yeah, when you give it yeah. time and they're exposed to these arguments, it gets worse. This is it, yeah. Of, of the people that were asked, we don't even know if like how much of a fuck they give. Like, they 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 literally might be somebody who literally puts it on in the background and just goes, oh yeah, yeah. I thought it was cool when the dragon burnt everything down. That was cool. Well, it, it, I actually, all... I, I found the survey, and it's actually it's much worse than you think. Oh no! Because, no. <laughs> because the the first question of the survey is, do you Can consider you yourself it? a fan? Oh yeah, let me. I'll put it in the yeah. thing. Says, Sorry, uh, do, you, do you consider yourself a fan of the television show Game of Thrones? And only 22% responded yes. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> 20% of this fucking people did he hear? Oh my god, he's right. That's the first question the they asked. 22%? <laughs> Eight percent didn't even know. Because <laughs> how do you not know if you're a fan of something? <laughs> I didn't know they were a fan or not. That's fantastic. I gotta get this on the screen. That's amazing. Stop. These people didn't even know if they liked the shit. Oh. <laughs> no. So it's so when they asked the people whether they liked the finale, they weren't even asking the full two thousand people. It was only a sample size of 314 people. Oh my so god. One people said they liked it a lot. Oh. What is, who the fuck video, ran this poll? Like, like what is this? Not the, not the Hollywood Reporter. <laughs> we can know. trust them, guys. <laughs> I love trust how... Do you know what's dumb? I actually trusted that what he presented this thing as was 100% the way it is. Like, I, I was right, like... Well, well, he, he was a mis... He was a mis... Um, uh, How fucking naive am I? Like, he, 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 he wasn't misleading a bunch of like easy to find statistics. No, no, no. Oh my god. Well, he probably oh just god. he probably just never clicked on the link. He just took the article's word for it. Well, well, yeah. That's yeah. We we shouldn't oh, assume man. maliciousness. We're assuming hell, competence. Man. Can you just die already, in channel voice? <laughs> oh, Leave him alone. Channel, <laughs> channel, channel. Not oh my. Person. Okay, listen. This is um. Okay. I love that uh, people question, said question I don't H, know. Question HR3. Did you watch the Game of Thrones series finale on Sunday, May 19th? Note that there will be potential spoilers for the show if you answer that you watched it. All right? Um, 37% said, no, I didn't watch it. Yeah. 11 yeah only 257 said, people watched all of it. Some. Yeah. Only oh, 257 yeah. people said they watched all of it. That's... That's half. How Only half you... the people watched the last episode. <laughs> yeah. How can you make a judgment from this? And so, well, here, if we take question HR3 and then HR4, HR4 is, did you like it? So we have to, we're, I'm only counting, yes, yeah, I watched we... all of it, people. So let's take the 257. Oh, no. No. So let me pull out the calculator, which I don't yeah. have on the taskbar for this new computer. Yeah. And oh, is, no. So let's take, let me do the math here. So... Well, right, yes, I liked it a lot. 81. Yes, I liked it some. 117. 
Well, to make it quick, he's taking 63% from 314. Plus 117. All right, so that means 198. So, 75... Boop, boop, boop. I'm not... Let's see, so let's take divided by two... This shows that 77% of the people who actually watched it liked it. <laughs> but that's but that's including yes I liked it a lot and yes I liked it some. But there's 7 with no opinion. 77 no I didn't really like it at all and no I didn't like it at all. Yeah, um, yeah. that's So sorry right right yeah. So of the so at that question at uh, HR4 314 people were asked that question because they were the ones who had actually watched it, the whole final, yeah? And of that 314, 213 or 214 of them said that, yeah, I like some of it. I, and I was just going through the people who watched all of it. So, yeah, you're, yeah the number will be worse for you because I, I didn't factor in the people who just watched some of it, which is 57. Oh, this this, yeah... So that's why my number look, came up. Look at the way they ask these questions. HR7 underscore three. Were any of the following major or minor reasons why you didn't like Game of Thrones series finale? Jon Snow did not become king. It's like a major reason, 56%. Okay, uh, a yeah, minor yeah. reason, 20 It's like, how the, uh, uh, what uh, a uh, weird uh, way to answer these questions. I know, apart from that, can we just put the bed right? He, of the 63% that he's quoting, he is quoting less than 300 people. He is quoting less than 300 people in his definitive, oh, this Hollywood report yeah. suggests. <laughs> He's literally picking a sample size of less than fucking 400 people to define his arguments. A sample a size study, of okay. 314. Uh, I'm, so, I'm sorry, and like fucking, and just to show how fucking lazy he is at his work, a fucking, a, pff, sorry, I'm saying fucking too much now, I'm getting, I'm getting <laughs> too pissed off. Sitch <laughs> himself pointed out in the middle of the stream, like, well, what, how, how long will it take you, Sitch? Well, five seconds to Google and click the article and then go into the PDF? I mean, um, it's in the article he's he's reading. There's a link to it in the article. Yeah, just click it. yeah, yeah. And we've disproven it in five minutes and also it out for a lot longer. Than H my... H R A underscore one. Do any of the following describe how you feel about Game of Thrones series finale? Satisfied. Literally forty nine percent of people said it describes how they feel about the finale. So fifty one said no. It does is basically no. I don't feel. Yeah, fifty one percent were either unsure or unsatisfied. It's like well, that's. Oof. That's, that's bad. Yeah, man. that's <sighs> that's really bad. Well, it says forty-seven percent of people that didn't like it didn't like it because they thought the writing was Fucking bad. Fifty-eight percent of people said disappointed. Yeah. How do how does this help his argument at all? <laughs> this is the worst. They point. definitely yeah. When when they when it says satisfied, that didn't that we just did that. Happy. Only thirty x thirty-six percent of people said they were happy with it. This seems they like the most happy. roundabout way to ask people yeah. questions that I've ever seen. Oh, in the next one after that, uh, sad, 48% said sad. And the rest were no or I don't know. So yeah, the so highest of these numbers, basically, the amount of people who were sad is the same as he felt satisfied. And, but the, and again, this is only from the 314, so that's such a tiny little sample size. It, it, this is completely worthless. This, it, it, look at this random question that's also thrown in, dude. As, as you may know, there are several major plot lines from a Song of Ice and Fire book series that did not make it into HBO's Game of Thrones series. Of the following, which do you think most represent, most wish was represented in the show? Please select all that apply. Young Griff slash Aegon. I'm sitting here like, you can't ask these people this question. There's people who read the books who are like, I'm not even 100% sure of what you're trying to say with that question. Okay. What I think is interesting here is that HR8 underscore 5. Do any of the following describe how you feel about Game of Thrones series? Disappointed. So if we're taking this 13, four, uh, or sorry, 314 sample size, the biggest number that we have so far is people who felt disappointed by it. Yeah, but let's just not talk about that. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> oh, oh my god, we're, just, we're about to have meme well, magic here. We're about to have meme magic here. All right. HR8 underscore 8. Do any of the following describe how you feel about the Game of Thrones series finale? Bored. No, this doesn't describe how I feel. 71%. They weren't even bored by it. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking... Hey, it wasn't the third I time they watched it, Rags. 
This is the biggest say, number that I see. The 71% of people who I wasn't bored. That's the biggest thing that we have. That's the biggest return. Hey, on guys, this, on this what's thing. the point of doing the straw? But fucking my entire I, audience I, I, is going to vote no. <laughs> I, I know, I know. But do you want to have a uh, do you want to have a poll or a survey? Oh yeah, yeah, you're right. A, Let's have a that survey. That literally has more people. That literally will have <laughs> ten times the fucking audience. Less... Should, we, should, should we just ask it right now? Can we see if we can get more than what was it, two thousand two hundred and something votes? Yeah. If we can do that, well, we can. If you can well, post it into the watching. chat, I my chat still. I did chisel. try. I did try, but it. it Graze it out. I think I'm not allowed to send uh, links. I was the first one to vote. Give me a sec. Yeah, you... <laughs> if you could share it. <laughs> got, um... I don't know. <laughs> Alright, well, I, I am. Again. I can spam it. Here it goes. Is that showing up for you guys? There we go. Click and vote. R rags, Click. rags beat me. I'll oh, beat you to it. Vote in the straw <laughs> poll. Come along now. We got our first. We got our first. There we go. Numbers are moving. We, we got to get over two thousand two hundred people. Fuck it. I'll put that. Put up on live. Put we it on got, live. We got two hundred <laughs> votes. Come on. We got to get up we, there. We got three hundred votes. We are. Come on. We got four hundred. And once this is finished, can somebody just screenshot it and send it to the mat and just tell them to fuck off? <laughs> <laughs> A new study shows <laughs> the Game of Thrones uh, yeah, yeah. sucked. A new, a new study shows on the EFAP report that 990% of the audience think you're gay. The Hollywood reporters oh. follow rags itch and smile. Yeah, yeah, fucking professional journalists and shit posters. Uh... It won't let me post. It says error, try again. Yeah, it's same for me right issues. now. This is just YouTube fucking up again. This is the one there time we need you to one. not fuck up YouTube. Come on. It's still going. I got 715. 750 people now. Alright, person who's listening to this. The... Put it on Twitter. Put it on Twitter, Mahler. Person who's listening to this right now, who's not getting involved, you, you need to get involved. Okay, just just quickly vote. We, we gotta if get this past. If you ever did anything for EFAP in your entire life, yeah. have it be this. <laughs> get it past 2,200. There's apparently 3,700 people watching, so we should be able to pull it off. I'll pop it on Twitter now. Yeah, don't do anything. We... Don't do nothing and rely on other people. We need you. Your vote counts. Yeah, your vote counts. Make Matt look like an idiot, please. If you don't vote, then the big midgets win. <laughs> <laughs> and the vision trannies. Don't forget the vision trannies. <laughs> All right, we're at 900. I'm going to put a tweet out in a sec. We have 16 troll votes, Fuck but that's I... okay. <laughs> <laughs> 16 people are wrong, but it's okay. Oh. I feel like fucking. I feel like we're watching a submarine film, and we're just watching the meteor uh, climb down. You know, one thousand meters, <laughs> eleven hundred meters. I was staying out of it till that comment. <laughs> That's why I made it, boy. <sighs> Wait, we've we've crossed a thousand. We're at a thousand fifty. Oh, nineteen people are wrong. <laughs> <laughs> nineteen people. Nineteen people missed the no button. That's all right. It's bound, it's bound to happen. It's bound to happen. I'm pretty sure I, I I did tick the IP checker, so I think if you want to vote again, you'll have to VPN it. I think, or maybe no, your don't. Cookies. You, you don't have to. This yeah, is wait. a scientific poll. Okay? Yes, we can't <laughs> skew the results. Smiler, sorry, please. Sorry. We're science men. <laughs> I'm sorry. Look, I, I forgot. I'm not wearing my lab coat and my tie. <laughs> do, do, do. I got my glasses on, so they they can't, they're, they're they're thick enough to be safety goggles. So. American. So, should we watch the rest of so, Matt? Yeah, let's just go through the. Let's. We'll, uh, we'll have yeah, to. Let's yeah, we'll have to push this in a bit when we maybe cycle. So I just want to show we'll, you guys. We'll come the tweet. back. We'll, we'll come back. Yeah, we'll come I'll back. put it in chat every once in a while. Give me a second. I <laughs> was already found it. Uh, yeah. So this, this is the tweet that I did. Do you like my hashtags? Hashtag Jarbo survey. <laughs> uh, <laughs> surveys for the win. Jarbo surveys for the win. There you go, people. This is my tweet for it. You can find it, and we will get this past 2,200. That's all we gotta do. And I'm sure all of you are various ages, genders, made up words, and other things. You know? Yes. So, but we, we will get our diversity quota. We will. 
we will have to return to this once uh hopefully it gets a little bit further but um thank you matt for inspiring yeah. us to really show the world that there is more to surveys than than nothing monday matt really is an inspiration <laughs> he gets <laughs> he gets shit done dude he gets you know he's he's my anger therapy right now he show monday matt is just Look, man, he teaches us, don't do it for the money, or the fame, <laughs> or for the do audience. It. Do it, for do the it because you love it. Do, do it for, for some reason. <laughs> Something yeah, do it in for there. Reason. <laughs> Question becomes whether or not the backlash to the show, to the finale, will have any, any, any... Hang on. Oh, yeah. Sorry. This is a bit of a nitpick. The survey was comprised of 2,201 adults of different ages. I'm like, so... They weren't all the same age? You, I just, I find it amusing to be like, adults of different ages, it's like, what did adults just because it was all like we're assuming they're all the exact same age. <laughs> we tried to get all 37 year olds. <laughs> any problem, or any impact on the future of whether or not these people go and watch a Dan and Dave Star Wars movie? Well, according to this, it, uh, they also asked them that. Uh, if they would continue to watch the work of David Benioff and D.B. Weiss, some responders were asked, does the involvement of the creators of HBO series Game of Thrones make you more or less likely to see upcoming Star Wars movies installment, or does it make no difference at all? 9% said that they were more likely, and 7% said that they were less likely, meaning that in this poll, people... Why the fuck are you talking about this thing specifically? Like... This is a really interesting thing. What's the sample size for the oh. question he asked? Should we find this one? The game Here, of Thrones? Here, let me just uh, F Star Wars. Um, yeah, if you just. If David. If okay, you just, here we go. So, more like. So, this was only. Which HR is it? It looks like this was. Looks like this was the entire sample size of 2000. It doesn't um, say. Yeah, it's HR 15. Okay. So, HR 15, because you can control F search for Star Wars. Um. Fucking idiots, Jesus Christ. I teach all the internet. 69% of people said they didn't fucking give a shit, really. Yeah, I, 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 I would try, because I was Googling their names, or, well, control after yeah. their names. And what's weird is don't know or no opinion is, like, almost more likely, less likely. Oh, well, well, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. 1,500 people has basically said, I don't give a shit. And then another 300 went, I don't even know who these people are. <laughs> get ready. Get set. We're going on the internet. Tended to like the work of Dan and Dave more so than not by at least 2%. However, 69% of the responders <laughs> answers that the finale makes no difference to them for the duo Star Wars future, indicating that the writers will move forward. Well, if he actually read the study, he'd know that's because 69% of those people didn't see the finale of Game of Thrones. Oh my god. And what a question. You know, if I said to like the people I watched it with, like family members and stuff, if I said, does the involvement of the creators of the HBO series Game of Thrones make you more or less likely to see the upcoming Star Wars movie installment? I imagine most of my family have been like, I don't really care. Like, the people don't typically care that much. Like, critics do, because we're really invested in stories being not terrible. But your average movie goer would be like, I don't, are they working on it? I don't, okay. Well, I don't know. Well, yeah, and like, what, what tends to happen is they manipulate it like, um... Uh, Mortal Engines, where they were like, "Oh, from the from the creators of Lord of the Rings," and it's like, "Yeah, Peter Jackson might have produced it. He didn't direct it, but yeah, because that movie was shit." Well, yeah, and, and that's it. That, that, that they were misleading, weren't they? Because they were going, "Oh, look, it had yeah. Peter Jackson's name right on the front." Peter Jackson. Yeah, oh, so it's gonna like, be good. Nope. <laughs> exactly. It's like for the, for the average audience, yeah, like they might be familiar with uh, certain directors, but they're not going to be <laughs> familiar with these writers. <laughs> Is it the Peter Jackson? I, I mean, I mean, Green shit. Elrond. I mean, shit. Like I've seen it in the Discord itself. When people refer to them as D and D, people have to clarify who are D and D. If if people on the internet don't know who D and D are, like just by word of mouth or yeah. well, you know, casual interaction, the fucking normies on the street in Hollywood, I, I, they're not gonna know. And a lot of people uh, at first were like Dungeons and Dragons. It's like no, 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 D and D. And you're like. Dungeons and Dragons. You're like, no, no, no. David and whatever else. And you're like, what? And it's only because of all this fucking terrible shit that's happened to Game of Thrones that people finally it started to move over into like some people were like, you mean Dungeons and Dragons? And it's like, no, 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 not at all. And you're like, oh right, no, of course. Um, so yeah, the average people have no fucking clue who they are. They probably don't even know who to blame exactly, like random people. They probably moved on to a different fucking show already. Yep. That's, you know. 
board being judged on their current projects rather than their past work, which I do believe ultimately is the best course of action. When you want to look at Game of Thrones uh, and the future of Dan and Dave and what they're doing, I would say take it on a project to project basis. Uh, it's something what do they do that do, was good? We don't always do, but I do feel that is the best. X Men Origins Wolverine. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. <A> shiver. <laughs> Mercy, please. <laughs> What's Incorrect. interesting too is that I, I've been tracing around this survey. Um, six percent of the people who uh, answered this survey not a fan of TV. <laughs> not a fan of TV. <laughs> Great. How did, I like, Eleven so, percent of them not a fan of movies. What the? Yeah. So, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean the, the the poll was definitely open minded in who it asked. <laughs> yes, it was. It's certainly <laughs> diverse. <laughs> Forty-two percent of people not subscribed to HBO. Yeah. <laughs> oh, pirates. Four percent never even heard of HBO. Yeah, so, so, so some of these people have never even read or watched this show. So, it's like, uh, who do you think? how do you unironically run this about, test? No, like, as if it's going to tell you anything. It's amazing. Uh. Like, uh, did he? Did he like say that like these guys were good at their polls? Like, they know what they're doing. Well, he led he led into this like he led into this like you know with like you know authority that you know these people have like you know they've done their work they you know he didn't just, I don't think he said well yeah he didn't say definitively anything did he it's just how he said it I suppose course of action so here you have it new studies new surveys majority of people <laughs> enjoyed the finale you cannot say that. That yes. is, so let's 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 give him the let us steal steal let us Valyrian steel man his <laughs> argument. All right. Let's say that sixty three percent of people enjoyed it. That is awful. I'm waiting. That's for, terrible. I'm waiting for you to be giving like... him the best possible interpretation of the data, which we know is bullshit. Even that means that they failed really bad. I'm waiting. Yeah, well, I was st we're still talking about 200 people, 200 fucking people who may not even... Yeah, with how, like, more and more shit's getting revealed about the way they did this test, I'm waiting for you to finally be like, 5% of the people asked weren't human. Well, well, yeah, it's okay. really... <laughs> Are you of human? Free, of the 314... I do not know. <laughs> I do not know. <laughs> well, this is it. Of the 314 percent... Oh, no, of the 340 that voted, uh, said so, some of them may not even have TVs. It's not confirmed. <laughs> it was too dark on my phone. <laughs> for what it was or at least liked it some more so than didn't like it at all or outright hated it it just goes to show you that fan so, backlash that sets the bar pretty mean. fucking low absolutely yes 63 percent. that's like a d that's terrible yeah. if you make a if you make a youtube video and 63 percent of your audience liked it you done fucked up somewhere <laughs> something went catastrophically horribly wrong do you, do well, you yeah, see I the mean, super like... chat that just came in? Hey guys, sorry I missed the last stream. My father was waiting for an organ donation, but the donor had his hand broken and his motorcycle stolen. <laughs> <laughs> what villain fucking wrecked that man? No, uh, yeah, I was gonna say, um... Uh, fuck. Shit, hang on. Lost me. Oh yeah, We're, and this is it. We're, the poll is not regarding the season... Well, it's not regarding the pilot episode of the, of the show. So, like, you know, people are like, Oh, I don't know, I thought it, I thought it was alright. <laughs> Everyone who watched season, well, the last episode are fans, right? Nobody, unless they're like, you know, got a spouse or whatever who's been dragged along to watch it, nobody's watching this because they are not interested. So the poll, the poll, the poll is even worse off because it's asking people who don't even give a shit about HBO and he's still using it like the fucking, well, basis <laughs> argument that, you know, maybe the internet was wrong. Maybe they're all just a bunch of, you know, masses. <laughs> I don't know. Fuck me. I, uh, well, I, I don't know. The worst part is in the okay. article. You don't even have to click click the link to see the study. Like at the bottom of the article, it no, literally shows no. the first question of the study. No, but search. We're literally wow. doing more work than Matt did in his video. <laughs> yeah, I mean, right. he sat in front of his webcam. He put he put his camera on, man. He fucking he had to click a button for that. Probably. His, I don't know. His video took. It, it's a seven minute thirteen second video. It took him seven minutes and thirteen seconds to make this video. <laughs> He put a, he put yeah. a good yeah. almost ten ish minutes into making this video. Yep. <laughs> the first response on get... Twitter for this survey is "I love democracy." <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> we're on uh ooh. We're at uh, we're at seventeen fifty. It looks like for anyone listening and unaware, you need to vote on this important poll survey to decide the public's view, a unbiased public view of Game of Thrones finale. We need to know, uh, preferably people who have any idea of what Game of Thrones even is and have seen the show. But it's not necessary. That's not necessary at all. You can still vote. Mm. Yeah, do me a favor. If you did like it, don't vote. Cheers. <laughs> Even if you haven't seen the show, fuck it. You're just as informed as the people from uh, Jarbo yeah, Survey. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, 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 you are. Well, I it, mean, if you, if, you, if you have a TV, you're probably more informed than some of them. If you're a suspiciously you know large amount of women, don't vote. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a big tell of something, something uh, shady's going on. <laughs> I need a few more females. I mean, somebody in Discord did say that they're trans, so I, I did thank them for their contribution to enriching the poll. Oh. They, uh, they have instantly made my argument much more stronger because somebody else has said so, or agreed with me. One trans person? Sounds suspicious. <laughs> Are there any dwarves in chat? We can only have do one. Have do we have any pre get preferably dwarves, giant yeah. dwarves? <laughs> <laughs> Can we, can Any can robots we, that want to be human. <laughs> Any trans robots. <laughs> who's who's the biggest fucking freak? Please come on board now. <laughs> I don't care if you got no limbs, you got no fucking I don't know, you got I don't know, fucking anuses for eyelids. I don't give a shit. Come on vote. <laughs> come on now. It just goes to show you that fan backlash doesn't necessarily mean that it's all fan it that it that it is speak for everybody. In some oh, cases no shit. no shit, yeah. <laughs> Despite how shit the show is, people are still allowed to have their opinions, Matt. I mean... <laughs> yeah, some people can like... Yeah, there's some people out there who like it. Some people are brain dead and they think I it's good. It's, it's alright. I don't think no, you could have right. made an episode that nobody would have liked. I honestly think that's practically impossible. There's always some guy who's like... Oh, yeah, you, oh, yeah, you, yeah, you, you've always got those weird postmodernists who are like fucking interpret everything as amazing if you look at it in a fucking lens of a fucking ant on a mountain. Well, like, if it opened, all the characters were just in a room and they all got... they, they melted. And then the credits rolled. <laughs> there would be someone out there who's like, oh my god, do you get it? It's like a commentary on how everybody, like, none of it mattered. Everybody was just a, a candle in the wind, and they, they melted under the, the heat of the... No, I got nothing. <laughs> this fucking the, yeah. been, the whole episode could have literally been D&D &D in a white room shitting on the floor, flicking <laughs> off the audience. But don't you see Someone would be like, genius. Surprise. It's a so much meaning. Uh but it was supposed say, to yeah, be terrible. Yeah. Definite, definite situations where the fan outrage does have an impact, and that obviously is clear with, let's say, The Last Jedi or Ghostbusters. Uh, you know, obviously it had no impact on Captain Marvel. You have to take it on a case by case. What baseball. do you mean it obviously so, had no impact oh, on Captain right. Marvel? Uh, people fucking hate Captain. Marvel. I fucking hate the argument that Captain Marvel made money, therefore it never could have made more money than it did. Well, also, didn't wasn't there a rumor that they had two different cuts of? Infinity of Endgame, and one had more Captain Marvel, one yeah, had less. Yeah, and if we got the one with more in it, I'd be fucking surprised. No, we we definitely got the one with less because they they literally have her say in the movie. I must go now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I must go now, and we were like, "Good, we will see you Please hopefully do <laughs> later, much, much, much later, but, preferably uh, never." Yeah, so yeah, the Scarlet Witch. Is Oh, I was just gonna say, I've heard this before, so you go, oh, fan fan backlash didn't work on Captain Marvel because Captain Marvel still made over a billion dollars, and I'm just like, imagine how much it could have made if everyone loved it. And it's, imagine it's how the ready sequel. people to see how the next see one does. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's not like people are gonna buy a ticket to Captain Marvel and then walk out halfway through the movie and say, I want my money back. <laughs> I think my dad almost did, though. <laughs> <laughs> I like, keep talking he about, hated that. I keep talking about always wanting to walk out watching so much shit nowadays, but I've still not done it. Yeah, no, I've still not done it. I either. almost walked out of Where the Wild Things Are. I honestly actually did. I was smart enough not to go see that. We're, yeah. We're getting it, there, guys. Was, we're talking, like, first ten minutes. I actually wanted to, like, leave. Well, yeah, man, the fucking... Well, at least in the UK, like, you know, they haven't even got to the ads yet. The ads. <laughs> Oh no, chat stopped moving on OBS. I hope it's still going. We gotta get oh, this. We're no. so close to getting this poll to where it needs to be. Well, we're 40 votes away from 2,000. We're nearly there, guys. 40 heroes. Come on, Keep on coming. 40 well, heroes. I know there's a whole bunch of people who are like playing a video game. Like, I'm not gonna vote. I don't need to. 
You need to. You need to vote. All of you need to vote. And tell whatever game you're playing, tell everyone in your server that you need to go into this podcast. Yeah, Spanish, Nothing evil. matters more than this. <laughs> Even though I was too stupid to put not mention uh, his Game of Thrones in the title, you know, just just confuse them, just ask them. Yeah, just say like, did you like the season eight finale of uh, Cheers? The <laughs> fucking. Uh... Just ask ask in your server and then report back to us. <laughs> I always people I always like season eight finale yeah. of what? It's like it doesn't matter. Just answer the poll. <laughs> I almost regret. I, I kind of wish I put better options in it at this point. <laughs> what like what? Fuck it. Oh, you know, it's like, oh, uh, well, you know, like, compared it to, um... Yes, oh, no, well, turnip. Well, well, no, 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 I mean, like, made it more like, um, Hollywood Reporters. Like, oh, you know, like... They said, oh, yes, I liked it, no, I didn't like it, or, yeah, I like some of it, whatever, you know. I did not just watch it, like it. I don't know what a TV is. <laughs> just, 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 just so that if I made it, like, you know, completely on the same even terms as Matt is trying to argue whether or not this was good or bad, I would use that, and then just go... Yo, know, boom. It, it's, it, yeah, this is way funnier. I mean, I'm fucking dying over you, but fuck it. <laughs> uh, good old everyone. Keep, keep, please keep. Oh, hey, we got 2077. Nearly there, nearly there. Maybe we'll finish Matt's video and then it'll be complete. So there are those kind of things to take into account here. Now, listen, uh -oh. if you didn't like Game of Thrones series, oh, that's man. entirely fine. Oh, thank I goodness. did, you don't, we can discuss it. But if you dare bring up a fucking poll to argue with me, I will fucking get upset. <laughs> We've our poll is almost finished cooking. We can counter his if with you ours. Dare now. Part any fucking Hollywood reporting journalist bollocks, man. I fucking died. Oh shit, we're like a hundred away. Yeah, Everyone 21. is entitled to their own opinions. What I find to be fascinating about this is ultimately that a lot what of people out there are trying to run on the hyperbole that everyone loved it or everyone, well, no one's saying everyone loved it, but yeah, no one's saying that. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. yeah. People aren't even going to make that hyperbole statement. <laughs> no, reality hasn't been twisted fall. that bad yet. <laughs> Some guy's like, everyone loved it. He just looks around. He's like, okay, no, okay. Everyone hated it. When we can see here that that's simply not the case. And so it is just kind of a case study. You made a whole video to say that not everyone hates Game of Thrones Season 8. And he wasn't even right. He wasn't even right. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, uh, this for is how to respond uh, to these things down the road, to how to look is, at these types sorry, of... Sorry, isn't he making, like, something like three videos a day? Like... Kinda, yeah. If you shit them out this quick, kinda, this is, like... Yeah. Th th this is no shock. I'm not, I'm not surprised one bit this is the kind of quality of it, like, where we, as I mentioned earlier, like, we... Uh, three Buck Theater. Um, we, we unraveled, it's like three seconds for you, he just fucking goes, re reads the title, yep, oh, do you know Game of Thrones can be good, might be bad, don't know, 200 people See said next no, time, bye. maybe. So in yeah. the last, um, so, in the last day, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, there are seven videos that say a day ago or sooner. Damn. Um, the most popular one is at 2.5 thousand views, his first. Um, so let me go to his main channel, Matt Jarbo. Best surname ever. Uh, one, so he made a video 18 hours ago about Pokemon themed weddings in Japan. And one, two, one, two, three, four. No, he six. He didn't make a main channel video until six days ago, and he made like three or four or five of them. The Hollywood Reporter's size was two thousand two hundred one. Ours is two thousand two hundred and seventeen and counting. We did it, guys. We did it. Yay! And also, I know some people in chat have pointed out that obviously this is very biased nope. based on who we're asking. Nope. Twenty two hundred. We got it. This is entirely scientific, <laughs> multi gendered, multi confirmed. multi species poll. We confirmed Sorry, guys, a, we a giant the dwarf. Shot. There was a trans. There was a female. There's loads in the chat. So I br I break the fourth wall, guys. I did it for fun. This is oh, for fun. No. <laughs> All righty. Well, I have screenshotted the poll at two thousand two hundred twenty seven. <laughs> at Matt Job. <laughs> <laughs> Can somebody please correct the title, so... <laughs> so, according to this new poll from efap.com, it looks like 85% of people did not like the Season 8 finale. And 12% were not happy to answer the question.
How long can I make this video? <laughs> just gotta, <laughs> gotta make it pauses, get the big old pauses. Going to Monday Matt's react. channel, I'm trying to find a video that has breached the 75, the magic 75 number, percent upvote number. I have yet to find one, and right now I'm at two months ago. Um, it's only going to get worse the further back you go, because you'll find the, the, the dark time where he... The dark time. <laughs> Um, yeah. Uh, finally, a hate crime gets punished. Uh, hmm. uh, let me see. Yeah, I can't, I legit can't actually find any. I got a 68% here. That was three months ago. People hate him. Why does he keep doing this? <laughs> because he has things to say. <laughs> oh, here we go. 79%. Um, it's a, it's a very, very... This is one of his more popular videos at 8,000 views. But he got a 79% on it. So that's pretty, uh, we go. pretty fucking impressive. And to see that maybe not everyone feels the same way. But my, my point on this one is, is there a potential way to come to a middle ground perspective and have a conversation about what was good, what was bad, without it turning into a tribalistic situation? Let's examine that. <laughs> Uh, hang on. So is if just because so this isn't about tribes, right? This is about there are all sorts of people of all sorts of different races, nationalities, genders, whatever is blah blah blah. Hate it. Same thing. A lot of people loved it. A lot of people hated it. Right? We can talk about it. Right? We can talk about it. That doesn't mean that we have to give up what we think to talk about it. Like, we don't no. have to abandon the reasons that we have. If we have to abandon reasons that we have for why it's terrible just to meet people in the middle and talk about it, that's not a good faith conversation that we're having. No, and it's not a fucking, it's not like a, it's a, this is an actual war, feud, or conflict coming over this. This is literally just people on the internet getting bitchy about it, or getting, well, getting salty, or getting happy, or whatever. And yeah, business we, as usual, we, we basically. Well, we don't have to defuse or meet on mutual terms or something like that, you know, like, you know, like a fucking, we don't have to fucking call him armistice, Matt. It's fucking just, it's, the season finale was shit. Well, the season itself was shit. Some disagree. You pick, like, the fucking smallest minority, or oh, not the smallest minority, the smallest fucking uh, group in ever to go, oh, yeah, no, actually, you know, maybe the internet's wrong on this, and you're just dead fucking flip-flopping on the issue at the end. Great, great. It's like, how about you just go in with what you believe, and then through the discussion, you find out who's the most correct or who can justify their position the best, and that will influence what people think about it. That's you, how discussions work. And you know what? To prove that ours was unbiased, we even had people voting <laughs> yes. So how could it be biased yeah. if people voted yes? Flawless argument. In fact, I would say that everyone voted yes. Yes. That's one more. That's another. That was right another there. vote right there. That was another one. Right and there. I feel that in the case of the internet, that's kind of woefully impossible. But that's is... this is of course this is coming from the lens of Monday Matt. So mm. sick. I've had I've had great luck with that myself. I think it works wonderful. But I'm not Monday Matt. Mm. Again, my thoughts. What are yours? Let me know down in the comments below. Oh, we did Sorry, you one better. We don't need to listen to that, but yeah, Matt, you're not <laughs> fucking help with the conversation. You're not help with the conversation either. Last video we watched, I don't know which one came first or which one came out in which order. Oh, it was this one was blame, after the previous. But right, right. So you you blame George. You blame the fucking author for the show, <laughs> and 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 you're and you're what? What's that? Is that helping the conversation? Is is that not creating tribes or or like you know more divinity uh, division between people? Did nah, he just... end the show in the last video, or he just said blame George? He said it was. He said that ultimately it was George R. R. Martin's fault. Yeah. So he wasn't even saying it was good. He was just saying it was George's. Well, fault. interestingly, got, he said if yeah, you cool. think it's bad, you have George to blame. And then he went on to say that lots of it was good. So my counter was like, so do you think it's George's work that is why it's good? Because hmm. what does D and D have to do like with it? It's almost like he's a shitty content creator who can't formulate his ideas in a clear and concise manner and give them to an audience that would. That's respect ridiculous. It. This is only a hypothesis, but <laughs> let's do a study. <laughs> let's do a study. <laughs> <laughs> An extensive NASA study, okay? <laughs> but I, I'm glad we got the conclusion. Um, everyone hated Game of Thrones season eight. Everyone, every single everyone. person. And 
You can quote me on that, and maybe one day Matt will make a video saying I was wrong to say such a thing. But you'll have to reference my study. Hello, and I'll talk to you guys <laughs> later. Have yourself a great day, and peace out. Hey, thank you so much for watching the video. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I thought you were like gone. No. Subscribe if you're Leave my dreams. Seriously, somebody's got to have the fucking mouse over the fucking pause button ready. I can't take it. <laughs> um, so at this point, I think, are we at four? I have no idea how long we've been streaming because... Uh, four hours. It says started streaming four hours ago. We started, my time we started 5.40 and it's currently 10. So we've been going so for four hours So it's been about four minutes. hours, 20 minutes. Yeah. Since we started. I think, assuming I'm allowed to by YouTube, it's time to start reading the old Super Chats, because that's that was a shit ton of fun, getting through those three oh, videos. Yeah. What utter yeah. crimes against YouTube. <laughs> I got three of them. <laughs> I was gonna say, are you, are you gonna... Oh, well, you wanna start now with the Super Chats? Uh, well, unless there's anything anyone wants to talk about. Uh, no, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna bow out. Uh, work tomorrow. Oh, but... sure, yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah, no, it's been great, guys. Um, I'm I, I gotta calm down for a bit now because like my blood pressure's gone through the roof of watching Matt. <laughs> uh, but it's been fun and it's nice talking to you, or talking to you all rather. <laughs> but and, yeah, and uh, you will make content eventually that I can promote, right? Yes. <laughs> One yes, day. I I, I I will show up more and uh, yeah. yeah um, we have too many guests on EFAB that are like that. We're like, Friggy, make some content. He's just like, hmm. No, <laughs> well, I've never done it. I've never done it before, so like you know, I, I can. You have an excuse. You know, that's true. I can I can give you a bunch of old Japanese game developer proverbs about rush projects, but you know. <laughs> um, so this is awkward. I can't access the oh. super chats part of YouTube right now. Oh fuck! <laughs> like every time uh, I do yeah. it, it disables right. it and says something's gone wrong. No, take care anyway, guys. Sir. I'm See off. You, dude. Yeah. Um. Huh. The. <sighs> You can't go to the com the community monetization. No, every time I do, it says sorry, something went wrong. It's got a stupid monkey. No, it should show up later. Um, hmm. Yeah. Well, so I was I was gonna say one solution is that we have a chat for a little bit, then we stop, and then I I stream at some point, maybe tomorrow, maybe with rags, and we just go through the super chats then. Yeah, I'll be around. And we'll just I'll put it up on on the Moolah channel as a sort of. Uh, Bonus video because you get your own special episode with uh we will have special content there mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, that you can only get on the super chat episodes we're gonna have an efap super chat it'll be color coded <laughs> i'm not gonna make him do that <laughs> the guy's already <laughs> done so much art. um but yeah i mean do you want to we, we could just chat for a bit about whatever um how's life on youtube uh, everyone how's it going <laughs> There you go. See, well, really, it's mean, the topic. Like, you mean us or chat? I guess, you, I guess you guys. Are you, are you fishing for <laughs> oh, chat? Oh, you know what? That, that'll be an interesting us. thing. Sitch, how did you get started on yes. YouTube? Tell your story. And that's boring. You don't want to hear that story. I want to fucking hear it. Go. Right. I, have a, I have a. I have a question. Okay. Because I didn't. I never saw your your end game video because you made it before I saw the movie. I made an end game. Did you? Video? Didn't you do a, a Infinity a War? Movie? He did one for an Infinity War. Oh, we did a oh so you haven't talked about Endgame at we all. We did a podcast well, we, for we did an EFAP, yeah. That's, that's what I meant. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I meant. Um, did, you, did you like it? Because I felt like it was it had a, a pretty big structural problem in it compared to the first Avengers. The first, in that... You mean compared to Infinity War or literally the, the first Avengers? Into the yeah. Infinity War. Mm -hmm. uh, because... I, th I thought Infinity War was better than Endgame, objectively speaking. Like, uh, structurally and consistently. So too, yeah. Yeah, because if I don't know, I felt like it was a, it was a they it was a poor decision because they go back in time and they get all the stones, and then it's like okay, well they solve the problem, they solve the conflict of the movie, they bring everyone back to life, and it's like oh, but then also Thanos shows up at the end and you got to fight him again. Yeah, um... it's like shouldn't the conflict have been no 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 Thanos goes back in time and gets the stones, and you have to defeat him to solve the conflict of the original movie. I think it was a missed opportunity to not have them fight modern Thanos, because he was so much more interesting than younger Thanos. And it's mainly because not only is I, I way prefer the attitude of modern Thanos, if you call him that, but I also like the connection he has to the Avengers at that point. Mm -hmm. Um... And again, it's not like I hated what we got. I just like I, I was like, oh Could've man, been better. I would really kind Could've of. Could have been better. I fucking love every piece of dialogue that comes out of uh, old or, or modern Thanos. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it felt like they made the new Thanos. He was like just evil. 
he, he kind of lost the depth of his character. Well, he certainly he became indefensible when he said, um, "Okay, you guys are always going to screw it up. I'm just going to nuke the universe and start from scratch." It's like, wow. <laughs> okay. Well, it's like, oh, we have to raise the stakes because they already solved the problem. Hmm. So they have to go like one step further. Oh, okay, he's just going to destroy everything. There's a, there's a lot of structural issues, but uh, I I adored so many of the payoffs in that movie. Um, fucking cat yeah, it was good. Using it just... that damned hammer, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> apparently, that got like the biggest response from theaters overall as an average. I was like, yeah, that makes sense. Cause, like fucking fad service for the win. Then again, the, I mean, it makes enough that? sense. The Captain Marvel uh, actress said that she thinks Captain Marvel could pick up Thor's hammer. Yeah, um, not if she treats human beings the way she does. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Wait, who said that? No, Brie Larson said that, right? Brie Larson said that, yeah. Mm. Is that confirmed? Because if so, that's like, ooh. No, that's probably her just saying that. I don't think they can confirm it, because in the continuity we've got now, Njolnir's destroyed, so... We're not gonna... She's not gonna have a chance to. I hope in the... I just fucking hope they don't do it. Just, just let it... She's not... How is she... It's like, you gotta be how worthy. It's like, how the fuck is she Captain, worthy? You know, how is she as worthy morally than Captain America? <laughs> Yeah, that ain't that ain't happening. How are they even gonna make a sequel with her? Cause she's so powerful. <laughs> I'm, I'm, dude, I'll be there. Be? I'll be there. I'll watch it when it comes out. Cause I'm, I'm fascinated by the idea of making a movie where they're like, "All oh, right, it, it, the opening of the movie, she gets shot in the face with some kind of thing, and it, it just she loses all her powers." Oh again. no! And then she has to learn that her power isn't her, and her, she's more than her power. And she's like, "Yeah, you should have done this in the first movie, but okay." <laughs> Because where else can they go other than her just destroying everything? Again, like, I'd actually like it if they went villain mode with her, but I don't think she'd like it. No way. No way. People Pretty were saying that for Ray too. They're like, oh, they're going to totally make Ray the villain. <laughs> yeah, Ray, come on. When she's choosing whether or not to join Kylo, I remember watching it and being like, why would she? Yeah. Well, why why she, well, first off, why is she even here at all? <laughs> But also, why would she swap sides? Like, know? the idea that it's so tensionful whether or not she'll do it. I just want to ask people, it's like, what reason would she have to do that? It's like, uh, end the war? It's like, no! That's not even gonna happen! Like, the, the people fighting regardless. It's like, they were gonna leave. Who knows what the First Order were gonna do once Kylo and Rey fuck off? Or, what even was the plan? We shouldn't talk about Star Wars. <laughs> That's a whole fucking <laughs> rabbit hole. Oh, that Star Wars season will be coming back around. We're, we're currently still in sort of the end of Marvel season and Game of Thrones. It's like, ah. Uh... Why are we talking about Marvel movies? Star Wars is coming out soon. <laughs> Me. Are we talking about Star Wars? Uh, uh, something's coming out soon. <laughs> there is that, that movie about the- Another thing is going to come out in the future. That boy who got bitten by a radioactive uh, spider who became a trans spider, I believe. That's a pretty cool- Oh, Arachno boy. Arachno. <laughs> A rat kid. <laughs> it was really poorly named. Um. But yeah, you know what? I may as well, may as well do it uh, right now because no better time than ever. Do you want to talk a bit about your channel in general, Sitch, so I can promote you and tell people to sure. subscribe? Uh, I started off for some reason making political content, which was probably a mistake in the long run. It worked out for some people. <laughs> it worked out for some. I feel like I feel like this is the way. Like. You you do successful in 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 politics. You have to pick a side. You have to say, okay, I'm firmly on the left or the right. I don't think people want this wishy washy moderate BS. But that's just I, my. Fault. I think it's I less left or right and more like social justice, anti social justice. Well, you, it, I, it, I think a lot of people don't like people being wishy about wishy washy about that. I think it started that way, and I think it's kind of slowly like maybe it's just me, but it feels like people. Are getting kind of bored of like anti SJW stuff. Like, okay, we've heard, you know, all the arguments a million times about. Yeah, I think anti anti SJW is rising right now. Yeah. Um, and so. it's, there's a lot of channels that make it very easy because they're like, I watched. I'm not talking about anyone specific here, okay? You may think I am, but I'm not. I watched a movie <laughs> where a guy has a gem in his head and he had it pulled out because it's a magic stone, and I I could see the trans element to that. You're like, okay. Right. There's suspiciously too many women. It is, <laughs> they had a dwarf. You're like, okay, dude, like, this is too much. And then you get people who can make channels just very easily being able to cover that shit. So, like, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's just like a, a formula. You just stamp it out. 
Oh, yeah, okay, so yeah, I was doing. I've been doing politics videos for almost every. Almost all my videos have been politics and DSJW stuff. And then I was so upset, so upset, like everyone else, <laughs> by the direction Game of Thrones that I made a Game of Thrones video and it did very well. So I'm like, okay, this is a good sign. I can start going back and forth between movies, television, and politics, and not just be solely focused on anti SJW stuff. Yeah, and uh, I think you've made some very interesting Game of Thrones. Do you know I was uh, I was building a little um, little playhouse for my sister's daughters, and I was listening to your video. Oh, just I, like I, a unicorn store. And I told no one to come out while I was using it, because like, he might swear, and there's Game of Thrones spoilers, just go away. <laughs> I want to listen to this video while I'm building a house. <laughs> And uh, yeah, uh, you you have some you have some solid takes, and you 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 Thank weren't God. a huge fan of season eight. I I I think that's a fair take. But did you know that sixty three percent of people actually enjoyed it? Like, I'm just happy because I've I've been really sour on Game of Thrones for a while. I'm just I'm happy to see like everyone else wake up. Like it got to a point that even the normies were like, ugh, mm -hmm. can't deal with it. But. but Sixty-three percent. Yeah, stop saying that. Like, true. like <laughs> that's true. It's only thirty fucking seven people that did like it. Percent. It's just Jesus. Look, sixty-three percent liked it. Thirty percent of those sixty-three didn't have eyes, but it's okay. <laughs> they still Several to Game percent of were not humanoid, but that doesn't matter. <laughs> Thirty-seven um, percent of household pets enjoyed the end of Game of Thrones. But uh, yeah, there's a link to your your channel at the top of the description go and check it out if you want to you want to see some more takes on game of thrones while you're waiting for mine because i know that people are still very upset that uh i haven't released my videos for five and six yet i'm right in the one for five it's taking me ages to perfectly explain to you why it's really bad that they've destroyed daenerys Varys, Tyrion, john jamie these are the characters i really care about so i'm trying to make sure it's 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 a entertaining and informative video while nailing everything that's wrong with a fucking episode and then it's on to six and then it's on to a season sort of recap thing and then i'm going back to tfa because everyone keeps asking me "Ooh, is tfa part three coming out soon and i'm like no really not soon we're every single time i haven't started it we're looking at at least a month still and i know that that upsets people but i'm working on what i really want to work on first and then going back to it but there's no way it won't be done there's this rumor going around it's like more will never finish it it's like do you understand how long it took me to write that script for the entirety of the TFA thing? There's no way I'm not making those videos. Um, they're coming, though. And the good news is, Rags has a video coming out tomorrow. Did tomorrow! You there you go. Uh, I'm <gasps> hoping tomorrow, yeah. I, all I gotta do is finish up, really, just the ending bit of it. Uh, just like, like the outro, essentially. And yeah, then we'll be good to go. And I got some stuff that I do want to cover like i really do want to make videos on and cover mm -hmm. and i think those those are fairly shorter and their response videos you're gonna cover so you're gonna cover the guy we covered today right i fucking am <laughs> we I were worried that, that you were gonna become the, G the george r. r martin of youtube right the george r. r martin everything's my fault no just the 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 long time in between videos. yeah 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 um but yeah i think things have like really really calmed down uh, in the IRL scene, so we, you can devote all the time to it and get mm -hmm. everything trucking along, which is what I really want to happen. Because stuff comes out and I want to cover it. I'm like, uh, it just takes time to make this. I don't just, I don't just Matt Jarbo it and sit in front of my fucking webcam <laughs> and chat for seven minutes to make a seven minute video. And uh, you're just upset. He was right. I'm upset. He had sources. He, he what showed do you me. Have? He had science. He showed me the truth <laughs> about how a people study. feel. The NASA about study. <laughs> You're objectively wrong. Couldn't take it. You just hate women. <laughs> um, but yeah, assuming YouTube fixes itself, I will try and stream with maybe Rags, maybe Wolf, maybe whatever. Uh, at the very least, myself going through yeah. the uh, the super chest to make sure everybody gets answered. So it'll be on the Moolah channel, right? So if anyone's like, I want it answered, it'll be answered eventually on the Moolah channel. Give it a couple days. You can find this there as well. Uh, there's a link in the chat to get to it um thank you all for, for voting on that poll for making sure that studies stay strong and that yeah. surveys are trusted because it really proved definitively uh the truth and um yeah uh next episode wolf will be back and we'll finally be able to look at some memes because it's been a while uh we'll open with that yeah it has likely. been a while since we went over memes i feel feels bad man we'll, we'll definitely we be doing that meme um 
but it's been fucking fun and thank you all very much for watching it's all coming up on the moolah channel and uh thank you very much for being an awesome guest mr sitch that's right thank you um other than that does anyone anyone oh, want to um, say anything bowen, bowen's got art bowen said he has <gasps> art what bowen he said bowen. check twitter bowen yes fucking bowen said bowen. That I, I was i was so excited <laughs> i was so excited that i, I didn't even hmm. uh, i'm checking it. my twitter i am not seeing anything so far um, Resend it, Bowen. <laughs> Bowen uh, is, he just said, tell Mahler to check Twitter. Um, I've got, um, I've got a couple Don memes, but I'll save them for when we get Wolf back. Oh. Uh, I haven't seen any, I'm not well, seeing any while drawings. you're waiting for Mahler's videos, just watch my Game of Thrones video. They're, yeah. they're actually good, I really like them. Yeah, I, I I'm glad they're actually good. <laughs> They're, act they're actually You're glad good. They're good. Watch them. They're actually good. They're, they're actually surprised. good. They're not. They're not shit. Like we're not just saying it because we like the guy. We're saying it because the videos are good. How about that? Yeah. There you go. That's the that's the best endorsement I could hope for. Yay! <laughs> Fucking wolf just pee at me, Bowen. <laughs> it's okay, I'm right? Sorry, I, first off, I'm sorry. I for starters showed up, but two, I was so excited that I became less lucid for that little bitty moment that tiny window of time where my brain was processing the joy of things to come and with Beowen, who that knows fucking, that, that fucking call out wolf's gonna have to remember that so he can call you out at the beginning of the episode next time why when he shows up maybe when who he's knows around maybe for the show i'm still i'm refreshing my twitter i'm not seeing anything i'm sorry i got i i bowen <laughs> Feel bad saying that. Baywin, if there's something you wish for me to to put on screen, like a drowering. Yes, Baywin, you must send it. <laughs> send Fucking Nerd Rotic retweeted my, my thing and he put hashtag I stab with Dawn and hashtag Jabo surveys <laughs> for the win. The toxic brood grows. Uh has Baywin said anything else or Um, I I don't think so. Let me check. Twitter, you piece of shit, send my art. I, yeah. So I guess he's having problems with Twitter. Oh, do you want to try the Discord if Twitter's fucking up? Um, yeah, if if you post it, if it's postable, if is it safe for work? I'm, oh, could be why. Technical. Here, po post it. Just DM it to me, ba Baowin. If you, my DMs are open on Discord. If you just send it to me, then I'll pass it along. Almost finished with the meme, 10.03. Oh, that was 15 minutes ago, okay. Uh-oh. I hope this is good. We've been hanging on at the very end. It Rex will be. just sort of forgot how to pronounce <laughs> Baywin's name. <laughs> that meme, and ironically, will follow him to his grave. <laughs> like, oh, he just uh, he kind of forgot. Anything that he goes... I wonder if his family will use it on him every once in a while. <laughs> oh, my God. You just kind of forgot how to be a good husband. <laughs> Oh man! Oh my God! He could put on his tombstone. He kind of forgot how to be alive. <laughs> All right, I got a bail in me. Pick it already. I'm not even gonna inspect it until I send it to you guys. Oh boy! And... Oh my! Smiling is harassment. <laughs> Oh, he's got it's. Oh God! Oh, there's ER on there. Yeah, ER's getting I like booted. That. I like that. That's a good looking Godzilla. It is. Captain Marvel bottomless, Godzilla. The bottomless too. Happy time toys co. Happy time toys. <laughs> Stop objectifying that Godzilla with your eyes. That actually looks really cool. Smiling is harassment. No one. Yeah, I was gonna say. Fucking ER's fucked. He's constantly smiling. Sitch is okay. Unless you flip your icon right. upside down, you fucked. I'm always sad. Oh. I mean, after Game of Thrones, I don't blame you. That's true. It's all over. Um, but yeah, with that, I'd say it's about time we say goodbye to you all. Uh, you can expect the next one is hopefully going to be next Sunday. We're, we're actually on a partial, consistent schedule right now, which is neat. And uh, you can expect the return of Wolf, and God knows who next for a guest, because because you just you never fucking know the shit. So Matt, you're going to have mundane Matt on. <laughs> mundane Matt? The special <laughs> guest on um, EFAP. We're going to talk about Game of Thrones. No, please. We're going to talk about science. polling data. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, 
That'd be great. Thank you for your generous donations. You'll see a video for it uh, after this one on the channel. Um, th 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 thank you for watching. Thank you, despite all the stupid shit that happened with YouTube. Hope you had fun. Thank you for being uh, such a long term guest as well, Sitch, uh, and Braggs, appearing for his uh, 37th time it's, uh, uh, ish. <laughs> it's all been very fantastic, but we will see you next time. Toodle Pip. Cheerio. Toodle Pip. Wow, sister, you must say goodbye. Uh-oh.